the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. What is up? What are you doing? What are you saying? What is up? We up in this sausage monkey fest 2k23. Let's put on some low fire beats. All right. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is.
Just chatting, huh? Hey, what's up? Hey, man. What'd you say, bro? You're in the Just Chatting channel. The Just Chatting? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm in the wrong channel. Is that what you're saying? Twitch as well. You got, like, your hot tub out and everything. Oh, shit, man. I need to, like, <laughs> get my boot bars out. Oh, uh, yeah. Shake them nips. Well, I have to put, like, little tassels on them or something to cover them, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Practicing TVT for my match this week. Oh yeah. How are you feeling about that? Like, are you a guy that likes TVT or? Um, not really. Um, I I tend to like, I don't tend to think very strategically. I tend to just make units and attack a lot. Oh yeah, and that's a problem. More difficult to do in in TVT. I think. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tend to rely on sort of drop ships, that kind of thing. Um, along with a little bit of early aggression, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But what's Optical your like? So, what's your sort of go-to oh. style in general? Oh, I do the old-fashioned um, one vulture, four marine push in to expand because most people don't make more than two marines nowadays, so mm. you can often get a bit of damage, slow down their expansion, um, or force out a bunker, that sort of thing. And then I go to like, I, I, to be honest, I don't know at that stage. I make tanks and goliaths more. I don't tend to do the mass vulture thing so much, but I know it's fairly strong, so I'd be worth looking at. Yeah, I think you should look into it. Yeah, like the, I, I, my understanding is that the standard is uh, fast expanded to uh, three factory vulture, and to figure out where to go from there, probably take a third gas, that sort of thing. I know there are some cool. Um, Five factory vault builds that some people do, sort of fairly, you know, cool kind of thing, which is interesting. Hmm. You laddering or playing someone? Playing someone. Was very technical. What happened there? <laughs> um. Well, he did like a really super greedy thing where he like I'm not sure if he made his core in his main or something, but he did like a really late forge. So I just uh, like punished him with free hatling. Up late. But he's probably been greedy because he saw the greedy style I was playing the previous games. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So he was like, maybe, maybe making some cuts and stuff when he shouldn't have been. I got chiseled in my chat saying, you're a machine, you're at it again, sleep is for the week. Yep, I agree, chisel, <laughs> I agree. Ah, Chisel, imagine if I was uh, still on Twitch, man. We'd be grinding it out and doing amazing. It's a shame, eh? Instead, the universe was like, that's too easy of a challenge for you. Instead, you've got to grind out a thousand stubs on YouTube over the course of like a year. Have fun with that. <laughs> um, I've been thinking of ideas for my YouTube, by the way. Like, um, 
game excerpts from my stream, like uploading individual games that were good, things like that, just to like start putting a little bit of content on the main channel, not just the live section kind of thing. That's cool. Just think of little ideas like that. And also do some casts. I'm gonna do some casts with Say and SC, and then uh, upload those uh, casts to my channel as well. Yes, right. Yeah, kind of shit. Get some content going. What sort of things are you gonna cast? Like Korean games, um, foreign games. Mm hmm. You're gonna cast. Like oh, uh, both. Um, probably like pro replays of like nice. Korean Korean pros, and then also maybe like things like NSL and games like that. You know, like those kinds of things. So yeah. That's cool. think you'll be back on switch or don't know I, honestly i don't know um I'm, i was a small enough streamer that i might not get a reply for a long time chisel so who knows maybe never <laughs> and that's just to get a reply from them let alone a resolution right so like let's say like it takes six months to get a reply from them it might be a whole lot longer getting any form of resolution Have ninja this pro cool. might be able to. No, that thing's good for him. Hey, say and see up in this. What's good? What's good? What are we doing? What are we saying? Talk to me, saying. What are we saying, saying? Just keep them honest. Always oh, hasn't made. Still hasn't made. Just waiting on future. Like, nice. Oh wait, I'm making links. I shouldn't have shit. <laughs> I made way too many links. And I didn't make, need to make any. Oh, I'm being a sausage monkey. <laughs> oh, maybe he comes out and it works for us. Oh, he's not brave. Damn.
Oh, they had opportunity there if he came out. Would have been maybe okay. That's okay, but we need some links. Just was slightly not optimized. I don't think he saw that one coming. <laughs> I don't think he saw that one two punch coming. So we took the greedy fourth to make it look similar to the other build, but it was actually a really heavy Hydra investment. But I kind of made it look similar to the more greedy economy version I was doing before. So I think I've just figured out a good way of um, very var can't speak variousizing. What's the pluralization of that? When you create variety of something, what's the pluralization of that? I don't know. Man. I'd go with varying. Maybe it's not very, it's not great, is it? But no. Anyway, I thought I thought of um, a good variant of uh, what I was. I was doing like a really greedy uh, ZVP build, and I thought of like a way of turning it into like a cheese build as well. Ooh, cheese builds, I love cheese builds. So that's the well, well it's like semi cheese, I guess, because it's like semi all engine. Have to it's win like with it. But... Cheddar, not full on Stilton. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit of cheddar, yeah, <laughs> full on Stilton. <sighs> 
something you could bet on toast and not be too like you know, iffy about. Yeah. Hang on. You're not saying prioritization, are you? You're saying something else. Pri prioritization. Oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, you are saying prioritization. I think. Yeah. I thought you were saying a word different to prioritization then. I'm like, I'm like flicking my eyes to like my chat while I'm uh, playing. Sometimes someone will use a word, but I have to like double take the word because like I'm not sure what word it is. <laughs> the life of a streamer. <laughs> I will try and focus on the game chiseled. <laughs> I will try. But I'll also do my best to look at the chat as well. We need to get a new screen so I can have a uh, one set up. Right now we're using phone for chat. So I'm like looking down off to the side. So I have to like completely take my eyes off of my screen to look at the chat. Ninja probe. Ninja drone, rather. Making sure he's not mind gaming me or something. Also, be a cool idea if like Pros is faked the gateway expand if they know your overlord's not going to be there. Just do like a one base sell up timing. Drones. This is an idea.
war overlords. Our forces are under attack. Nice. Like killed all my lings with DTs, motherfucker. Son of bitch. I mean, one, two, one gets. Not too bad. Yeah, I know.
this matchup, man. Seriously. <sighs> Should have just countered with way less hydras. It's so dumb to commit my whole army to it. I don't think I can win from here. Can't even make Hydra at the second. Yeah, I, I committed like well, I army mean, to it. It's hard to play this style against Protoss, man. There's so many things they can do to fuck you up. Make one small mistake and it's all over. GG. Getting your practice in, that's very good. Alright, take it easy, buddy. Thank you for stopping by, Chisel. Hope you have a good day, my guy. And yeah, I'm happy I'm getting the practice in too. Especially because we still need to figure out these like new styles we're learning and kind of freestyling to develop a little bit so we're not quite confident and familiar with them yet we'll, we'll work on it
keep forgetting to send the drone out early. I saw the corsets coming and I didn't move my eyes as well.
Wait, what? I clicked on the fucking High Templar and it started shooting something else. What? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? It's the last time I tried A clicking a Templar again. What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. Fuck was that, dude? Our 
forces are under attack. Hello. Yo. Go. Playing against someone. Against who? Uh. His name's Fliz. Shabah! Fogo! Our forces are under attack. What's going on? Oh. I've been practicing TVT. Tedding v Tedding. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing some, uh, trying to do a bit of research on my opponent I'm playing tonight. Nice, what time? Uh, half past ten. Half past ten, sweet. I'm gonna try and ch Are you gonna live? Oh, you'll be live streaming to your team? Or? Uh, I don't know, I might. I'd I don't know, I might just end up live streaming in there probably. Uh, if, if I see you around and you're on, I'll try and sneak in and watch you, otherwise I'll wait for that. Yeah, because um, uh, I think if you. I don't. We haven't got a, our own streaming channel for our team. Really? I thought it's, all the teams did. No, I think you'd just be streaming in the. Oh no, oh no, we do oh, have, yeah, we do have, yeah, yeah, no, we do have, yeah, yeah. Oh, no pressure. If you happen to be accessible, I'll watch, otherwise I'll wait for the cursed. Yeah, um... To see what he's like. Um... Well, I'm pretty rubbish at replay review. Thank you. 
forces are under attack. Yeah, baby. We turn that game around. Music stopped. Why did you stop? Was anyone watching that? I would have been, but my hero Kiko is streaming. Ah, oh, Kiko is streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Kiko is solid, man. Yeah, man. Is he literally dumpstering a Protoss? Oh boy, you should see some of these mods. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> Dumpster. Were you trying your new style, Jun? Because I heard you talking about something. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm trying this new style out. pretty hard to execute but it's really strong looks like I've only got one replay to go off for my guys PVZ it's a stealthy guy Now we got all the way into late game with ultras and plague and shit against Protoss and yeah man, it felt good. But especially doing it with like a new style and build, like it's really hard to navigate mid to late game with a new build. Especially when you're like doing something that's so like unit heavy early. Figuring out the right transition points. Ultras in ZVP is my favourite. Really old school, eh? I don't think I've ever actually used them in ZVP. You are messing out. Mainly because like Storm's just OP. But I suppose they're quite robust, I suppose. Yeah, I think Ultras are right against Storm, aren't they? Because they sort of skitter around and they've got lots of hit points. 
guess it's hard for the Protoss to storm them without storming his own units. Yeah, it looks like I might have a hard time against my opponent, possibly. Um, it doesn't seem to get upgrades though, but just lots of stuff. You know what beats uh, gradeless lots of stuff? What? Upgraded lots of stuff. Yeah. Fucking hell. Maybe I shouldn't watch this replay, it's making me a bit nervous. I think it's good to do research. I just make a point of never checking my opponent's MMR before matches. <laughs> <clears throat> I had no never idea about the art. I had no idea about Scrib going into that game and never seen him play once. Yeah. Oh, I've got to watch that series. That was cast the other day, wasn't it? Oh wait, Scriv's your team, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, did you did you give him any tips or pointers? Oh, uh, what did I do? I um, I uh, I did. Um, but I tried not to be too specific because I got the sense that you you were the type of dude that might do some kind of mind gamey kind of stuff whereby <laughs> you wouldn't show your actual builds and you'd actually do something completely different. I don't know. But you're wise to think I, I that. I think I probably that, overthought that, it. Oh, maybe, really? a little, maybe a little bit, but yeah, sometimes yeah. I would do mind gamey shit. But I was just curious what you told him about me and shit. Uh, well, I, I told him that uh, best case scenario, he needs just needs a science vessel on one hit point and that'll win in the game. <laughs> it's a pretty useful skill. Yeah, man. One HP. They do the same damage on one HP as they do full HP, right? Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> they make the opponent leave the game. <laughs> a pretty strong unit. Should be like Jinjin and just freak out whenever I see one. Be like, oh my god, he's got vessels, man. <laughs> I've been I've been thinking about trying to mix them into my TPT just to, for just because tank siege tank lines are so annoying. Maybe if oh I yeah, just that, that, yeah, them yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah, that's how you break tanks is with D-Matrix. Okay, it's, yeah. so it's so I'm, good. It's so good. Yeah, to do that. Yeah, you just D-Matrix the tank, siege up, and trade the tanks off each time you D-Matrix, and it's like really cost efficient. Well, I was thinking kind of simpler, just D-Matrix and a tank move into the line. I guess I'd need a lot of D-Matrix. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Like, It's really easy to get baited into being a bit too aggressive in TVT and you'll just throw the game that way. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like me. Um, I've got to run. Good luck, chaps. Bye. All right, see you in a bit, buddy. Uh, yeah, I've got very little information. <laughs> Here we're being way too aggressive. Trying to finish the game, we don't need to. If you can tell this. this guy doesn't go Corsair.
Yeah, I'm playing the replay now if you want to watch what happened in that game. Oh, you're still watching Kiko? Yeah, the fung was gone. I meant you, Jim. Oh, no, I know, I'm just trying to just oh, watch the replay. Um, well, I think this is the command we're going to be playing for NSL, but I'm not entirely sure. There's only like one replay of this stuff in CPL. Mm. So. How's the practice, Jean? Watch my stream right now. I'm uh, showing a replay yeah, of a awesome. long game I just played. I'm already proud of you. You're already proud of me? Yeah. Why? Just for putting the hours in. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the <problem. laughs> yeah, it's cheeky. I guess if I don't scout it though, he can make DTs in my main. Oh uh, really yeah, it's, it's horrible. Really, like... if, if that actually ever goes through, it's so miserable. Yeah, and it's really rare. Zone. I'm gonna send an Overlord over here to go here, yeah. so it's like we'd go and scout it if I didn't notice the probe. Did a pretty good job of boxing these sirs and. So I catch them here, and they fly down here, and I catch them here. Nice. Losing this air is toss kind of sucks, because that's your, like, reliable scouting source. Yeah. We did a pretty good job of catching that DT. Here I just tried to snipe the forge, but I, I went back to save these hydras from the storm right before they got stormed, because I was, like, picking around with something up mm. here, and, like, it took me too long to do. It was a bit annoying, but killing the forge was nice, I guess. But he probably will just remake two already, so not too big a deal. I mean, it still helps for sure, though. Like, if we don't lose the Hydra, that, that's kind of a free yeah. decent pick off. So then we set up. I do like pre split Lurker Egg contains like this sometimes, so they mm -hmm. can just like kind of borrow almost instantly. Then it's good to stop, though, because Storming Eggs is super good if you catch it early. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I really don't like seeing Zergs like morph all their Lurkers in a clump. It makes me like yeah. itch a little bit. Yeah, I storm that stuff every time I see it. Like the only mm. time they should be in clumps is when they're like further back and hidden a bit more. Mm -hmm. Not when they're on the front line like that. He broke the contain, but it did keep him on two base extra long, which is yeah, still really good Yeah, I, I was actually not doubling down on the contain that much. I was more mm -hmm. teching, so I, I decided to transition rather than solidify the contain. So I was thinking there's a chance he busts out the contain anyway, even if I reinforce, mm -hmm. and then I don't have any tech and re upgrades and shit. That's how a lot of contain. Well, that's just how contains lose, right? If it gets busted, there's nothing behind it. Yeah, so I decided to like let him bust it gradually while I teched up and produced up. This DT was a bit annoying, but so I got we got like a concave here, and then we were pre prepared to flank with these units if he did come in here. Since his army's in the middle, we've got our we'd go for a sandwich. It was a little bit sloppy sandwich. We probably could have like reinforced it better and set it up a little bit cleaner. Maybe wait, if, maybe wait for another couple of unit cycles for some more link support. It's still good though. We cleared all the Templar and reset the goon count, so... Yeah. yeah. There's no goons behind that. A full, uh, and then we a got full Ultra. Base, full base Pros is still formidable though, right? Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, full, full for base sure. Is this is why I'm taking it so seriously. This is why I'm like not like skipping beats of my production and expanding, because I'm like... Yeah, I can lose really easily against this shit. Like, two base pros is scary. You mentioned four base pros is fucking doubly scary. <laughs> yeah, well, once I get to four base, I, it feels like you can fight forever. That's how yeah. it feels like you're playing a UMS map, where you're just, like, trading <laughs> on me and skirmishing. So, the, the, the thing is, is that... Like, he has a death ball and he can skirmish us, so we have to kind of delay him for, like, more value, like, plague and shit. Ideally, if he gets that unstoppable death ball and starts skirmishing with storms, you kind of have to get plague. Did a really good job, like, pulling him back and forth there while you picked him apart. Yeah, he liked that. tried to move out. I thought it was pretty clean. I might even, yeah. like, um, excerpt that game from the VOD and make it, a, like, a YouTube video. <clears throat> And start doing things like that where like if I have like an occasional decent game or something, I'll throw that there yeah, as should. content. You guys want more views on YouTube for sure. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. 
Yeah, based on what I saw, just that little bit, I'd say 1700, 1800. I would say that's a fair assessment. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got um, ranked on our uh, other account. We're playing ladder. Yeah, no. a it's little bit. Nice. A little bit. Five and two, it's pretty good. I was I was disappointed with the last game because we really could have won it. Ah, look at that, if anyone's into numerology. Got three, three, three total games played and 66% win rate. That's uh, some interesting numerology. That's <laughs> pretty weird, man. <laughs> and here's the thing, 219 is three. Yeah. Nine is a multiple yeah. of three. Exactly, exactly. See, oh now you, now you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> Oof. Indeed. Yeah, and I'm gonna restart my uh, Starcraft on Europe. I mean, the West. It's ridiculous, I've got like three counts of deer at the moment. That's ridiculous. Man, if people were like really into their numerology, that would probably be enough to like make them want to step away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, have you noticed my um ID as well? I got a 2933 as my ID. I was happy to get 33 in my ID, it's my favorite number. I signed up for an SLS next week and then I think I'll call it a season. Call the season? Yeah, I'll be done. Who, what team are you playing against next week? Uh, let me check on the map. And do you want to play 3v3 of me and Mouse or something? Or maybe Mouse is busy, I don't know. Would you be down uh, to play 3v3 or not? I might in a little bit. I actually want to set up my mic here in a minute. Oh, you got your mic? Yeah. He's got his mic, everybody! I'm not going to sound like crap anymore. You're still going to sound like a Farmer Joe, but I'm going to love you all the more for it. <laughs> Your voice still sucks, but the quality will be better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we like you for you, Ozzy. So that's what we want to hear. We want to hear you, but crystal clear. Sure. Crystal clear in your ears. Wait, he actually didn't even say who we're against. Oh. Yeah. Do you think, uh... Hmm? Do you think Love Snow can beat Doodle Doodle? <sighs> he, he, so, right, he, he can. Will he is another question. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what I guess I, that's what I meant. Will he? I... Yeah, will he? Um, I would say, statistically speaking, he's probably a f 35 to 65. Yeah. Right now. I feel about it. Um, he's not favoured. Oh yeah, for sure. It's uh, TVP, right? But he can do it. it. Like, if it's the thing with Love Snow is that when he's having, when he's on his good day and he's mm -hmm. like not on autopilot mode and shit, like he's he can be a beast. He's All super right. coin flipping. When yeah, when he's on his game, like he he's like high A TVP. I feel like he's he's all, he's all, like he he's almost semi pro when he's like playing at his best. Almost yeah. like it, it looks really clean when he's playing at his best. Like, it's crazy. It's pretty funny because you know I've played against him like legitimately twenty times now, and there are just some games where I play against him and it's like there's no way this is the same person. It it it, it does, yeah, right. Like there's some games where it looks <laughs> like it's like he's got like a split personality where suddenly he, like mm -hmm. slips on his big boy pants and becomes a semi pro. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, no, man, I know that uh, Doodle Doodle's super good. That's why I, I lean more towards him, even if Snow's on his game. 
Man, I'm still really salty that I had food poisoning when I played Poodle in CQ. Because <laughs> I felt like I could take him, man. He wasn't that much stronger than me, even though I was playing, like, not too good. Ah. Missed opportunities. Yeah. It's a shame. That's why I felt when I played against Scan. <laughs> <laughs> if I was really on my to game, be... I could have lasted at least another minute. To be honest, though, it's, like, my fault, like... Because like the night before, I like was practicing and not uh, the day before I was practicing and not didn't eat much during the day. And then at night, I like ordered like a kebab like to, out of convenience. Mm. But like I got like a, like a crappy like doner meat kebab. I usually would get like a, a lamb shish or something that at least has a higher chance of not making you ill. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I ate something really dumb, so it's totally on me. It is on you. It is a hundred percent on me. We done goof, son. <laughs> we done messed up. We done messed yeah, up. Yeah, I, I guess we don't even know what team we're against yet. No, you don't. Wait, is it not drafted yet? Or like, do they have to... How did, did you just not get told or what? Like, uh, I'm not sure. Like yesterday, he asked about signups. Like, you know, for us to sign up and then... That was it. Hmm. I don't think it was posted anyway. Next week. Next week. Oh, so the schedule's already made then, I guess, for the team matchups? Hmm? I'll say it's on. Kind of fun watching Say on stream the other day. Fuck it, I'm just fucking crumbling. Fucking wow, what is the timing of that? The second that I type to Say in, I'll play next. The, literally the second I type that, then Mouse finally replied to me. Give me a sec. <laughs> like instantaneously. It's in an SL info? Okay. So I guess we're against. Uh... AK? Whatever AK's team is. AK's team. Oh man, this is not the time to play my shit. Hopefully I can avoid PvP. I'm like really feeling PvZ right now. I played against uh, somebody named Red Eye. You know, yesterday. yeah, but you know that's my team, right? Is it? Yeah. You're on Mana Dog's team too. I'm on Mana. Wait, who? Mana Dog. Mana Dog. Oh, okay, okay. There's a little mix up. Sign up, John. Let's go. Let's fight each other. I'll probably play every week. I don't care yeah. if I win or lose so much. I just want to get an experience going. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it I, I think it's... would be nice, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm just sure. going to play for the experience. That, that's what CPL did, did for me was um, by signing up, it made me play even if I wasn't in the mood to, right? So I would keep practicing when I didn't yeah, feel like it. Kind of, I'm, I'm using it as like, a, yeah, like a, a motivational tool as well for, to yeah. like facilitate practice and helps create content for the stream. And mm -hmm. It's all good, it's all positive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if it weren't for CPL, I probably would have never got good at ladder because I just never would have done it. Mal says, let me obs one, need to do my sweet potato chips slash fries. Sound like RZ. Hi, RZ. Yeah, yeah, it is RZ. It's me. It is a him, RZ. The dragon. 
The Alabama Dragon. You gotta think of like a dragon title that's like related to being an Alabama farmer. Like, what? Like what? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Could be something as simple as like the Alabama Dragon. Just something like that, like a boxing name or something, you know what I mean? Like, like a nickname to represent I your brand. I want my... Uh... I want a profile picture of a three-headed cow with long necks. <laughs> <laughs> Spewing fire. That's what we need. <laughs> Did you say you didn't want to play right the second? Yeah, no, I mean, I set up my mic here before I do anything. Yeah, yeah. How long do you reckon you'll be doing that? Because I don't know how long it will take to set up something. Uh, I mean, at least a couple hours, because I'm probably going to do it and then fall asleep. Oh, fair enough. It was a long day this morning for me. I spent like three hours cleaning out like water containers and tanks and stuff for the animals. Just got an itch, you know? Sometimes you see it and it just looks nasty and... Like once I look at it, I have to... to clean it. Yeah. So I try to do my work with my head down so I don't see anything wrong. But one of the the one we, one of the containers we had for the cows was like uh I mean the water was like almost red from the rust coming from the container. Yeesh. So I got a scrub brush and I was like in there for like an hour and a half scrubbing that crap out. Doesn't sound good. It's kind of funny how it works, though, like, that you can ingest rust and it's not that bad, but if it gets in your bloodstream, you die. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna play a little fun little UMS map where we make for mouse. I like splitting up practice sessions with like a little bit of BGH and UMS and shit. Yeah. The only reason I don't like doing it is because every time I do it on stream, people just leave if I do one into the other. Like if I start off a full ladder stream, then I'll get like 30 plus viewers. Or if I start off a BGH stream, I'll get like 30 plus. But if I like swap from one to the other, I get like 8. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, man. I would never, yeah, I guess. I don't like playing StarCraft for free, you know? Oh, we don't do it for me, uh, money, RZ. We can't right now. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I got to take a Hey, what's up, Ace? How you doing, buddy? Oh my god, it's Ace. <laughs> I like how he acts like he's not pleased to see you. I bet you inside he's like smiling and happy you're here. We can I'm move. The... I'm the. I how just crazy got strong is Pro compared to Zerk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Messaging me on Discord. Hi, Mouse. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Yes, sir. How you doing, buddy? Can I... Miles wants to join the call. Is it okay for me to invite her to this channel? It's fine, right? Yeah, sure. What am I up to? Oh, uh, well... I'm... Boiling some water right now to make some instant coffee. Instant and coffee. then... Uh... I don't know. It's probably going Sit down. Maybe watch a cow video. Because for some reason, <laughs> it's in my head right now. I don't know why. Have you like, seen Ozzy's like... videos? No, I've never seen his videos. Ozzy, you need to link him your farm videos, man. I only have one. Yeah, why don't you link him that one? Yeah, see, yeah. that music, music is playing in my head. 
Tung tung Dah ada happy news ya I don't know what I was like alright Maybe I'll go watch it It's just like playing in my head for some reason <clears throat> But other than, other than that No nothing going on Other than that? I get it It's very funny Oh, Ace, um, we did the builds in a fairly long game today, um, though the fifth patchery wasn't at fourth because we didn't send the drone late, so like the 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 fifth patchery was the fourth rather, instead of the fourth. <clears throat> was it played today? Yeah. I was watching your stream earlier yeah, on yeah. YouTube. Oh, were you watching the games? Yeah, before I took a shower and I was just like still laying in bed. Was it on party point, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen it. I was still watching. Did this, you see the Ultralisks and play it game? The spec seating, yeah, the top right position, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you, I did, saw. Did you like uh, the final fight, how I engaged? I didn't see that part. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was probably yeah. in the shower then. That's okay. I, I just saw the part when you was I'm, like top right. I, I might upload that game to YouTube anyway, because it was like pretty good like fights, and from the first person vault it looked pretty sick. Okay. What's up, no problem. Yeah. Uh, now can join the channel for 10 minutes, it says. She has to be in the Discord for 10 minutes before she can join the call. Oh. Uh, uh, what a weird rule. Let's just stop spying that. Thanks for the sub. And thank you for pissing everywhere. Who are you, Dub? I got a sub and his name is pissing everywhere. So I said, thank you for the sub and thank you for pissing everywhere. Mm. Wait, is Mouse in here? Yeah, or did I miss her? She's in, yeah, she's in the uh, Discord. She has to be here for 10 minutes before the letter join the call. Wait, what? Yeah, the Discord is set so they cannot join a voice channel for 10 minutes after. Into, yeah, so they've been oh, in the Discord for 10 minutes. So they can't just like jump on and troll for like a split second, maybe? I guess so. Maybe. Can't someone drag her in? I got it. Or give her, like, like, I don't, I don't think she can join a call at all. Is it because she hasn't got tag jail or something? Like I wonder if someone manually gave her tag, she would be able to. I don't know. It's only five more minutes though. I can not kill third hit. I got to. Always makes me wonder how Discord works. It seems like an enigma. <laughs> Well, it's a setting you can set to the channel. Like I've seen the setting before mm. in my channels. Oh yeah, we created our Discord server today. I haven't linked it up for yet or anything. I need to <gasps> do that. I need to like get people on it and set up the invite link thing on stream and shit. I mean, I probably won't join yours anyway, just to spite you for never joining mine. Wait, oh, I am oh, on wait. yours. What okay, are you talking yeah, about? No, I am no, on yours. I've been no, on yours for a no, long yeah, time. Yeah. Show, show, that's that's the real friendship. <laughs> you don't even notice that I'm on. I've been on your Discord for a long time. That's the real. That's the real thing going on here. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll join your Discord then. It's all good. <laughs> you know what, John? I forgive you. <laughs> oh, thank you for your humble forgiveness. <laughs> I appreciate it. You are so gracious. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Protoss versus Zerg is so OP in this map that I'm playing right now because like eventually they get like these war Warbringer Reavers which have so much HP and don't die and then they later can get D-Web and like your entire ground army is irrelevant and then they got crazy anti-air as well. Like <laughs> I don't even know what you're supposed to do against it. Running the bower enough? Oh no, you can flood the bowers and shit and they will still just have mass scouts and uh, Corsairs mm. and just wreck you. Do you know why Reaver Sair is freaking OP? Tell us, Ace. There's Edmund only Ace. one reason why. And I'll tell you why. It's only because there's a why. building called Photon Cannons. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, yo. If Photon <laughs> Cannons did not shoot air and ground, like, you imagine how fucking shit they would be. But it's the mm. fact that they can shoot both air and ground and detect. It's like that's it's so OP. It's like the it's like the best defensive structure that you can use for like almost ninety percent of all situations mm. for one hundred fifty minerals. So like it just it suits Toss that wants to play defensive because like their defensive structure is like the best out of all three races. Yeah. Are you kidding yes. me? It sucks big time. I mean, yes, it detects and stuff, but like compared to a bunker with one turret, it's it's a joke. Yeah, but then the bunker, think about it, you need two SCVs. One to build the bunker, one for a missile turret, and then you need four marines. It's like, that's so much more APM yeah. and it's like a lot. It's a lot more APM lot. intensive as well, yeah. Yeah, like you gotta make four Whereas four one marines. probe can make a shit ton of cannons. <laughs> you know it's not APM intensive? Exactly, yeah. Like just one probe, one pylon, make like five cannons and a nexus. Boom, your next, uh, your space is now like secure. Yeah, yes. but like bang for buck, I think, you know, um, the red plus bunker is much, much better. Plus, you can repair it, and you can't repair it. Uh, There's some situations where a bunker can be more valuable than a photon cannon, like especially if you're doing like bunker expand or something situationally. Yeah, it's got a lot of value to it. But overall, photon cannons definitely more superior to a bunker in value. I think nukes are better. <laughs> nukes are better. <laughs> well, well, one thing that you can say for bunkers is they're good reactively because they have a very fast build time, like shield batteries. And they have more value than a shield battery, so they're good for that reason as well. Taking a little tour of Ozzy's mini farm. Look at them little kitties. Yeah, I think all outside cats have like long fur. I don't see none of them that are short fur. Yeah, usually. Got the dogs. Got the kitties. Look at them dogs kicking the air. <laughs> Told you we'd like those videos. <laughs> look at him. He's literally like jumping up in the air, like, <laughs> like look at me, pet me, give me food, give me something. <laughs> Just attention and love, that's all they want. Yeah, something I'll never give them. So what are they there for? Guarding chickens or something? I mean, there's nice. out front. I just for, I don't know, just to exist. Yeah, like, it's not like they're guard dogs, they're just like, family yeah. dogs. Yeah, those are out front, aren't we? We do have guard dogs out in the back, though, in the barn. Like, pet dogs. Got the little tractor going on over there. Look at this sea web shit, like, how do you even... Like, it's the most OP thing I've ever seen on a UMS. Like, they That's just so stupid. It's so dumb! Like, they got like, these hero reavers that wreck everything. D-Web, but then they could just go mass air behind it. <laughs> what are you even meant to do against this? Do you know what, let's just do something crazy. Just for fun.
require more minerals. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Looks like it's going pretty well. Alright. <laughs> Like, look how much the air sucks as well. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's ridiculous, yeah, right? Like, tell me this is not ridiculous. Like, you can just get like hero scouts and shit. And there's like nothing you can do. This is not balanced at, at all. Yo, Ozzy. Hmm. So the the goats, um, do you like get goat goat milk? <laughs> that version's crazy. Yeah. Uh, no, mouse, I cannot hear you. Have you set up your um, input and output devices and stuff like that? Yeah, we we sell goat's milk and cow's milk. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, yeah we can hear you now. Hello? Hi, Hello. Ah. Oh, there's, there's an echo. <laughs> okay, my English is not very well. <laughs> okay, my German is terrible. Okay. Give me a bit of and schnell. Okay. I see terrible. I can say Stein and Zenf. That's good. What's so. <laughs> Isn't there like a hard pronunciation mm. like Su or something like this? Some I hear I hear me double. Um. I you can just uh, mute my uh, stream on YouTube. The most important thing in German to know is the following. Das Bier schmeckt Ah, gut. better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all new for me, so... How you doing, Mouse? I'm fine. And you? Yeah, I'm doing alright. You wanna play soon, or what you doing? Yeah, we can play. Aziz coming with us? Nope. Oh, he's setting up his uh, microphone right now. He got a new microphone <laughs> finally after all this time. <laughs> what was wrong? The Blue Yeti. He got a Blue Yeti, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he did a little bit of research and managed to somehow end up with the worst mic possible, almost. I don't even remember how it came about. <laughs> it's when I got it. Like, I got it. And I was struggling so much with the sensitivity on it too. And then I like started looking up how to fix it. And I couldn't really find answers. And then I talked to someone and they're like, oh god, why did you get that? Okay. Right. I'll host game. Does anyone else want to play threes? Or should we just play with random? Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I try my best. Is insane gonna play with you guys? Uh, I don't know. Ask him. You want me to ask him if he's gonna play with you? No, I'll ask him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy, be my personal assistant. Yeah. Go message people for, for me. Did you win your CPL match, Ozzy? NSL? Oh, NSL, sorry. Yeah, yes. <laughs> good grief, Mouse, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did. Yeah, good. As expected, I guess. Good job. I saw oh. uh, I saw something uh, at um, Love Snow's war side mm -hmm. uh, that you were the second one in one group, mm -hmm. the second place. Yeah, it was the second match. Uh. I won 2-0 and Quark told me how terrible I was the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I did ask him. Yeah, no, I mean, I did too. <laughs> like, the, the second game, I felt like there wasn't much... Like, I don't feel like I did really hardly anything wrong the second game, but the first game, like, I knew there were issues. Yeah. I was actually really happy with my second game. It's funny because like that was that was the response I 
I thought up on my own, and then Quark was like, yeah, this is just the standard counter. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, there was only like a few things you did which were weird, like when you tried to move down the ramp of goons. And yeah, stuff like and that. I knew it when I did it too. Yeah, yeah. It was like one of those things where, like, as I was starting to walk down the ramp, I was like, "There's no reason for me to do this, but I'm just gonna panic." <laughs> Other than that, though, it was pretty perfect response to what he yeah. did. I even like set up my. Well, I guess the other thing too, because I set up a really good concave, and then at one point I accidentally double clicked my zealots. Yeah, you, you messed up a really good concave. You had a setup yeah. where you could almost four and one a zealot mm -hmm. that came up the ramp. It was like a really nice curve you had on that concave. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just accidentally double clicked once when I was like using the battery. I was like, dang it. The reason why I thought that concave was so strong was if he tries to focus on the right hand side, he gets like three or four on one. If he focuses the zealot on the left, he can only one on one it, I think. Or mm. and then you only have to heal one zealot with the shield battery, and you can like churn all that energy into one zealot, and yeah. it all holds for longer. Like it's like nothing you can do to break it. The only thing that was interesting to me, because. From my perspective, I could just go goons and win automatically. But then Quark's thought process was just go DT. Like go one Dragoon into DT, which was really interesting for me. <laughs> oh yeah, don't ask me about my NSL game, Mouse. What? I play an NSL too. I'm being silly. I'm making you? a joke because you asked Arzi how his game went, but didn't ask me mine, even though you had no idea I was playing. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you played. I know, I'm just being funny. I thought you were only the teacher. Only the teacher? Mm. Yeah. Only the teacher. <laughs> now, so, do uh, coaching how and playing. Did, yeah, how did your game went? I won one to a. Yeah. That's cool. It's Next good. week's probably going to be Jean versus me. Yeah, I w uh, that's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not. He wants to play against me and then retire for the season. I can see his agenda. I mean, I was going to retire before I knew it'd be against you. <laughs> see, Zone's the type that'll go like zero and five versus you in practice games, and then when it's time for the real match, he'll like three o you. Well, I know my games against Jean, it's him practicing a lot of new stuff right now, so, like, I, like, I, I recognize that, and I know Jean knows a lot about how I play, and I'm pretty good, I think, about kind of changing my mindset for, for a series against someone that knows my style, so, I think it'll be pretty interesting when I play against each other. Yeah, how do you I feel about that, Zen? I look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I think regardless of the result, it'll be good games, it'll be entertaining for people to watch, and it'll be mm -hmm. fun to play, and whatever. It's all positive, that's all I can say. And I'll be happy, because I, I, I win-win. Either I win, and I'm happy, or he wins, and my friend wins, and I'm happy. Yeah, for me it's a uh, win-lose. Either I win, and I'm happy, or I lose, and I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd probably only be frustrated if I made like some dumb mistake that cost me an easy win or something. I don't think right. I'd be frustrated if I lost just because you, you outplayed me or something. I'm actually the opposite. When I feel like it's a, the closer the game, the more pissed I'll be if I lose. I think I, I'm actually okay losing like good games quite often. Like if I can lose a game that's a good game, but I can also recognize like a lot of my mistakes that could have changed things because the thing is, is like at the yellow that i play at right like when i play against the 2k zergen because i it was yesterday the day before i played a pvz where we like almost mined the whole map we, we were both down to like one base we'd kill each other and like coming back and winning and recovering ended up losing the game but it was like the reason it was even close was because he didn't do upgrades so he was like 2-1 when i was like 3-2-3 three, three. um so it's like 
I'm at an Elo where we both make a lot of mistakes to kind of cancel out each other's mistakes to make it a good game. So, while I can easily say, well, I could have done this in one, I could also say, well, he could have done this better in one easier, right? So I don't yeah. mind games like this where I feel like there's a lot of, like, small things that I can see that I need to improve or work on. I mean, and it's still a game. I do remember I had, like, a, a little over an hour. It was, like, an hour and ten minute game before, and I lost. <laughs> I didn't feel too bad because, like, I knew it was, like, a really good match, you know? Like, mm -hmm. if somebody was watching that, they were like, yo, this match was insane, you know? Like, back yeah. and forth, all the way to, like, the last base mining, you know? But, um, those are the ones that are, like, feels the worst to lose sometimes. It's like, damn, I just put in, like, an hour of fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that's how every Terran feels in TVT. Like ah, oh, your shoulders starting to ache and everything. Just like your freaking forearm is like tense, you know. It's pretty funny that PVZ though, because almost everybody in my chat was like, "Yo, this is like a really fun game. This is crazy." Blah blah blah. And I had one guy that's like, "Why are you still here? You can't win." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. <laughs> like get out. Say GG. Well, that, that's the best time though. If you if you win when someone's down, you man. Yeah. You go. That's sweet. Yo, yeah, why isn't this US, UMS starting? What the fuck? Hey, oh, should I play three v three with me and Mouse or something? Yes. I can, but I'm with Saiyan right now. Oh, I what I'm saying. Yeah, the random. Oh, it's like that. Random defense Mouse, map. Have you ever played UMS maps before? Like fun maps? You like those Nothing, or not? It's not starting. The map is legit not starting. Uh, the I only one I played map. was uh, Kenna defense. <laughs> Sunken <laughs> defense. Mm, that's all. And one we tried last time, mm. I think. Okay. If you tell me what to do, we will. There's a really fun one called 182A3. You guys, you guys can play that. <laughs> Wait, let me let it, wait. We can work on your APM mouse. Yes. And in 10 years, it will be one more APM. Higher. Creeping up on that 100. Yeah, I'm, I'm close to 100. <laughs> Alright, follow me, mouse. Yeah, I try. Okay, what? so this is a defense map. Um, if the music annoys you, you can turn it off in the top left of a civilian by moving down. But um, you have a nexus which spawns units. It also upgrades your units. So like you'll do pretty much everything from the nexus. So just hotkey that at the start. Like for example, you press, like, you spend 20 minerals to make a unit with Q on the nexus. Okay. Um, so at the start, just spam Q on the Nexus, spawn in all your units. It'll give you one of four different units each time. So it'll be like a Hydra, a Marine, a Goliath, or um, a Dragoon. And then you can eventually combine those units into heroes and upgrade them. But the main important thing is that you um, don't just like hold position and like sh let your units shoot. You have to like manually shoot one at a time to like make sure you kill them in order so you can get more minerals to keep growing. I try. Okay. So hotkey oh, nexus. Which is which is mine? Ah, yes. Yeah, I'll make a nuke on the uh, missile silo as well. So you might get a ghost later on that you might want to nuke with. Press Q or upgrade. Q only Q for now. Just oh, Q Q Q all the way till you only have five minutes left. Where are they? Uh, okay. Yeah, and then you want to stand here because that's where they're going to come from. You see the arrows on the map. Don't worry if you struggle on the first game, you're still learning. Yeah, you're gonna need to play like a good 10 games, 20 games before you like really get the hang of it. Because that's how long it took me. Time right. to retire from BGH, Mel. So when they come, just like right click on one of them. The music is so loud. Yeah, you can turn it off up here. You can move the guy down. And then if it doesn't turn it off, you can. Um, it should turn off though. Oh. <laughs> Say in DC. So yeah, the idea mouse is that you're shooting uh, one at a time and getting minerals quick. 
and then quickly buying more heroes, more units. And that way you'll get enough damage to keep killing them faster and faster. Make sure you're shooting one at a time, Mouse. Try and keep your units in a tight little ball and shooting one reaver at a time. Okay. Cool. And when you spawn a new unit, don't forget to grab it from here. One thing you can do is like queue up commands, like say you right click a reaver and you hold shift and right click two more so that they'll shoot that reaver and start shooting the other two while you're going to grab units and doing other things. doing okay for your first try. Whoops. I didn't need to do that. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. My mic. Oh, shit, how's it? So a technique here would be focus an overlord while the reavers are on the w the reavers are on the way, and then kill the reavers before they can get past you. So you're like getting a few overlord kills and still killing all the reavers. Shoot the queen. Shoot the queen. There you go. It'll give you a random reward. In the, it could be minerals, could be a unit, like a special unit. Like you got a defiler, so you can use that to play things. around <laughs> yeah 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 the units will bug out part of the skill is like keeping your army together and like trying to only attack things that are in range so they don't bug out too much is basically to not let it reach 300 units. Right now we're at 200 plus. Oh, 
Oh, you're doing pretty good for your first game, okay? Thank you. Ah. So your goal is basically to get eight of one unit so that you can make a super superhero out of it. Because two makes one, and you need four super four heroes to make a superhero. So you need eight base units to make a super superhero. And you can then sell the units that you don't want to get even more money to upgrade and double down into that unit choice. Okay. It's like I've just got Hydras now, so I'm going to sell my Goliath and upgrade those. No! We literally oh. lost as my super, super Hydra just like Sorry. popped and started shooting. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> it's hard, though. But it's yes. good. But it's a fun game. It is. The music was so loud, loud and I um, could not find where to put it down. In the top left. I, I did try pinging it on the map. In the top left, there's a civilian. You move the civilian down. Okay. That will turn off the music. Yeah, the, the map is definitely hard. We spent like uh, two hours last night trying to beat it, and we still couldn't beat it with three people that we knew and like a ra one random, so. Okay. Yeah, it's, not, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Let, let Reaper play. I, I, I'm okay. If, if Reaper wants to join in, let him play. Okay. You sure is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can help explain to Mouse because you can. Uh... Uh, yeah, I can just for like a, a minute or two. Like, uh, if he knows about the two heroes, t it costs ten minerals, or do I, was, I can explain to him. So top left, there's. Yes, music. Top left, civilian down. Okay, so you guys started. Already, On. You know? What to do? All right, so. I would suggest hockeying the Nexus. The music not turn off. No. Uh, control S, Control S again. Oh, 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 move the civilian back a few times because sometimes you have to like move back up and then go all the way down again to like kind of trigger the. Did you do the Control S thing? Control. No. Yes. <laughs> no. I thought it's off. Did it stop or not? this stuff or not mouse oh now it's the whole sound is off yeah you, you have to okay. do it again like control s then control s again to like disable and enable it again and it should oh, turn yeah. the music off okay and now no oh yeah it's a little technical okay. trick for you Ooh. you're welcome If I ever say something that you're not quite sure what I mean, you can ask me to repeat it, I don't mind. Okay, I will do. You can upgrade your Hydra at the Nexus. It's a S by default, where you can just push the button. It only costs five minerals to upgrade the first attack. It's good if you've got hero units because they get better scaling of upgrades. So you can use that to do a little bit more damage to the Reavers and get a few more kills. Uh, a good tip to, ha to do is like hockey your units and then hockey your Nexuses as well. So that we can um like upgrade and then go back to your unit uh, quickly, so you can start uh, focus firing down some units. And then when you look at your mineral count and it's like, oh okay, I have enough for my next upgrade, then you can just 
you know, toggle back to your Nexus to upgrade and then go back to your units again. And then uh, you can also build the nuke at the start of the game. Sometimes when you kill the queen, you get rewarded a ghost. And then you can use nukes with that ghost. So um, I would suggest hockeying the, the nuke building. I don't know, the silo. Yeah, there it goes. So whenever you use a nuke, you can also build a nuke right away. But that's if you get the ghost. But if you play a couple of times, you, you will get the ghost eventually. For sure. So, like, you know how you have four random units, the Marine, Hydra, Goliath, and uh, Dragoon? So, in my opinion, uh, I think the Hydra list is the best. Second best is the Marine. Uh, third best would be the Dragoon. And lastly, the Goliath. I, uh, you should stick to two or three unit type compositions. And then the fourth that if you do get that fourth unit, you can sell it for upgrades or more units of mm. the original two and three that you are focusing on. For simplicity, I would recommend you only focus on two or less, like just one or two, because if you go into three, it can get a little bit hard to juggle and manage. And yeah, yeah. All and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We we all have to pull our weight. You're still learning the map. It'll take you several goes until you finally start to get it a bit more. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about having a struggle initially. Okay. What's up, buddy? Uh, you ever saw that um? South Park episode, Make Love Not Warcraft, or well, Not World of Warcraft, yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> Do you remember the part when Randy was like, he died in the game, and they started making like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sounds yeah, like role playing out the death, yeah. <laughs> That's what I imagine every time like I die in that UMS. <laughs> 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 <It's> like, ah. <laughs> I don't know why, it just brings a kind of funny aspect to it every time we lose. <laughs> yeah, so Mouse, like, what I, what I recommend, unless you get really lucky and, like, get, like, say, a lot of Hydras or something right away, like, the unit composition you've got right now, like, you want to just keep buying units until you notice that you get a lot of one thing and then start upgrading them into heroes and upgrading their attack and stuff. For now, just, like, focus mainly on buying new new units.
face. We're playing with a random right now. Why don't you come in on the next game? Uh, yeah, sure. What's happening with Saiyan's, uh... I guess saying he's exiting even though he's not, you know what I mean? So I promise was bound now, sorry. Saying's having some internet issues, man. I feel bad for Canadians. He doesn't usually have this happen. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get it. <laughs> we'll have Ace for the next one too. Okay. Let's <sighs> go wait for Sam to be started start, bro. Uh, 
Uh, give me a second. I have to check something. <laughs> Please. Okay. No worries. Games up when you're back.
Sorry. Look at that mouse. <clears throat> We're gonna play one without you since I don't know how long you'll yeah. be. Yeah, no watch my stream then. Maybe you can pick up some things on what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I had to stop the stream because it was laggy. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Better without earphones. Yeah, I can hear it. But then you can hear uh, all things happening here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes a screen round. Well, just don't do anything too crazy, you'll be alright. Which is more important to kill? The overlords or the tanks or the rivers? Sorry? Sorry, I was on the phone. Who are you asking? Me? Yeah. No, nothing. Something about tanks or something. Ah, uh, uh, which is more important to kill? The tanks or the overlords? Uh, the, the, the easiest unit to kill is what you want to kill, so the overlords. But like, say, if like there's like an overlord won't get past, I'll maybe kill one tank while waiting for the overlords or something. Like, I'll kill this tank here, because there's not many overlords. Um, uh, mouse? Enough marines to make here now. Yes. Um, no, uh, one... What I like to do is... It's like these... You see how the levels, like... Like, the uh, units come out in levels? Mm-hmm. So I always, I try to always kill the, the earliest level, like, cause those are the weakest units. Mm -hmm. Cause every level the units get harder to kill. Okay. So like a good way to uh, think is like, the faster I kill the units, the more minerals I could get exactly. to like kill itself. Oh, okay. The, the, the only exception to that is if like say I'm if I'm if I'm hard carrying a game and I'm really far ahead, sometimes I'll prioritize stronger units to help my teammates so the weaker units they can get for kills. That's like the only exception to that. If you're like if I'm really far ahead and I don't need the extra kills, I'll sometimes only focus on hard units to help my team out. Okay. But other than that I'm always focusing weak units.
Which hero did you get? Marine. I just kept stacking units until I got eight of one and then I made him into the hero. This is the problem see i'm focusing so much on managing things that mm -hmm. then i'm not killing enough and then we can sometimes lose just barely so it's like can be tricky because if you're like trying to manage upgrading and selling and combining heroes you might lose out on some damage that then we lose the game so it can can be really hard this map that's why i enjoy it because it's like you're kind of multitasking Okay. Even on the defense map. sound is too loud and you uh, can hear it, you have to say something. Okay. But you're on push to talk right as well? Or are you not? What are you, you are you <laughs> <laughs> Are you on push to talk or voice activation? I don't know. Are you pushing a button to talk or are you just talking? No, no, no. I only okay, okay. Talk. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll let you know if it like picks up your game sounds too much. I can hear it a little bit, but... Yeah, okay. It's uh, more comfortable for me to uh, don't wear headphones, so... No, oh, trust me, I know. I'm sometimes getting headaches from wearing headphones so much. Turn your music off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I don't know what's going on with his internet today. It's not, it's not you, Mouse, it's his internet. I always feel it's me. <laughs> it's not you, I promise. It's just his internet. Oh, was a discussion with my husband? Mm. I always say it's me, and he says no. <laughs> <laughs> it's why, not you. why do you feel oh. the need to take responsibility always?
Maybe you're right, Mouse. Maybe it is you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one of the hardest things about the map is getting a good start. Like, you had a slightly bad start, so now it's like you're playing catch-up to get more and more kills. Didn't kill kill the queen. I didn't. You didn't. No. Oh no. You'll get it next time, okay? Yeah. I took your queen. I thank you. Hmm. You gave me a probe and some minerals. Very generous of you, Mouse. It's okay, Mouse. Bad games happen. I'll 
do my best to carry this game. Let's go, Cookie Master. Up Try in to this. get heroes. Yeah, you were like, you were split between two. Like one thing you could have done, you could have like tried to sell like say your Goliaths and your goons, and then try and keep squeezing out units until you finally can like morph uh, times four hero out of like either the what was it you had? You had the Marine and Hunter Killer, so you had the Hydra and Marine. You keep desperately mm -hmm. trying to sell the other two units while buying more and trying to squeeze out. Enough to make a superhero. I'm ready if you want to play now. I just finished eating. Okay. It's like that game, all I did was like non stop make units, and eventually I got eight of one, and I morphed that into a superhero. I don't, I don't usually morph them into heroes early unless it's like I get a lot, like a, a really lucky roll of them, or I feel like I want to get hydras early or something. Mm-hmm. So then you get you get eight units and then you save up forty minerals and you combine those eight into superhero all at once. Was Reaper playing just before? Uh I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I was gonna let him play if he wanted to. Just play Ace. Stop being a nice right. guy for once and play. Stop <laughs> I can't help it. I know you my can't. Mom, how my mama raised me. It's okay. It's, it's nice that you're like that, but 
Also, play when you want to play, okay? I'm chilling. I, mean, I don't really, you know, have an agenda anymore. Alright, well, I want you to play. <laughs> How about that? Alright, then that's what I can say. Yeah, so, um, mouse? Yes? I'm in the bottom left, right? Yeah. And um, I got like a bunch of Goliath and Dragoons, but I ended up just selling them because like I want to focus on just these two units, you know? So it's not always the right play, like uh, it's just... But then the, the concept is that you want to focus on like just a few units and kind of like... Uh, not few units, but few types of units. And just for, uh, keep going on with that. Yeah, you want to rush like one or two types of superheroes. You don't want to mix and match too much. Hydra and Marine are really strong. Goon is okay. I think I just trolled though. <laughs> You're yeah, trolling a little bit. passing me. Yeah, I sold four units. Not even. Oh, you not sell a good four idea. units. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do what I did, Mouse. The, the, I was just <laughs> showing you what not to do. Okay. So um, a good thing to do, like I see how like on the first level, it's kind of hard to pump out 20 minerals, right, to get like another unit out sometimes. So it's uh, just like have your nexus um hockey and just like start adding upgrades as soon as those minerals come. A good way to time out that is every five kills you actually get minerals. So if you look at the kill counter, um, when you reach every you know the fifth, you can expect to like go to your nexus around that time. I'm doing so bad. Oh my god. I'm trolling. Alright, you're gonna have to carry me. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry you, you're too heavy. <laughs> I, I'm doing so bad right now. This is like... I never did this bad. I should have sold four units. That's kind of trolling. I didn't have a hero or nothing. I just gotta get lucky now. The only way for me to come back, Miles, is for me to like roll units now, and like hopefully get the ones that I just spent all my my upgrades on. If I don't get them, then um, dog shit useless. I can't even get a kill. Holy Shouldn't be shit. teaching her to gamble. <laughs> I have to get something good with this queen. Red Templar doing? I got a red. Oh, oh the Dark, dark Templar. So you can mind so, um, control something that you're upgrading. So, say if you're getting um, Goliaths, you could mind control a tank to get a tank to get weapons damage as well. You have a tank um, mouse in the middle of your, where the units spawn. That's the one that you just uh, mind control. So now you've got that extra unit? Yeah. Like when you mind control something that's like outside of your rig, 
that's like the square that you're in, um, it's gonna spawn back in your center of the thing. I trolled so hard, oh my god. Better get lucky right now with these units spawns. Hydra's no Marine. Give me money. Give me anything. Fault now, so that, that was, was really, fault. yeah, that was really my fault. Yeah, that was really my fault. Wasn't your like, fault, Mouse? It was Ace's fault. Yeah, it was 100% my fault. Point the finger at Mouse. Around. Yeah, they didn't hold position. <laughs> I don't like the Dragoon, it shoots too slow. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, they need to open up a spot for a Mouse because yeah. no, no, no. no. You can join Mouse, so I'll... <laughs> what do I say? It's full? Yeah. Yeah, somebody joined that uh, saying um started, so he left and he's free hosting now. No problem. No. <laughs> Wait, mouse. Yeah, it's full right now. Hold. Try again, mouse. Sorry. No problem. Yeah. No. Yeah, good. All right. Say <laughs> it's just start of the game, but looking. <laughs> Oh, I think he disconnected. Too much traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you guys? It's just reverse screen still like stuck in the thing. It is right. Restart our star cuts. All right. Like completely shut down your starcraft. I'd even recommend you completely shut down your battle net. Battle net. Completely shut it down. Completely reload it. Did you close your stream? Uh, no. I'm just uh, restarting my battle net.
Are you guys going to go again? No? Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Hoping after restarting maybe gives us less better on issues. I'm not sure if saying that the same though. Yo, I love how they I love how they spawn that one random reaver that goes like all the way to the edge. Like where it's harder to shoot it. It's so stupid. Uh, it needs more gain. I feel like I'm too quiet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not close enough. Yeah, I can get it a whole lot closer is the problem. Then you need more gain, maybe? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Is that any better? Trying to 
looking over a lot. No. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> ah. Did you ever win this? It's a challenge, for sure. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. More than four dribbles. <laughs> Okay, um, who's your- oh, Mouse, if yeah. I were you, I would sell that Dragoon and, um, get upgrades for your, uh, and, uh combine your Marine or, or something, or your Hydralisk and just get starting upgrades, like, 
Yes. And just mass upgrades for those two units. And starting from that point on, you can try to kind of focus on just Hydroers and Marines. You know what I mean? Because yes. you have, kind of have like that start for it, yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty good start, I would say, for sure. Okay, so Miles, you see how you just got, um, like you, you started off with those units? If you're starting to get upgrades for them, you can also, like, just, like, if you're worried about rolling, like, a random unit that's not that, you can just upgrade the existing units to, like, keep the relevant power spike, since your upgrades are still, you know, there. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of gamble too, because if you get the right units, that's even better, preferable, but, you know, that's why it's a little tricky.
like um now so like right now i have like only dragoons right I, I should be targeting like the overlords but like i'm targeting the tanks right now because of damage types like my damage will be like half on those overlords you know yes so i'm trying to th target like the little bit heavy units that's what they call them in this game because uh overlord
I think, um, I think, uh, Saiyan's, uh, Starcraft may be disconnected. Maybe. Uh, I don't, I'm there. I'll be back, grab a drink, one sec. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, Mouse, it's pretty hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I um, I only beat it one time, but like I was the worst player in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, there was like three really good players that were like carrying the game. Yeah. The second game I tried to change um, two units to one hero, and that did not work very well. So. Y yeah. Um, I only upgraded um, the units. There's like a fine balance between it's hard to know which exactly is the best at the given moment, you know? Yeah. But generally, like, <clears throat> the when you have the strong units like that, like the heroes, that's when it's better to get the upgrades, something like that. So like um a lot of like oh. tier one units and upgrades, it's not as good as like one superhero with upgrades. Okay. Yeah. Like the, the goal though is to try and like increase your odds of getting the superhero by focusing mostly on buying new randoms. And then eventually you'll start selling the randoms you don't want to keep dumping into the one you do want. Can I change single units? Sorry. No, only only to money. Into money? Yeah, you can sell them for like slightly less. So like they cost twenty and you can sell for fifteen, for example. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ozzy is back. Oh. Uh sorta of, I cannot figure out how to make myself louder. Um I need to get That's saying in this so you can talk to him about it. No. It's a ladder. <laughs> Ozzy, you just said ladder. Louder. 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 Oh, louder. louder. <laughs> but you oh, are loud. Yeah, you're. I can hear you perfectly fine. Jean says I'm quiet. Wait, it's not that you're I mean, quiet. Huh? It's just that with with that microphone, there's probably a way of you getting more gain on it. Although. You'll probably do that through your mixer on your OBS and shit. Yeah, so I, I played with it all on, on OBS to get it to sound good on OBS, but I just yeah. know on Discord it's not going to sound the same. No, unless you were... Uh, uh, how close is it to your face? Um, I don't open? know, like 10 inches or so. Uh, I want to get like a, what do they call it, like a an arm? Or a boom? What, is that what they call it, a boom? You mean like a, uh, so you can like have it brief form, so you can like put it up to your face and it's not standing Yeah, so I can have it close yeah. to my mouth. And then you want to pop, maybe you get a pop shield, but you don't have to buy a pop shield, you could make a pop yeah, shield. Yeah, you came with one. Oh, you came with one, okay. I was going to say you could make a pop shield if like. You couldn't afford one. Yeah, I don't know how it sounds for you guys here, but on OBS it definitely sounds a lot better. Um, Still sound like crap here? It sounds like there's more clarity, although it does seem like it's peaking a little bit. Can you, can you, make, can you make some loud noises? I'm incapable of making loud noises, yeah. Well, just, just, just 
talk do me do a test to me can you talk a bit closer to the mic uh yeah this is me talking really close to the mic yeah so it's like uh it i don't know what the word is for it um but it's like you know becoming more distorted when you're closer like the, like it's got too much gain or something hmm. yeah i was actually reading that this mic some people i guess had issues with that on discord specifically that what you're talking about oh really yeah but now it's okay well we we, we, we can still hear you fine on discord you still sound good I'm just talking about in terms of like absolute clarity and like perfection, you know. Yeah, no, I'm. I've been getting really frustrated. The sensitivity is like, I can't seem to get the sensitivity good either. It's like picking up on everything. Um, using okay, go. Wait, you mean on Discord? Uh, go into using CRISPR noise suppression. On Discord. Yeah. On, are you talking about it's picking up everything on Discord? Is that what you're worried yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, just on Discord. Okay, so yeah, on where it says voice connected to the well, to the left of the disconnect button, there's like a noise suppression powered by CRISPR button. Click that. Okay. And then enable that noise suppression. Okay. Now test it. <laughs> it, it. It should pick up a, a lot less on background noises and like you like doing okay. things okay. Hmm? how did it affect my volume like my sound though uh we we'll hear you okay right now just talk just talk for a bit yeah i mean Hearing the question you. was me talking john <laughs> yeah we hear you fine how was your day my day yes you need to talk so my day was annoying <laughs> oh <laughs> why was your day annoying because I get annoyed easily. Mm. Do me a favor. Clap you guys your... know this. Klaus, you know this. Hey, do me a yes. favor and uh, <laughs> clap your hands for me. No baby okay. goats. No baby sheep. No. Yeah, I'm going to clap. Yeah, make some noise away from your microphone. That's not you talking, basically. Yeah, it's like clapping your hands or something. Me? I was no. not picking up on that at all. There you go, see? That's what the noise suppression is going to help with. So, like, when you're doing background shit, it won't pick up as much, but it should still pick up when you're talking just fine. So That's that should cool. help out a lot more for you. And if the suppression level is ever too much, you can turn it down. Like, you can have, like, moderate suppression and not, like, the full-blown CRISPR suppression in the settings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, just, uh... Two. Uh, Say what? I will try this crisp. Yes, you should try that as well, Mouse, while you're doing your headphoneless thing, because it'll pick yes. up on your background noise a little bit, as long as you're close enough to the mic where it's still picking you up. Okay. We will try? Yeah, we'll try. No. Okay. Turn it on. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Hope it's... Well, Fine. we still hear you. Yes? Okay. Yeah. I really don't know where my microphone is. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I don't know if it's in the, um, on the screen. Or, um, yes. Uh, uh, we, uh, my husband and uh, I, we searched it and uh, we couldn't find it. We well, really don't know. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> can you go into your uh, Discord user settings and then voice and video? And then under input device, what does it say? If it's in German, you might have to translate it for me. <laughs> yeah, I will try to find it. Uh, use the settings. Voice and video. Under app settings. And then the input device at the top. What does that say? Oh, no. One moment. Profile. It's under app settings. It's like halfway down on the list on the left. Voice and video. Ah, oh, yes. Default. It's only default. So if you if you click on that, like click on that bar where it says default, is there any others as an option? 
in that list. Nikon Rapu camera, but that is yeah, that's the other option. Okay. And I have no camera installed, so maybe it was in. <laughs> and you don't have a screen with a built-in camera or anything. No. Okay. Oh. Interesting. It works. But it, we can hear you pretty well, so it's yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's functioning, it's working. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, do you you have a desktop computer, correct? Yes. Ah, I wonder. I, I doubt it, but I wonder if you have some weird internal microphone on your computer. I don't know. Maybe in the. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to be a bit crazy and like get down and talk to your computer to see if. Yes. Like, the, the, the only way you could do it is like to you to talk like close to parts of your computer and I, I tell you if it's louder or quieter. Wow. Yeah, it looks really silly. Yeah. I, am I louder now? Yes, yes, you got an internal yes. microphone. Yes, you have an oh, internal microphone. It, That's why. It, it, maybe it's... Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Searching in the microphone. Were you talking, were you talking towards your tower, yeah? Mm. Your actual computer? Yes. Yes. I'm in front of the screen. Oh, you're in front of the screen? Yes. Ah. Uh, and? No. My, um, uh, where the, the letters and the <laughs> numbers are in. What's this? Um, Hasatua. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, I don't know. I have the mouse and the one w when I write something. This is, how was it in English? Keyboard, you mean? Yeah, keyboard. But a keyboard does not have a microphone. No, it, it, it's either your screen or your actual tower. It's actually possible to have a, wow. an internal microphone in your actual computer okay. system. It's also possible. The yeah, the tower is. Um, Although I don't think the quality would the be, test, but so. I don't think the quality would be so good if it was your tower. So yes. it's most likely your screen. Yes. From process of elimination. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, how do you feel about playing some threes with Mouse and I? Come on. One or two. One or two. <laughs> mm. You don't like to? <gasps> oh, he's muted. He's probably fiddling around with his microphone. Mm. Yes. Yeah, uh, I DM'd him on Discord so he knows. What? Mouse is asking you to play one or two games of 3v3 with us. Sure. Please. I'm trying to, um, I want to get rid of this, because I, I hear what you're talking about with it, like, the, like, the peaking. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try and fix it. The best thing to do would be to sit down with Saiyan sometime. Maybe you could share screen with him and he can, like, help you <sighs> troubleshoot it a little bit, because he's got way more experience than I do with setting that shit up. Yeah, no, I mean, I've, I've been, since I mentioned it earlier, I've been like googling and watching videos and stuff non-stop trying to get it to sound decent it it sounds decent on obs i'm the sure problem it sounds is, fantastic um, on obs it's just you have no, an issue with discord it doesn't sound that great on obs like it sounds better than it does here but the problem yeah. is like i i struggle with it picking up like on my keyboard and stuff sometimes when it picks them up on, on my keyboard it's like crazy loud Mm. Well, the CRISPR will help with uh, on Discord with picking up mm. the keyboard, but I'm not so sure about what you could do about OBS. You'd have yeah, to. Uh... I was doing like noise suppression, but it and um, noise gate. But the problem is, apparently, I don't speak louder than my keyboard, so I can't get it to pick up on me without the keyboard. Yeah, plus plus you don't have your uh, boon shit either. Yeah, so... that's that's kind of what I was thinking. But I have to yeah. fix it so I can get the noise gate like so like mm. small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is exactly right. Yeah. Like it's only picking up what's in front of your face basically yeah so it sounds crystal clear and like doesn't pick up anything else yeah that's the only solution i can think of so i'll have to look into buying one when i get paid again by twitch in like three months 
but it's an improvement. You've got an improvement now, and I'm sure it'll sound way better on OBS than Discord. And uh, any improvement is an improvement. And I'm sure with the mixer, you can get it sounding better in the meantime. Play around with that. Maybe get some feedback from Saiyan. I'll probably help you out. That's too much optimism. It's too much optimism. Are <laughs> right, you ready to play, big boy? Uh, yeah, let me... I'll go ahead and turn my stream on, too, so I can get some feedback from viewers as well. Nice. Yeah, you guys should check him out on YouTube, Ozzy the Haki, as well on Twitch. He's a very oh, cool advertise guy. Me. I do what I want, Ozzy. I advertise you all I want. If you come to my stream from Jean's stream, I will ban you. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy's got a very dry humor in general. Yes. Normally, my humor is very dry too, but we always have this language um, barrier uh, problems. Mm. Yes, this barrier. But that, that'd be the difficulty with me, Mouse, is that I wouldn't know if you were trying to make a joke or if, like, I, I was maybe like you were just struggling trying to communicate something to me. You know what I mean? It, it's actually happened with Mouse and I multiple times where she's making a joke and I'm trying to understand what she's like. I'm trying to like <laughs> help her word it better and, without realizing she's like making a joke. Yeah. It's happened like three or four times now. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Very sad. <laughs> All it's right. funny because I, I think my humor lines up with German humor relatively well, actually. Oh, yeah, no, it definitely does. Uh, I actually, yeah. in my head, I, I was trying to rise above it, but I was in my head thinking, like, you two are like a match made in heaven as far as like dry humor and like, yeah. Right. So, yeah. yeah let's, let's Ger play. Germans stereotypically have very dry or dark humor, right? Yes. <laughs> many of us. <laughs> Not is... all, but many. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, there's the meme that Germans don't have a sense of humor, but that's only because people don't understand what kind of sense of humor they do have. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There are some German people which uh, don't understand that dry humor, and if you um, yeah say something and they don't um, uh, realize you are joking, uh, yeah, there's. Uh, uh, yeah. Often uh, silence in the room. Yeah. Kind of watching you and say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ozzy, you give me the green light and when you're ready, my guy. Yeah. We're waiting for. Just trying to make sure you guys aren't louder than me. Yeah, see, now I'm like, man, I'm going to like lose my mind. Don't lose your mind. I'm losing it. Yeah, well. It's lost. Put on the song Pixies, Where Is My Mind? That will help you sort of uh, make a transitory journey into feeling uh, not only valid, but then able to uh, yeah, move into more stop. positive fe feelings. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, see now my mic on. It's weird. It's like I, I get my OBS stuff to like work relatively well, picking me up, and then it just stops when I come back. Sometimes I don't. I don't maybe it's probably because I'm speaking like slightly different. It's yeah. It's because I'm trying to find like a really happy medium where it's not picking up on my keyboard. Mm. But then if I talk quiet, it just doesn't pick me up. For now, I didn't hear the keyboard. What'd you say? For now, I did not hear your keyboard. Yeah, yeah, not on Discord. I mean, on my uh, stream. Okay. I'm not able to watch the stream and play StarCraft and be in Discord. I know it's it's okay. No. <laughs> there have been times where we were playing and you were watching my stream and you're like, I can't, I can't do this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'll, I'll just um, try to make changes as I go, based on feedback and stuff. Oh, yeah. I think I'm just going to have to make an effort to talk louder, but I'll lose my voice really quickly. Mm. My advice, uh, Mouse, if you ever want to idle, like, RZ stream or something without actually, like, being overwhelmed by it, you can, you can mute it, and you can also set the quality 
to lower so like it doesn't drain your internet as much while it's in the background then you can keep going back to it to unmute it and whenever you want to check in with it oh okay yeah so yeah good little tip for you yeah mute this yes you can mute it and then if, if, if you're worried about your internet you can also set the quality lower so that it doesn't drain your bandwidth either okay i'm always worried yeah you know i know i, I get the impression that you're a bit of a warrior <laughs> yeah. and also a bit um well i don't know what the word is for it but like assuming that you are responsible for it <laughs> yes for everything <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, let's go, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. What is Wolfie right to me? Oh, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Hmm? I was like hearing you create. Are you hearing uh, mounds a little bit? Oh, maybe. Maybe? My. Mine? You hear my pre uh, oh, joining? He heard it Maybe. faintly, yeah. Your CRISPR yeah. will block out some of it, but he'll sometimes hear like a little bit. Oh, because she's on the. Yeah, she's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No headphones. Yeah, because no headphones. I have a Razer headphones Ooh, and. Um, Yo, same. Yeah. Uh, um, and. Um, if I take them uh, to uh, my one second, <laughs> if I use them for Discord, so uh, my microphone is not that good, and my ears begin to uh, feel not well <laughs> after some time. But if it's too loud, I will um, put headphones. Take headphones so far. Aziz gone? No, are you? you no, he's here. Someone. Oh. oh, wait for Rook to select race. Mm. You can find BGH. Yeah, yeah, why? Can I play? Oh, yeah, we just started. Do you play next one? Yes, wait. Yeah, we I play uh, BB Freeze <laughs> and shit on stream and that sometimes as well. Come on, stream. Huh? I'm on stream. You can watch my YouTube stream. Oh, that's how you're getting viewers. You're just boycotting <laughs> the Discord stream. <laughs> you guys have been <laughs> sucking me dry on Pons. Discord and giving me no support on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I've got to try and find you on YouTube. Just sun a seal one word. Be fun and easy. Does my game sound too loud? Mouse, no, it's no, perfectly no. fine, don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the Discord and watch your stream so I don't get double speak. Bye bye, and good luck. Bye bye. Right, man. Nice shameless plug, by the way, Jean. What? You didn't even mention me, huh? Thought we were friends. We are friends. But not at the cost of yours. To be fair, I like completely forgot that you were streaming right the second. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> not only am I streaming, BGH is my thing. Uh, I'm the BGH guy. You're the BGH guy. You're over guy. here like, you're yeah, right, I'm a BGH guy. Right. I do this all the time, man. Well, you still haven't taught me Zerg on BGH. Well, you haven't done anything to earn it. What do I have to do to earn you teaching me Zerg on BGH? You YouTube Ozzy to Hockey Zerg tutorial. You watch it and you give the video a like. That's how you earn it. Okay. And then <laughs> you're going to coach me after that. Yeah, sure. Okay. If you have any questions. But it should be good enough. I don't right. even know if it's called Zerg tutorial. Where are you going to do the, uh... Yeah, maybe you can link it to me so I don't actually, like, struggle to find it. It's not entitled correctly. I mean... My YouTube stuff actually shows up relatively well now, surprisingly. That's good. I was, I'm, like, genuinely surprised because my channel is way too small, I think. But there's not many Ozzy to Hockey StarCraft content creators, it turns out. No. 
Although there is a lot of like Zun stuff because it's like an instrument and a name. So I got that that unfortunate. Yeah, that's actually one like really good thing about like my brand name if we want to call it that. Is that I'm not really sharing it with anything. Yeah. Very little. It's good. Wolfix got Terran, dude. <laughs> okay, so did I. You're my one viewer, Jean referred to you. <laughs> What's up, Fonger? So you can probably cannon your choke. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like totally zoned out. I almost killed Green. Actually, come, come blue with me. Versus Marines, could have used the armor. Oh, Let's kill him, I guess. what I wanted to do, was look for my CC. I couldn't get the gas made in time. Should have run straight for the gas. <laughs> what a bitch, man. I could have easily made a guess as well, I'm so dumb. That's Mira from Zerg. <laughs> Just double watch from him. <laughs> Oh. I could have made a guess and didn't. You it's my bad. I did make a guess with one of my drones. I was going to make it in his base, then, but I should have made a guess on the way to his base. So I had enough for three guesses. Mm. No wounds, Um, we can kill Zerg. I know you're like dead, but <laughs> I can kill him and then I'm one v one against a crippled Protoss, so should be good.
Wait, Peter Zolitz? zoned out as well as he forgot to make a gas. <laughs> Alright, while we wait for these scrub scrub lords. Let me know when you're done. I wanna do a Okay. I was a scrub lord and didn't make a guess. <laughs> I was gonna take his guess inside his base, but I died just as my drone got to his guess. But I should have just made another guess on the way to his base. I think I still would have gotten his guess if I would like just ran straight down there, but I was like messing around shooting SUVs and stuff. How's the game going? Uh, just kill the Zerg. So, pretty well. Of my car keys? Did I not have three groups? I don't know. Doesn't matter.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I killed like eight on the way there. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're done, John. You know what? We won as a team. We won as a team. Wait, Fonger's already been following my Twitch for over a year. Or almost a year. Who knew? Well, a lot of it's because of how you're playing makes you a target early. Yeah. A happy accident. Fair enough. Ugh. Well, I also meant because like one hatch layer is really vulnerable, like incredibly vulnerable. Looks laggy. <laughs> Showing up as red for me. I was just saying that guy that was gone looked laggy. Bake man. Hey, wins one every 12 games. It's gotta be good. dragon symbol I used to use, it doesn't copy over like it used to. It's kind of sad.
<laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the immediate result with my mic, but I think um, once I get a boom and stuff, I'll be happier. I'll feel better. Is John's mic broken? No. I don't think so. He just doesn't want to talk to you? Or me, I guess. So, Baka Neck? I don't know how close that is, but... What, what, are, you, what are you sad about? Bikeman. Oh, you're the one that got kicked. That'll teach you. Yeah. Uh, give me a few minutes. Uh, yeah, it's because you're you had a 1 to 10 ratio. A 1 to 12 ratio. Uh, and it's a lost record. There's no worry for us to know, so... That's the downside to a loss record, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I hear you. Um, our boy Bakeman. The one you kicked, that apparently was like kind of a lost record. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, please. What up, Dustin? No, no. Nope. Oh. Yep. 89 APM. <laughs> you were? Yeah. Now slow down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why so hectic? Let him, let him play one. I think I played with him a bunch on Europe. He's actually not that bad of a two, I think it is. Now, do you remember what it was the other day? You said something. Uh, I don't remember the word you used, but you like used a word, and I was like, I never would have expected you to like talk like that or say that. And then you were like, Yeah, this is the first time I've ever done it. Do you remember what that was? Oh, I don't know. Uh, um, um, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I can't remember. I just remember it was kind of funny because it was like, <laughs> it was almost like you were trying to sound like Pip or something. It was, <laughs> it was funny to me. Yeah, we'll never know. Edgardo? Hola. How's it going? Hola. Those two got bars. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dustin, sometimes you say stuff and I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, toss at 12. I guess it could be 9, but we'll see. My first message is that if you want to see out of place Pete and Bass, Boss? 
two 70 year old rappers. Oh, yeah, it didn't show up. It didn't send. Even looking at it on my YouTube now, it's still not there. YouTube is so weird about filtering messages. It's kind of frustrating, actually. Like, so often people are saying things that aren't a big deal, but YouTube filters it. Yeah, a lot of times it, it gets filtered and I genuinely don't understand why. Yeah, what's up, Richard? Is it me or anyone that's getting random buzzing? Uh, it could be my mic. That's part of why I'm doing this little stream here. I to try and sort out issues like that that I might be getting. So what's it? It's just like, is it buzzing when I'm talking or even when I'm not talking? Because if it's while I'm talking, it, it might be picking up on like my fan or something, even on my computer. I'm kind of struggling with the sensitivity on it right now. Almost like a cell phone vibrating randomly. Oh, you might be hearing some of the, maybe the feedback from, um, people I'm gonna call with. Cause I'm hearing like a little bit. Is it like really distant? Or is it kinda loud?
What a data? Friggin data? What is this map? It's uh, BTH. You mean you don't know BGH? You didn't BGH, bro? I have other things making sound, so I'm trying to isolate it on my end. Gotcha. Yeah, if anybody else knows what Dustin's talking about, by all means, let me know. Remember double gas? Well, Hunter's is one gas, so maybe that's what you're thinking of. Did this guy go spire? Or is it just Ling? the other guy? All are under uh, I just didn't know. You guys did say something. You guys are both like pretty dark colors, so it's kind of hard to see on the mini-map for me. Sometimes you just gotta let me know. I'd... It's not that I wouldn't have come. Yeah, I was just black when I was dying to gray, so I just, I just didn't even register. I didn't even see it. Let's go lock my door after the person left because I had someone here talking to me and trying to get something off me. Always trying to set my color to a normal one. Um, yeah, it's good to do. I mean, I use magenta, but purple and magenta look pretty similar. I just like magenta. I like how bright it is, you know? It's annoying that that's how a lot of my 3v3s are. Like I said, it's not that I didn't have stuff to save you, I just did not know what was happening.
I mean, it would happen less if I weren't streaming. So if you want to blame anybody, bl blame my chat. Because I'll be talking to them or reading chat. <laughs> I'm blaming anyone. <laughs> I'm just annoyed that that's how most of the freebie freeze go. I even started doing free hatchling instead of blur. Mm -hmm. One more game, one last game for me. How dare you, mouse? Mm. It's only 11 over there, yeah? Yes. Why are you quitting so early? Because I got up early. <laughs> three more hours. Yeah, 6 a.m. I woke up. So, it's a long day. I'm not a bad teammate, I'm colorblind. <laughs> Something like that. It's changing the turn rate. Hmm. What were we on before? 16, apparently. I like I was running fun, no? Yeah, I guess. But some other fuckers will lag. <laughs> really frustrates me when people come around to my yard and like dump all of their like emotional shit onto me while I'm trying to play a game. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Like talking at me like a hundred words a second about oh, shit. This will be my last one too. I mostly just wanted to do a little test stream so I can listen to my VOD after and see what it sounds like. God. I'm thinking of like certain people in my life, like drawing some boundaries with them because like, I can't be having it. Like, come, like, it's so stressful to like have mm -hmm. someone come into your world when you're trying to, and you're like feeling chill and they're suddenly like bombarding you with loads of shit. Right. Yeah, I understand. Mouse does it to me all the time. <laughs> it just frustrates me because it's not even a conversation. It's just someone talking at you, just dumping yeah, all their yeah. shit onto you. It's like it's not on, man. It feels, feels like I'm a punch bag almost. Just tell them you don't care. Look, I was feeling like pretty chill and relaxed, and now I'm like really tense and uptight. It's one of the reasons why the like <laughs> losing last game annoyed me more. It's because like my mood is like completely shifted now. Gotcha. I was wondering why you were. I was getting really frustrated. Yeah, not with yeah. the game. Well, like I said, I, I just uh, sometimes my map awareness isn't there, so. Oh no, Ozzy, I, I wasn't, just so you know, for the record, did not blame you or care about you not coming to help me at all. I was just frustrated in general. Yeah. I have a turn in my choke, so I'm going to try and bunker my choke. Oh, the guys we're against are actually pretty good too. Oh, it's not in my choke. What the? 
That was such an early scout. I like lose a I'm, like down an SCV. I think was, my split was so bad. My stuff is all screwed up. Yeah, he's bio. Two Zergs. It's gonna be double nine pull, possibly. I made an extra overlook by accident. Fuck's sake. You'll need a sunken. Oh. Everything's coming. Yeah, it's actually two sets of links, so it's gonna be 12 links. Yeah, I'm like making really dumb errors because I'm like really flustered right now. I'm like really frustrated that like I did them a favor by like doing something for them, letting them come around and do something, and then like they fucking completely fucked my mood. Mm hmm. Don't, uh, don't send zealots, or else they're just gonna get caught and die for free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know you wanna help them, it's just we have to get up, built up a little bit first. Um, actually go, we'll go bottom right together. Group middle with me, and we'll go bottom right to support my marines. <sighs> I'm gonna stop putting my fucking foot down with certain people in my life, man. I can't be having it anymore. It's a bad supply block here. Still just constantly rallying at me. Uh, meters are gonna get out from Teal. Hold the counter from Blue. Okay, he has one... One probe, one drone left. I'm sending bio down to use John for the Muta coming. Oh, no, I'm not.
Oh, give me a mineral, please. Oh, I could barely not morph the spore in time. I had 47 minerals. So, slightly delayed spore. Oh, fucking god, dude. Overlord's <laughs> actually... Can't even mine anything now. <laughs> Has anyone ever lost 3v3 BGH and not blamed their newbie teammate? Um, it's a good question, actually. Probably. I was gonna say me, but uh, that's actually not true. <laughs> I think I've never lost a game without blaming somebody. Sometimes it's myself, but same difference. Yeah, but that's not the same. That's not the same difference. If blame, I blame myself, that's not blaming. That's not totally not the same thing, is it? No, because by, by blaming yourself, you're taking responsibility for your mistakes. By blaming someone else, you're like redirecting blame from yourself to deflect. It's... To obscure your responsibilities. <clears throat> I consider myself my own teammate, so if I blame myself, that's blaming a teammate. Like, even though I got frustrated <laughs> about losing, I didn't like blame anyone for it. I was just frustrated about dying, right? I mean, you implied it was my fault. How did I blame it's your fault? <laughs> uh, hey. That's it for me. Thank you for playing with me and yes, let me in Discord. <laughs> hey, no problem, Mouse. Thanks for playing with us. Yeah. <laughs> GG's, Mouse. Thanks for playing. Yeah. You Have a good day. night. Take care. Yeah. Have fun. I'll play again in like a month or two. Bye. Bye. Confirm the sound issue wasn't me. Oh, that's good. I think you're a hair loud and maybe have a hint of bass or echo. Overall, very good quality. Okay. Well, that's good then. It's kind of a. Yeah, it makes me feel better to hear. Because that's something fixable for sure. Dude, having teammates that pick Terran? What? Stresses me out. Yeah. Because if I land on Terran as random, then it's like, well... Should have played better. I'm banning these guys to get better opponents. What's up, brother? I got my I got my new mic kind of set up today, Zach. Um, yeah, I'm like gonna be working up the kinks and stuff. It's my first stream with it, but overall, I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with it. Like it's been a little bit stressful to start, but I think it'll be fun.
Ben and Franco. Anyone with like a really bad win loss ratio, I'm just gonna ban. Yeah, Spring, I, I know who Aaron is. I, I played with him a fair amount. I know he's um <laughs> not the best. Hmm? He doesn't play as much as he used to. What are you talk about? Um, Yatsuba. He's like a he's a decent friend of mine, a good friend maybe. Maybe I'd call him a good friend. <laughs> oh, he doesn't play much but, uh, anymore. Yeah, he doesn't play like he used to, so he's not so good. What kind of mic? Uh, I got a Rode. Was it a Rode NT? USB? Something like that? Yeah, NT. Whatever that stands for. As he leaves, someone joins. <laughs> ah, I didn't push the button right away. Yeah. <laughs> I know better. I know better. I'm gonna give it to like a count, like give it to like a count of five at least before I hit the actual go button. Yeah, whenever I'm like about to start, I always say ready, and then I pause, and then I say good luck and have fun, and then I pause, and then I start. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? Your base, you could just got the same Yeti that everyone else in the world has. I got this because I'm, yeah, no more Yeti. I'm done with it. You're done with it, it sounds so bad. Get a different Discord. And like it already, oh, okay. already done like how Welcome it sounded on stream. Like it was a little bit better than my headset, head. like, but not by much. But then I, when Jean started streaming and I heard my mic through his stream, I was like, oh my god, it sounds terrible on Discord. Like, do I ban these guys? Like, look at their records. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, like, I'd feel bad just bashing on them as well. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not exactly good content either, like, 3v3 AI. Like, no, yeah, like, no one needs to see me, like, run circles around him with my lings at the start. I mean, yeah. it, it's fun, like, once or twice, but, like, seeing me do that every game, it's like, they, they, people want to see me struggle a little bit more, probably, right? Oh, yeah. Don't see me struggle and get frustrated and start being a sausage monkey. <laughs> they want that rage for content. I don't really rage rage, I just get like frustrated at myself and something else. Yeah, your your frustration and stuff is kinda of similar to me actually. I usually They're really only... hard to hear. There's usually... a lot of background noise a few minutes ago. I usually only direct my frustration at other people if I actually like li like not just emotionally feel that they're doing something, but actually like on a on a logical level feel like they're like gaslighting me or something. Like if they're actually like being a bit over the top. Right. Oh fuck it, we'll just play this one game. Waiting forever to get a game going. We got sick on their team, so they got one decent player, I guess. There's no background noise anymore. Well the background noise was probably um the people I was in a call with. Mouse was getting a bit of feedback and stuff because of her mic setup. So that's probably bad noise that you were hearing. But um, when you say it was hard to hear me, what do you mean? You said I was really hard to hear. Oh, so let me know if it's like picking up on like my keyboard and stuff a lot. I'm sure when I'm talking, it picks up on it. But uh, maybe outside of that. If it's like I'm not talking and it's picking up, let me know, or how loud it is, or something like that. <clears throat> Just so I can get an idea of what I need to try and work on. How's the cats doing, Ace? You been playing with them? Dude, I keep getting Terran. <laughs> that sucks. Like, I like Terran if I'm the only Terran, but... Mm. Oh, wait, shit, it's two Terrans, so I guess I'll, uh... Yeah. 
Okay, 11 pool, I don't know. You like doing the clicking and keyboard? Yeah, a lot of people do like it. And it's not that I mind it being picked up on, if it's not too bad. Like, my concern is it being too loud or something. I, I don't want to, like, being, like, uncomfortable, you know? I don't know how to sim C this part of my base at all. You don't have a sim city yet? Bottom left. I just don't know how to do it. Like, the, the hatchery placements and pool placements, like... That pool placement's what I do, and then the hatchery is, like, to the, like, up and right. Is there anything I can think of that'd be anything? Like, anything else just seems garbage. <laughs> oh, hi, Q. Yeah, no, anything else is bad. Like, legit in that spot. At least it seems like to me. When you're talking, I can see this volume of clicking triggering the right person, but I like it. Okay. Well, I guess I'll wait until I start getting complaints. This guy's Ford two gate and then early gas. Hmm. Would you mean things or me or what? Uh, yeah, you can you can play defensive and like eco tech that kind of thing. Because we won't be able to help you at all. You'll just have to, uh, trust me not to die. I'm so scared, man. Really... Okay, 9 o'clock when drones. So you don't have to worry about that. Is this like straight down off the speedway? No, it can't be. It might be. John streams on YouTube. I do. Oh. It's on SC. I to use my academy. Yeah, John SC on YouTube. I can link it if you can't find it.
I didn't really want sick was in here. Okay, subscribed. I'm not not sure I want someone to see that sub, that avatar. Hmm? About yours? Oh. Hey, are you talking about yours, Dustin? Sounds is a bit too cute. <laughs> okay. Huh? Sounds is a bit too cute. Hey, it's a sausage monkey. What more do you want? It's a monkey wearing a sausage costume. That's amazing. Be <laughs> <laughs> back one sec. I'll host another game though. Alright. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hey Dustin. Yeah, you're right. I'm a sausage monkey king, man. Just better know. Alright, I'm back. All right, we'll take uh, this Marok guy as our uh, random that's not got a great record. Yeah. And I, I wanted to read that as Marco so bad. I was so close to saying Marco, you know, <laughs> but I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Ace. Oh, I want to play this now. Oh, damn, I want to play this. Ace won't mind playing against us, so can keep the team. I'm gonna call him Marco anyway. Call him Marco anyway, okay. Yeah, it's Marco. Alright, it's Marco. Dude, it's a Terran kind of day today. <laughs> Terran kind of day today. I think my clicking gets worse and worse. My clicking accuracy every day. Was that you telling him what to do? Hmm? Or was that him pinging? Oh, I didn't ping. It wasn't me. Well, his ping made no sense. I'm really confused. He pinged the trail going from his base to the choke? Is it... I'll draw a smiley face. Then you gotta do like a... Do a Korean oh, smiley face. Yeah. I actually can't. It's funny. I can ping if I don't think about it. I don't know how to ping right now. Oh, click. That's crazy. <laughs> I ping all the time when I need to, but thinking about it, I had no clue what. <laughs> yeah, didn't figure it out. I needed someone to get attacked for me to remember. How much do you think we believe in Marco? Mm. Honestly? If he's going 9 9, I believe in Marco. I believe in him. He can do it. Yeah, it's not a 9 9. <laughs> oh, is this like a 9 8? What are we looking at? I don't know, man, but. Hey, he's trying, okay? He's, <laughs> he's building the things, he's making the stuff, he's making progress, okay? And that's what. It all, all comes down to it at the end hey, of the day. So. 
three, six, seven. Yeah, I'm he sure, went nine, eight. I'm sure he'll be just fine. Yeah, no, it's good. It's I think he's showing me something new. He went nine, eight. I feel like this is probably pretty good. Even though the nine nine year pool still finishes in time. Look. look at that reaction feed. Yeah, Marco's pretty good. Yeah. He's gonna carry this game. And then you'll apologize for being so wrong about him. I'm already ready. I'm gonna apologize. Sorry, Marco. Macro. Sorry, Macro. Sorry, Macro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, the Zerg made a sunken. How dare he? Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Hopefully he makes wings. Him, bro. I almost feel like I just sunk and rush him. It's gonna be a lot of wing coming out of or zealot coming out of red. It's three gate my zealot. Marco's making me a little nervous. Chip away at the zealots. Just don't let the vultures flank me. Got the first one.
You know, the Lycos just died. He's gonna get ya. <laughs> I was like, at the few speedlings bullying the other lurker from being able to come out into the choke. <laughs> So, if I'm going, um, so do you think I have to? If there's one Terran, do I want to go nine pool for map control? If there's two Terrans, I can't. Though I have to go turtle, right? But yeah, if it's two Terrans, you can't. <clears throat> um, with one Terran, yeah, I mean, it just kind of depends on like spawns locations and like the races too, right? <laughs> but like if it's only one turn teammate typically a nine pull is fun like it's never bad in that case hmm do you like my cloth is some joke Ozzy? I love it it's second best joke I've heard all day I mean, Viva. You know, um, Viva La Dirt League? You ever watch any of their stuff? Who? It's a, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not sure, not aware of it. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. So, what? When there's two Protoss, I should maybe do what? Uh, with two Protoss? You can do whatever you want. Do whatever I want. Whatever you're lost. stealing. Yeah, one Zerg at six. Um, the only thing is I'm pretty isolated, so if you want to do like a... Either over pull or eleven pull. Go over pull. Do we yeah, you can do like a more. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, from here it's hard to say, but at least opening over pull because or eleven pull, just because I'm in a spot where if I do get a grass stun, since I'm sharing trip with Zerg, um, I can hold out for a little bit, but not like super long. Oh, he went hatch. Okay, that was unexpected. Ace. Ace. Ace and his builds. Build bag of builds. Guys got so it all. There are two Zergs. Two Zergs, but not a nine pool. Which means I am pretty safe. Dustin, you play. Yeah, Dustin, do you play? Just wants to know. Yeah, I'm gonna hit Manic Park. He's teching. When I get the three Zealot, we're gonna hit him. You. Oh, beyond you, settle. Uh, it's okay. Just, just go green. I'm okay. We just want to slow down his attack. Thank you. 
That's good. Got five more allies out coming in behind. That's pretty good probe damage. This probe counts really low. Just watch your overlord because it could be um, games coming soon. He's getting range. The cop when it says six o'clock and make sure he's not going muta. He could be, yeah. Uh... Although it wouldn't be super fast muta. Yeah, I won't be super fast. I'm not like nervous yet. Just want to know if I need to prep or not. Might be coming very soon though, right? Yeah. Imminently. Other guys, Hydra. <laughs> uh, Lurker. Yeah. This fire is just not building, but I can cancel it here. He didn't cancel. Uh, you should be able to finish him from here. Yeah, green's basically dead. Canceled fire at 6 o'clock. So your meter can go straight to 6 and finish him. Unless he goes 4. Just gonna make sure I don't die to Lurker. And we are golden. Okay. Have the Lurker sent to me. I can't tell which is the guy that's in it, which one's there. So what? Could tell who was the one that left because the colors were so similar. Oh, yeah. It's time to stop letting Watchy play. Hmm? This Watchy 2.0 guy. He's been uh, pretty weak every game. Okay. Is a really weak. I like that he's giving art. <laughs> like, I have a hard time though. you want. What do you want me to do about it? It's 
And Sky, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? GG Saying says Ozzy the Hockey <laughs> Ozzy the Hockey That's a good nickname we coined The, the Hockey? Yeah, I think I came up with I think I said that at one point I called you like Ozzy the Hockey Ozzy the Hockey or something Made some weird like reference like that Making Yeah, someone a long time ago in League of Legends Called me uh, Ozzy the Hockey player <laughs> D Hockey <laughs> Oh shit, it's funny What's up, Sam? Oh, Dustin, you play Zerg, okay. eh? Alright, let's uh, get rid of that. What's his name again? It's Watchy 2.0. Yeah. I miss Marco. Not bad, Franco. For an hour and a half, I feel like I've been streaming all day. Streaming all day, oh, all day, all day, all day, all day. Hey, Sam, how you doing, bro? My dude, good, good. <clears throat> John, it's can like... you tell Sam that I'm not talking to him anymore? <laughs> oh, he's not talking to you anymore, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> And he says you smell like pee pee. That's true. <laughs> I had your stream still going, and it's like on a 30 second delay, so. <laughs> While Ozzy was dogging, all I could hear was all day. <laughs> <laughs> Drama in the Brood War scene, that's it. It's happening. This is the drama. I'll make a YouTube video about Saiyan soon. <laughs> you remember, did you ever see that, remember that um, video that Jumper made or whatever? Yeah, I did. <laughs> With Queen and... Yeah, and, um, I, and me trying to talk to Steve. Steve, you know? yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I That's did weird. not see that. What was it? Oh, I've got a link um, to you sometime, man. Yeah, I mean, Steve, the, basically, Steve got pretty upset with Queen, but to be fair, Queen did call some lines. <laughs> Who's Queen? <laughs> like, Queen the pro player, or Queen No, else? Queen, oh, no. um, MG Queen, female player in, um, MG Clan. Did you know about hey. Steve getting upset in the show match with a jumper and... Who was it? Who's Jumper playing? Snow? Snow, yeah. Yeah. And he got annoyed yeah. because he um, changed race one of the games because he got a donation to play off race during the show match and he got crushed. He got annoyed. Um, Steve got annoyed because he was messing around during the show match and doing things like that. He felt like Jumper was being disrespectful. Uh, so anyway, like, Steve got upset about that and then Queen asked or I guess she didn't ask, she said I heard... Did she ask? I don't even remember, it doesn't matter. She was like, basically she was like, I heard that Steve got mad, or something like that. Uh, and Steve didn't... I think Steve misinterpreted what she was talking, or like what she was trying to say. He got pretty mad at her for it. I feel like that's the default for Steve. <laughs> 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 
I've been in this stream a few times. Steve also raged at exit for some reason. A fellow Terran player? What did exit do? Existed. <laughs> Existed. To really be your own people. It's like <laughs> it's like being surprised when a gypsy BMs you, dude. Like, of course he's gonna BM you. Of course he's gonna get mad. Yeah, I, I think the and I don't know Steve very well, so this isn't necessarily speaking to Steve, but at least for me with Gypsy, it's like when Gypsy was like flaming me and stuff. I found it really funny because I understood that it was like pure satire, right? Mm. Oh no, he meant every word. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, watching the game when I beat Hoisting. And uh, some of the stuff he said was so funny, dude. Just flaming me the entire game. Wow, dude, that predictive surround with the lag was nuts. That was crystal bullshit right there. Guys in the chat, you saw it here first. Then how can you be so good? I don't know, man. Just wake, up. Going this way? Just wake up and it comes naturally. Sky, you might be disappointed to learn that uh, I will be learning Terran <clears throat> before I try Zerg. It's going to disrupt his mining a little bit and make it harder for him to churn up so lots. Okay. Kill it! My link's broke up. Because that looks at me. Still no sunken colony? Alright, uh, mega sunken colony. Okay, you got four Zells coming at you. I'm just gonna go to what's his name space. Wow, what a team player this Saiyan guy. I'll intercept the, the army for you. Come in the trap. Come in, come in, come in. Why? We can kill it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Drop, drop, drop. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody's wake up, take a legendary crap. Awesome. Summer to you. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's like that. Got his nexus. Oh, uh, here comes fucking Mutus. Mm. 
There they are. They're gonna come to you now. I held off the muters. Coming to Shun. I think. I'm building spore. <laughs> What's up, Swan? Oh, just barely on time there. Nice. Oh, just not quite enough. There's more. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Defend the boy. I got the center. Some people remember you as their bro. Some people. Mm -mm, DG is in the middle. Oh shit. Oh. I'll move my overload out to your choke a bit. Okay. Going for your overlord. Yeah, he is. Not good, not good. <clears throat> I have scan if you need it. I'm good for now. Oh, now, now scan. Am I, am I natural? Good. Chuck a Hydra, so I can't catch up to Muta, or...? Um... Yeah. You can still go Muta. Yeah, whichever. We got, uh, Marine Man here. <laughs> I still have stem. Playing a completely unviable strategy, but still making it work. I'll just keep right in his base, I guess.
we'll just keep going. Okay, I got Marines. <laughs> There's no more Amitas left. Is actually kind of Eventually, I win, boy. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are those lurkers? Oh, they're just making lurkers, huh? Man, don't make me use a fire tree. Oh no, those are just drones. Was it? Yeah, okay, we're good. We got him, guys. We got him. We got him. We got him with the Marines. <clears throat> we could get him. Peace. Wants a piece of that action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Saying you don't like my um my three barracks triple C C build. I'll get Ace some new uh, allies. Should we kick this other guy as well? Or not? I Who really pizza? Don't care. Keep this guy's barcode of eight now, might be good. Eight no. Who's playing barcode on BGH? Why are you hiding? What are you hiding for? Dude, it is a Terran kind of day today. A double double Terran. Terran. Oh shit. Okay, well. Oh. GLHF? Uh, I think you go, um, wild pool here or something. Yeah, pretty much. You need the drones to sunken up because you're not. We're not gonna be able to help you. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know that. I definitely know that much. Yeah, we're just gonna play a little bit defensive. It's two Protoss at least. Kind of tough. Is twelve pool the optimal way to be turtle defensive for Zerg, or is there other better options? Pretty much, uh, yeah. 
Do I want to get a later gas as well and go like more sunken heavy early or what? Yeah, like you can go pretty drone heavy. Like really drone heavy um, on the like mass mineral. And late gas. Because you don't need an early gas because we're not going to be out on the map early. Yeah, it's true. Uh, SimCity for here. Should I, do I like put my pool like adjacent to the top mineral or what? God, it's three toss. Um, I do. Yeah, the top. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, and then I I usually pull it out one because it'll block minerals if it's like all the way up against a little bit. Uh, triple toss is so hard for this matchup. Dude is right beside me as well. Fuck. So annoying. I actually didn't even wall correctly. I can't even wall, and I have the worst mining location as well. It's great. I'm just going to be trying to live here, if at all possible. Yeah, that's kind of how we have to play. We just got to play to survive. He's kind of pushing on your right side and same. Really? Uh, well, maybe. Is that the same probe that came from the right? There's, maybe there's not actually. Zealots. Yeah. It's good. This is what I like to see. This is what I want to play against. Guys, kind of pushing me. There's so many zealots already as well. Holy shit! Okay, just get stuck. That's cool. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm already fucked. <laughs> this is so insane. My marines just getting stuck on top of each other. Don't you have to wall at your choke when playing turn? Um, no. You, you can't really I in that position, and it, he still can. gets in and pushed anyway. Oh. Uh. Okay, gas. Guys, I'm just gonna try and hold on as long as possible. I literally, yeah. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna die slow here. Yeah. He's cannon pushing me from below as well. Like, what the fuck? What did I do to deserve this? 
Oh god, I just screwed up. Really, Marine? So bad though. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> it's so hard to control in this crappy latency. I I actually really hate trying to play in mech like this. <sighs> Not far from me, it is. I could have, like, killed this guy. Coming in with range dragoons. It's over. I'm dead. I'm clicking my chat then. Well, I got decent damage on blue. I can't do anything except for build SCVs. It's like, <clears throat> that's it. You're buying a lot of time. Um, and he's, like, you forced a ton of cannons even by not dying easily. And top right's going, says. I'm coming. Oh, wait, I can't come. I've got Sirs to deal with. I lost my bunker. <clears throat> Fucking dragons are killing me. Making a run for it. I'm coming to help kill these goons up here. I got stuff in my. You won't have to run. Right you might have to run. I don't know for sure. You have enough for a CC? Yeah. They come six o'clock. You can have the full main. Of course, I'm gonna say. Escaped with four. Jesus. Four of CV's got it alive. Tragic. Alright, oh, here it comes. Gonna finish me off. Is actually massing for say. Taking, he's taking all his time to kill my buildings. Like what the fuck? What are you doing? Your your partner is like literally dying. Killing, he's killing my command center top left. Like, why? Okay, finally he's gonna pull away. Jesus. What a guy. Good luck, boys. We're actually doing pretty well right now. 
If you want to take, um, if you can get here anyway, the natural, or one just natural, John. Oh, you're taking bottom right? Yeah. Okay, for that sun. Yeah, that's good. This guy just didn't connect. Might be in trouble. Oh boy. Jen's getting crushed. Oh, there's a um, dropship as well flying around. Yeah, it's just um, his probes. Cool, his kill says. Shuttle, 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 no, man, man, man. I don't think... Yeah, it's fun. Where's it going? Oh no, it's coming mm -hmm. down here. No, 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 Yada, yo. Yada, 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 no, 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 no. Um. You're okay. Oh, over here, over here. Turret's done. Oh, yeah. Do you have on on siege? I move tank, move tank, get to move the tanks as well. Yeah, I'm fighting a lot of people right now. Okay, but, but I'm dying. He's in mid at the same time. I, I know. Ah, 
<sighs> the DT stuff is so annoying to deal with, man. Doesn't have what? a color hack. I'll oh, see me doing on the stream. <laughs> Is that me? Did I lag up? Yeah. This guy's just massing D18 and so freaking annoying, man. Ugh. getting recalled during I don't even know why recall never even crossed my mind dude I'm just studying I'm dead See an Arbiter coming down here. Got a full scourge to intercept. Here it is. There's two. There's two. Yeah. Good job. Let's go. Just here. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a little for it. And they're just parked over here somewhere. Where are they? Right there, right there, behind you, behind you. On top of your oh. race. Yes! That's what I'm talking oh, about, Sam. Oh, shit. Another recall? Oh, fuck. I'm white. Shoot the goons. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Try to catch that. Let's just CC net, maybe. Oh, where'd all my. Oh, they're there. Oh, another. Another one coming in. Got it. Tank, can you take your natural? Are you gonna let out what we've done? Sorry? Do we need to expand or. Do I need to expand? Uh, I'm trying to think, but you want to like try and take this space and take this space and push into the middle more. I guess. I'm trying to build up a tank count in the top right and just like take that base away. Hmm. White's coming in, in from the right. Bro. <sighs> what an annoying this person's so annoying man. He keep dropping like factories. Oh, well, here comes the fucking recall into my base. It's doomed. So we're playing for fun. Oh, they found my little outpost up here. I want to kill this all over. Oh, another one? Are you fucking joking me? One that I almost killed, but then I didn't. Ah, shit! I can't, I can't save my base. On another recall, fuck! I'm out of options. Yeah, we're done. We did. Play the game. Yeah, I mean it's the double times like experience. It's the worst pers worst possible combination against triple toss. Like it literally could not mm. have been worse. Ugh. I 
I feel like I could have killed nine really early, but it's like trying to control vultures and twelve extra high is so freaking difficult, man. Like I feel like patrol rally is patrol micro is like almost impossible. Yeah. Let me grab a drink one sec. Uh, what a tilter. It's still like a game, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just feel like we should have been able to win. Hey, what's up, Coos? We're on YouTube. Good night. Or no, let me... No, sorry. I got PPZ, which is like way better. Infinitely better. <clears throat> my stream is muted right now because for some reason we're mowing like right outside my window. <laughs> uh, and my mic doesn't like that. It's freaking 6 o'clock at night, dude. Did you order that mic? Yeah, it's, uh, this is it. Oh, nice. It's all set up? Uh. It's a work in progress. He's got a lot of games played. <clears throat> Good God. I think he always bans me when I'm against him. This record's a little bit inflated because of that kind of stuff. Oh, is he a stump low record people only kind of thing? Yeah, he doesn't like playing against people that are better than him. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're done mowing. Maybe.
Give him one more go. You got one more chance, Pappy. It's getting it's my excuses. favorite thing about when like they go to mow, or like even when they vacuum and stuff outside in the hallway or something. For some reason, like my window and my door takes like like we need to do that like ten times. Like that grass under my window, like seriously needs to be mowed. Actually, so I, hard. I can't hear anything. No, it's done mm. now. I, I was muted earlier. Oh. Uh, I get Toss, and then I get Zerg, and then we're gonna get to play a game where I get freaking Terran again. I'm gonna go straight Vulture this time. Just three pack Vulture. Are we gonna go double nine pool there? Jin or what? Uh, could do, yeah. Control the map until he gets the Vultures out. <sighs> it sounds good in Q, so it's good to hear him. It's still like, I still have a little bit of like refining to do, and I'm, I need to get a boom so that I can do a little bit better with the. It's way too early. Do a bit better with like the noise canceling and stuff, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good start for sure. <clears throat> Step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are gonna go um double nine pool, but you prioritize protecting me over attacking. Okay. So like I that way I can skip marine and everything and just go straight to Vulture. And once I get Vulture, you guys can start making drones again. Wait, do you want me to go nine pool there or like nine pool speed into hatch? Go nine pool speed hatch. Okay. Once I get map control, then you guys can start attacking and stuff. Starcraft 1, absolutely goaded. Yo, it's so true, though. Literally generated esports, I mean, what else you need? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's toss, toss, turn. Chests has the nod, but it's close. You picking a fight, Dustin? Them's fighting words. Oh, what's going eBay? That guy is terrible. Don't just shoot phone. My CDs are trolling me. Uh, my ladder rank is... I, I hope around 2k. Let's move up that turn on straight. Uh, 
this base. Let's go, let's go. Oh boy. Now that's a dog screaming. Go pick up on my mic. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. It's good. No, but I hear a car alarm. <laughs> That's not from me. Case Marines, yeah. Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> what does he want? I... What does he need? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's, what's your point? I don't understand. <laughs> There's a lot of people seeing me. I got I got 39 people watching right now. 39 people see me, Pappy. I don't think he actually wants to 1v1. No, I don't think he does. Had tens of tens of fans. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, that's not link tight, right? Hang on, let me go in. Come with me after. Bunker's gonna burn down. Oh no, it's not. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. I can't. 
My vultures don't do damage. My vultures don't do damage. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hmm. Oh my god, he's actually just playing the turtle. What? I'm from Russia now? I don't know, man. Who knows what this guy's talking about? Happy, I feel like you're trying your best. For whatever that's worth. One guy. No, you. Purple. One guy, yes. No, you purple. No, no you, you purple. Purple, <laughs> 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 uh, you a white boy. He is a very white boy. He's a farmer boy. Well, he's not actually that white. He works in the sun a lot. So, yeah. Go on. I'm still pretty white. Yeah, he's still pretty white, let's be honest. That's so funny. Nothing, Pappy. Nothing's <laughs> funny, dude. <clears throat> Just here having a good time. Join the Happy, game. If, if you need to stream cheat during our 1v1, that's totally fine, by the way. Yeah, I don't mind do the extra too. viewing. You can do that. You can stream cheat. <laughs> the extra views. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's uh, cool. We're gonna do it. Slow. I was gonna do a slow overload drop into this Terran's me. <laughs> slow um, lurker drop. I love that he he's gonna ask me to one v one, and then straight up admit he's gonna stream cheat. All right, Peppy, it's... we're making the game now. It's gonna be Zon one two three. <laughs> old Peppy. Old, old Peppy. We doing BJH one v one yet? I don't even know. I guess so. He didn't answer me. But yeah, we can do BGH probably. I would stream cheat you versus you and still lose. Well, that's kind of what I think is going to happen. All right, Pappy, you're up. We waiting on you. Game name, Zun, password one, two, three. Oh, wait, I was getting follows and I getting what? Sorry for that, guys. Uh, but thank you, Blad Bad Blue Vinny and Sioda for the follows. Wait, why is my stuff not going off? Oh, and GamerRL. Thanks for the sub, dude. Why is that not going off? Well, we're waiting on Peppy, but there's no Peppy. Yeah, let me fix it while we wait for this guy. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to, like... So it says I got three follows. Oh, there he is. Uh, let me fix this real quick. Welcome to the arena. This is more important than you, Pappy. Hang on. <laughs> I had... Wait, who's he talking to? You or me? Are you ready? No, hang on. I'm getting my alerts set up. They weren't working properly. Honduras? He's from Honduras? Is that right? Okay, I think it's working now. It should work now, I think. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to, uh... Ignore you all. Hey, Pappy. Sheep it up. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> Are we friends now? We going? Yeah. All right, here we go. Both players ready. We got Aussie to Hockey and Papi. 
Oh, Pappy. From BGH. Both players desperately splitting their workers and building a probe at the start, trying to optimize their minerals as much as possible. There's a lot on this line, <laughs> a lot on the line for this game. Egos are at stake. E penises need to be measured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, Pappy, in case it's hard for you to watch the stream, I am uh, six o'clock right now. <laughs> Um, yes, this is a UMS map. <laughs> I'm a little confused about the reason for asking to 1v1. He's got a lot to prove, okay? His allies were the problem that game, Arzy. He needs to yeah, prove yeah. it. Yeah, but, but my point is, what are you proving if you're actively planning on cheating well he's proving that he has the biggest e penis even if he had to take a viagra or something to get there you know he's, he's good he might have a little bit of a cock extender but you know he's still beating you <laughs> do what you gotta do yeah <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you don't lose papi because the thing is if you cheat and lose it doesn't get worse than that, no? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. And I'm not going to help Ozzy. I'm not going to tell him where you are or anything. Yeah, no, I don't want any help. I want to straight up beat someone that's just outright cheating. I mean, you scouted him first. That's a good start. I've already won, actually. This is like the uh, <laughs> easiest situation for me to win from here. Alright, well, now that both players... Location has been revealed, spawning in the 6 o'clock as the Magenta Protoss is none other than your boy, Arzi Dahaki, the dragon from Alabama, and his opponent in the bottom left as the red Protoss. It's Papi! Here to prove himself, happy. losing in the 3v3 BGH, but he's got his ego on the line now. Can he take out the dragon? Alabama! That's why I like your name, Papi. Think Feels like wild five beams are bouncing up the moon or something. Okay, so both a massive glare in my face right now. Both players Absolute are like two game. Builds. Yeah, both players two game. Nothing on out of the ordinary there. Very tried and true, tested build of the Protoss race, especially on maps like this. Papi gonna tickle Azi Zealot as it uh, runs by. Oh no, Pappy forgot the pylon. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna hurt Pappy a little bit there, not being able to squeeze out those additional zealots. Pappy can't make any probes, no. Oh, one probe oh, does I'm... go down to our Z zealot, but good drilling, gonna get a lot of damage on the zealot now down oh, to 70 how did that slip HP. Out? Damn. Yeah, slip, slick moves from uh, Ozzy, gonna get that zealot out. Meanwhile, the Pappy's zealot being drilled. Through the minerals and taken down the low HP he does get taken out from Arty to Hockey, so now going to be up a, a whole zealot. Poppy's zealot did get one kill, so maybe a probe going down there, most likely. Yeah, uh, we're going to be going up to five zealots against four, so it'll be a little bit tricky situation for Puppy. There is a little bit low da low HP on this one zealot though, so maybe if he target fires that down, it could go well for him. Yeah, the zealot advantage here for Ozzy. That missed pylon. Slowing Puppy down by quite Ooh. a bit. Ooh. Defender advantage right. with that fifth zealot coming in, gonna force Ozzy to turn away. Wants to regenerate shields on those zealots now, up to losing a little bit of HP. So, Puppy playing with his defender's advantage for now. Maybe trying to make something happen. Um, Pappy, just so you know, I'm <clears throat> getting into Goon Tech, so if you're gonna get damage, it needs to be really soon. <laughs> Cybernet score about halfway done here. With uh, gas being mine. How's it gonna set up a, a little bit of a wall in with two pylons? That's gonna be tough to break. Yeah, it looks like. This lucky just wants to delay these zealots while teching into goons and uh, kind of forcing Puppy's hand to cup to him soon. Looks like he's gonna come through this tight little corner. Ooh. Great surface area there for Ozzy. 
Great jostling back and forth, sure denying this out. Ooh, here. slight you misplay from Ozzy. Oh. I can't forward. Damage on those. This is Ooh. overall a better position, though, for Ozzy. As oh, those yeah. zealots try to run through this wall, he's not going to be able to break this position just yet. However, if Ozzy loses this position, he's going to lose two pylons here. Great surround on those zealots as well. Ozzy getting a lot of free damage. Oh, Puppy free trying damage to desperately run by into the main base, maybe trying to harass the probe line while he can, but he's lost a lot of zealots. He's lost the infantry battle now. It's uh, definitely edge Ozzy, but maybe Puppy can get some economic damage done in the main. First Dragoon is now out. We've got some probes falling here, but good drilling from Ozzy. Oh. He's really making these dance. Oh. Very nicely done. Beautiful drilling from Ozzy to Haki. Get those probes back to mining and he will be good to go. 50 supply advantage over 39, but those two pylons going down is going to hurt. Supply blocking Ozzy for a little bit here. Mm, with the Dragoon tech already online for Ozzy, they're going to be able to put on a little bit of pressure on Puppy and force him to muck around a little bit. What's the really good supply block, like you said, though, going to be uh, hurting, out the power, hurting the power spike of Ozzy a little bit? It's time to get some damage done with these goons. While the Zealots are fighting, the goons can fire over. You can also infinitely kite these Zealots around. So they don't have speed just yet. Going to be running up a little bit close here. Yeah, Ozzy. Are prepared for this. He's going to try to run by with these four Zealots, but yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy all over that. Yeah, Ozzy wisely keeping these Zealots in the wing ready to deny that potential flank run by while the Dragoons go to work on microing down the HP of these Zealots, kind of preventing Puffy from establishing his infantry force further. Ozzy's range just about done here, and these four goons are getting a lot of damage going on these zealots, just reducing their HP. Oh boy, a run by here once again. Poppy gonna go for the main base, try to get some kills if he can. Hopefully, the drilling's as good as the last time. Four, five zealots here, running straight on into this mineral line. Meanwhile, Ozzy while... dancing against these zealots, so microing back and forth while also drilling back at home, doing a great job of muffing up this attack so far. Poppy with just three zealots left, gonna get a couple more probes here. But his army is once again reduced. And Ozzy, with this range now finally being finished, he's gonna have a big power spike here with which to push his advantage. Only two dragoons over on this side. And a, another flanking force here. See if Poppy can get in for some more kills once again. Yeah, Puppy's trying, flank the dragon. Yeah, Puppy's trying to do what he can by uh, using the geometry of the map to keep flanking every time Ozzy wants to come in. But Ozzy's doing a good job of catching these zealots. And now uh, Puppy in a little bit of trouble now as uh, Ozzy's dragoons start to rain down side disruptor shots on the, the small contingency force of Puppy. Just five. Auxiliary Dragoons in the choke point trying to hold desperately. A sick does come in, but one of them gets targeted down by Ozzy, and it's just way too many Dragoons from Ozzy for Puppy to handle. Nine Dragoons trading really well against Puppy's inferior account and going to be shaving off one Dragoon at a time. Some probes desperately trying to come off the line. Puppy says fucker, and definitely Ozzy is the best fucker there is, and he really is <laughs> fucking Puppy right now as these Dragoons stream on into the main, raining down a lot of shots onto these poor, helpless Dragoons. Can Puppy stabilize? It's going to be really tough. I think he's just going to be able to mow down one Dragoon at a time and unable to stabilize from here on soon. Yeah, look at all the Zealots coming in now. They've cleaned up that flanking force. There's nothing left on the map for Puppy. All he has to do now is complain and then eventually GG. Here comes the racial slurs. I expect nothing less from a BGH player, honestly. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> want to get into their racial comments uh... as soon as possible when uh, facing a loss. Uh trying to deflect responsibility from your own play, <laughs> but GG is cool. Poppy gets a lesson there from Ozzy the Hunky. We'll never ask for a 1v1 again. You're gonna get banned Pappy, in every single Puppy game from now on, Ozzy. Uh, I'm gonna give you some credit, Pappy. You did get two-thirds of my score. That's actually not too bad. Well, not in a mirror bad. matchup. Like, genuinely <laughs> impressed. But go, that's Pappy. almost twice as good as I expected. Bobby, if you want to work on something, keep building probes, man. You're miss out on the probes. Uh, Probe camp was very low. What server do I play on usually? Uh, usually west, yeah. 
Sometimes I play EU in the afternoon, but not too often. Did you enjoy the live commentary there, Ozzy? It was too funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, content for days. <laughs> Definitely should like um, snippet that from your stream and maybe put it on your YouTube. Yeah, I was thinking, if nothing else, Pappy made it into a YouTube video, so congratulations. Yeah. There you go, Pappy. You've been immortalized in the YouTube realm. Now other people can see you on my YouTube as well. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, KCM is done, by the way, Ready to go. Ooh. I'll make sure we'll have all the games done by tomorrow. Yes, no, the backstory there was, uh, like, I was talking trash about his team, and then he did that thing where they lash out and ask people to 1v1, um, uh, and they get upset about having bad teammates, so I stepped up, and he wanted BGH, and that's a free win, boys. <laughs> PvP on BGH is, like, unlosable for me. Changed my mind. Well, we'll have to get you White Ra or, uh, some other kind of high-level specialist yeah, yeah. and give you some special <laughs> tactics. That is like the annoying, like definitely the people that play like that is hard, but the people that want to play like straight up macro, like when I scouted, we were sharing choke any two gates. I'm like, okay, the game's already over. Yeah, I feel you. Unless uh, there must be someone out there that maybe could take you on, especially if they were like a really good PvP yeah. player. No, I'm but... sure there is. I'm, I'm definitely over exaggerating a little bit. Yeah, generally speaking, I'm sure you're quite confident against the majority of the player base. 1v1 PvP BGH. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. All right, we're gonna have a quick little smoke break and do some more threes. Or what are you feeling? When do you want to do KCM? Uh, later, or we can do some KCM games tonight and then do the rest tomorrow. Okay. If you're down. Sounds good. Well, so I guess it wouldn't matter if I was um, streaming on YouTube while you did it. Because it's not restreamed on Twitch, right? It's probably okay. It's the same platform as you're broadcasting on. I'm sure it's good, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that was too funny. I I really enjoyed that a lot. I like telling him he has to attack me now because I'm going guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But he kind of like counted himself as well because he's like doubling down into free gate. So well, you got your win condition is very simple, right? Yeah. I mean, he messed up his build in the first like few minutes. Yeah. Normally, I cannot go goons that fast against a three gate, but he missed a pylon one. Yeah, I could tell. Like other than you telling me, he also only had two pylons. So when I got into his base, yeah, that's, uh, but then I also that's... supply blocked at thirty three. So <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Was his probe count really low? Because he, he actually killed a few probes, at least with the run buzz. Yeah, he had like 10 less probes in here or something. Yeah. He just wasn't making constant probes. Problem. Of course he messed up, he was stream watching. That's, that's true, actually. <laughs> I mean, he didn't need to watch, he just listened. Yeah, that's, that's why I tried to make it a little bit easier for him and tell him so he didn't have to, like, watch. I didn't want him to lose his advantage. Poppy joined and left. <clears throat> I miss Poppy. Poppy. I always think that's the funniest thing, though, when people get mad, just like, their team's bad, so they just randomly lash out asking for 1v1s against the opposing team, like, I didn't. <laughs> it's Puppies not my fault, back, back, but I'll back, do it. Back. Your mic sounds good. Back again. Thanks. Puppies it's Heiser. Edison. I'm gonna ban this baby guy, he's 1 in 49. Like... <laughs> 
Like either he's a troll or I don't want to uh, have an easy well, win. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, also, anyone who joins is going to see his record and just leave. It's really hard to get a game. True. True, true. Pups the two. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> this puppy's clone. <laughs> He's got more energy. He's like, uh, hasn't been demotivated yet. He's ready for round two. <laughs> I have a second account to play you on. It's not over yet. <laughs> I'll get a new player because Ray Scorpion's pretty low record. Give him a better uh, ally. Oh, no. There you go. Two puppies. <laughs> oh my god. That's two not puppies. me. This... Can we actually probably need to ban him? If he's gonna say stuff like that, <clears throat> that'll get me in trouble. That'll get you in trouble. Did that once and a great BGH guy cheesed me on LT. I got on my face. Back to random slash Aaron. <clears throat> well, you said you wanted to learn Terran next, right? <laughs> Not on BGH. <laughs> Dude, just playing I, I games actually... is good practice, though, right? Like just playing the race. Yeah, I mean, I've played like thousands of. BGH Tan at this point. It's nothing to learn anymore. We've mastered it. It was actually it was probably my best race on BGH when I'm playing correctly. I have a question for you. Do you guys think that Happy thinks we're friends now? He's <laughs> <laughs> part of the stream. Like he thinks it. Man, I won't lie, getting boring, see you tearing all the time. No, I, I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, see, he thinks we're friends. Oh, Peppy, one of us. Well, <laughs> Welcome to the I crew, Peppy. I don't claim you, Peppy. I just want you to know that. It's important to me that you know that I yeah, don't like you. Yeah, Peppy, are you, are you on his stream or just mine? Or just both, just both of us, or what? Which stream are you on? You're mine. He's on the sausage monkey. Oh no, he's saying six to his ally. Some overlook sorry. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Taren is a random. I can't random on. Or the reason I can't random on BJH, I was horrible at it. Oh, Pappy, we're only friends if you watch my stream and you sub to my stream. Then we can be friends. Yeah, so <laughs> you and I will never be friends, but if you want to make friends with Jean, you can YouTube Jean SC, give him a sub, and you got a friend there. <laughs> there you go. Give me up a sub, we can be friends, Pappy. If you're a sub to me, um, can you please unsub? <laughs> <laughs> you got a friend in me. Right, Snow. Is that Love Snow? Was this without Scout? Happy, you cheating again? Happy can't help himself, man. I don't know. He's a happy Pappy. This is earlier than a nine pool too. Yeah, I did nine pool. This might be the best marine micro I've ever seen. Hey, it's not good, right? How you doing, big boy? Finally found where you guys are all hiding. Oh, hiding! We've just been chilling, man. Hiding in a public channel. That's what we do. <laughs> hiding in plain sight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
life happy. You can leave my game now. Because <laughs> I was like, 14 viewers and 7 likes, but Jenna has 3 and 9 likes. Actually, I only have 6. Did you make me- did you just lose me a like? <laughs> uh... Oh, okay, 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 I'll let you up. Hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare make a drone, alright? Or I'll never give you ops ever again. Oh, my overlord! No! Happy, I need you to understand how serious I am. I'm getting double teamed over here, man. <laughs> oh shit, okay. I was watching the chat. My bad. <laughs> watching the chat! Must be playing a game over here, my guy. <laughs> Save me. You see seven? Okay. It just might be. Oh, YouTube's kind of weird about a lot of stuff. Thank you. I hate. I hate. I just hate. See this drone work helping you with the zealot. Did you like that? Yeah, you helped me with the zealot, but you also set the turn rate to. Oh, wait, 16 is fine. Okay. That's just my fault. Sorry, sorry. You just looked for something to blame me at without any <laughs> any ground in reality. You were just wanting to immediately blame me for something else. <laughs> Did you expect anything different? Do you see that that true proclivity he had there? Ah, uh, look at these zealots. Poor boy. You know what? At least I backtracked on it instead of just saying that 16 was the problem. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm the good guy here. Sure. <laughs> We got, or we got, we got zealots on the map. Well, that's not good. Who sang about it? And we killed the zealots. They're not allowed to have zealots. That's not fair. Where are you Wait. going, Sam? Oh, Wait, Pappy, you died. What happened to Pappy? Oh shit! Somehow Pappy died for a long. I didn't even see. No. No, I went and killed him. When he went and finished <laughs> him off, sent him a message. I was saying I needed him to understand how serious I was. Oh. About us not being friends and what have you. <laughs> Poor Pappy, man. What <laughs> 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 uh, was that like? Uh... Yeah, it started walking that way. No. I'll avenge you. Wait. I just realized something. Hmm. I should have returned cargo. I would have had enough for a hatchery. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Ah. To cancel my two links. I go hide some uh, extractors so I don't have to protect you. Kill it there. Oh yeah, well, you just kill it. It's best to kill him anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna kill him and then, and then I'm never coming back. Thank you for the sub, my guy. Appreciate you. Sub 200 medic marine control. Love to see it. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. The real questions. Oh. <laughs> Literally gave the man a compliment and I just get shade. 
Was that a compliment? I didn't feel like one. I mean, I just saw you micro against Zealots. Wait, Ozzy, um, Ozzy <laughs> just wants to play against me in NSO and then retire. For the season. I that was going to be the case. DT? My overload's coming, my overload's coming. Get closer. Let me already add no more oh, thing. To be bugging out these goons. <laughs> yeah, baby. I've got your back, RZ. I don't care if I've got two drones. We got this. I'm <laughs> so bad at my choice, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing what he can. He's like trying to snipe the drone. It's like really important to him. <laughs> Off your two is gone. Yeah. We just built two packies in one game. Yeah, we should have. Um... We should have cancelled the eggs and then returned like cargo. We could have avoided a hatchery, but we had two nine nine after we cancelled the eggs. So it's like this calculation. We should have returned cargo with the mineral block. So yeah, we kind of done goofed a little bit, but we still came out with the Actually, W. Hang on, I want to see this real quick. I don't think I trust them. Pappy three now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, I want you to see this. So Pappy oh. immediately sent his uh, overlord from three to six straight to you, and then five pulled me top side, or six pulled me seven pull. Yeah, five pull, six pull. This is six pull. <clears throat> Dude's like relentless with the cheating, huh? I respect it, Poppy. No qualms. No, uh, no honor whatsoever. Can we kick Pappy 3? He took my color. You change colors, you can get your color. Oh, missed it. I was tabbed out. What's up, Sench? That means we did confirm that Pappy 3 is, uh... Also on the stream. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, right. this is, you know, part of being famous. <laughs> Dude, it is so hot in here, actually. I need to turn the AC on. I'm starting to sweat. Sounds sweat, eh? How old does it get over there, Ozzy, in Alabama? Uh. Let me look at a converter real quick. <laughs> oh, you gotta convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, I think it's 38, 39 when it's like peaking. It's pretty, pretty high. What's the humidity like? Super humid. Mm. What's the humidity today? That's the worst, man. Hot and humid. Yeah, it's. That's it's that's the combination that makes it so bad. The heat's not that bad. Yeah, the humidity today is eighty one percent. But it's the humidity with the heat is what makes it so bad. Otherwise I don't mind the heat at all. <clears throat> also, Sench, why do you say oh god, what's wrong with me playing BGH? This is where I came from. 
This is home. He was just a little dragon egg one day. He was born in the BGH. From my Discord channel, my original one. Um, you merely. Huh? I was going to say, you guys merely adopted the BGH. Ozzy was born in it, molded by it. <laughs> Is that a Toy Story In reference? the end, his record was blinding. Jesus, he says a <laughs> Toy Story reference. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it? Are you joking? Well, I hope you're joking. Please tell me you're joking. It might be. It might be his dry sarcasm. I'm pretty sure Zerg says that on Toy Story. Batman Rises. Yeah, it shows that I'm, I'm trolling now. Ah! <laughs> 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 it's hard to tell you, Elsie <laughs> man. I like how Snow is the one that's like, it's probably a troll. And then I say I'm trolling, and he's like, yeah, it wasn't a troll. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Zed was on the same page as me on that one. <laughs> you can't genuinely um, fake confusion. <laughs> I don't know, I tricked you into thinking that, um... Uh... Psychopaths can, probably. You remember that time? That time I tricked you into thinking I was, um... Top side, top right or whatever? You can't tell me I didn't play that perfectly. But it's the same with it's hard to like fake genuine surprise because when you overact it, it doesn't seem, seem genuine. You know what I mean? Because like genuine surprise is like brief and short lived usually, not like really intense and over the top. Yeah. Bottom right is like layer before speed. I went nine hatch, by the way. I didn't say, but yeah, nine hatch. Nine hatchery, baby. We'll just um, we'll need to get aggressive. So we have a pretty good. Like I went twelve pool, you went nine nine. So he's gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, no, no. White. You won't be able to stop the link flood from Gemini over time. You want me to get in there too? Yeah, yeah, come along. Well, why don't we just go for yellow? He's like, because I don't feel like yellow is meter. The guy's tech, okay. Yeah, spire's on the way. You just snap the spire. <clears throat> Oh, dark I'll grab it. break unless you tank well with the zealots. Yeah, you, you you take the spire. He tanks uh, sunks go. Shoot the spire. What are you doing? Oh, like the wing, I guess. Oops. <laughs> Awkward. Sunken's low. Sunken Nazi. Right side sunken. Don't you micromanage me. Well, it's just micro. Anyone in chat want a game with game GTB? <sighs> you can draw now some John. I'm just gonna mask the only here. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna go um, Hydra or Whatever you want. Whatever sounds more fun to you. The game's already over. Slippery little zealots, huh? Rush. 
Flames, Zealot. Spire Rush. Z. What's Said we can't lose. Maybe we can. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him. <clears throat> Actually, no. Let me crush this. <laughs> Wolfie, hey buddy. Is Wolf in it? Is it the real Wolf Hoods? Hey, he's kicking it. Trying to clean up our TVZ today. We got our show match with Urban in the making, boys. It's gonna be a drunken Fine. show match. <laughs> we gotta chug a beer, take a shot between every game. He's on the right spot. Jones back. <clears throat> yeah, when is your uh, show match? Or it's in the uh, making. Herb, it's not there yet. Herb is gonna confirm with me today the date. Okay. Hey, Snow, can I cast it? Sure. I'm pretty good with TVZ. <laughs> hey, who's show match? Yeah, Armand versus uh, Love Snow. Wait, can I cast that shit, Snow? So everyone can cast it. Let's get everyone nope, in there. Nope, too many people, I'm out. Ah. We should get the three-way cast. Here's the problem casting with you and Jean, is you're both way better than me. <laughs> you gotta get out of your head, bro. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Zun was gonna help, or Zun, fucking uh, Unko was gonna help out with it too. No guarantee on that. And besides, uh, when I'm doing um, more than two casters, I sit back a lot and I let people run more. Yeah, my alerts aren't going off, but uh. Oh, they're good. Bad time. Okay. I forgot that. Uh, Mis... uh, I didn't need this deep one. This is Misa Peachy. Thank you for the follow. And EE92E. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, guys. Depends what kind of caster dynamic you got going on. If you got like a round robin caster dynamic where everyone's just spitballing, then you kind of like. Oh, that's an Evo. That's a really fast Evo. But sometimes there's like one or two there? casters that are more engaged. Well, everyone who casts also has to drink, I think. I think it's got to be the rule. Yeah, we can do uh, that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Definitely, we can that's definitely the rule. I can get. I can, ah. I can do both if you want. I can do whiskey and. I mean, Ganji can drink milk, so that's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, can I be the designated driver of the cast? <laughs> Make sure everyone stays on pa on task. Yeah. Let's 
gonna be so he built the Evo Chamber before Lair. Casting drugs. Well, I'd really like to see Arzy try and herd us while we're all being rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I kind of tried it with the uh, Love Snow's last cast. <laughs> Didn't work. Maybe yeah. I was too subtle. I gave a pretty subtle hint. All I said was, uh, hey, do you guys want to mute yourselves and I'll just do the cast? Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Hang on guys, I'm just uh, doing some stuff. We got a little bit of different kind of Josh, going I, I wonder how much my mic doesn't pick up. I tend to lean away. Like, I actually lean to my left a lot when I'm talking away from my mic. So it probably doesn't pick up sometimes when I'm talking very well. What are we, uh, what are we doing? Oh, I'm uh, grinding. So I'm just taking a like few minute break and then we'll go again. Okay. Hmm. Appreciate you guys chilling and hanging out in the stream. I might. Oh, Jiraiya. Nice to see some new faces in there. Wow, Jiraiya. Should you run? How you guys will do in the day? Wow. I like that snow. He talks about his hiding from him. So he can, I guess, sit in here while he streams ladder. <laughs> this kind of amuses me. Wait, say that again? I didn't hear it. Well, because he was like saying that he was looking for us. I like accused us of hiding from him, I guess. But he comes in here just to stream his 1v1 ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I got the. Uh, I was hiding. I got the lineup here for this week, KCM, man. It's. Royal Rush Sharp, Best Shuttle, Paralyze, Soul Soul Key Saber. They brought Paralyze back? Sorry, He's sorry, back. who at the end? Saber. 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 Okay, wow, that's an Saber interesting back? lineup. So we got, no, no, Savior, Saber, Saber. Savior. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> well, that's what I first heard him say at the start. That's why I asked him to clarify. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Saber's a Zerg player as well. He's from back in the day, actually. He was pretty decent uh, since 2007 or something. But he's like never yeah, he's really like young. broke out properly into the scene until more recently. <clears throat> hmm. Although he's always been good enough to take games off pro gamers for a long time. Ah, fucking fuck. Hmm. That's just the thing with StarCraft, like, there's such a zero-sum game that you can be really good, but still just be a B-teamer, right? And, just, yeah. Wait, you won Courage. I think that's right. Saber won Courage in 2007 or 2006. Something like that. I don't know when it was, actually, but he won Courage. That's how he got his license. Which, at the time, was one of the only ways you could get a pro gamer's license, I think. Do you guys know about the Courage Tournament? I'm assuming some of you do. Yeah, the old school tournament, man. Yeah. Hey, John. Mm hmm. One more game? Yeah. I just finished loading my uh, vapey vapey. I'll smoke now and host. I can kind of play one handed at the start, it's not a big deal. Okay. okay. It's a weird flex. Like anyone can, it's like the start of the game, you're just making no, I know. I, I, yeah. I actually tend to split better one handed than when I'm actually Oh <laughs> Bandy bro as he said that. Yeah, but you're one in forty nine. Like you might I can't put you on their team, like, that's just not I mean fair. here's the thing though, I 
I kind of don't want to play... Like, I don't want my last game to be against people just cheating and being weird about it. Anyway. Oh, you hear that, guys? Az Azzy's tired of your shenanigans, alright? We want some real games. <laughs> I would like to play some real StarCraft, yeah. It's fun for a little while. But... Is this good or not? Uh, yeah, it looks decent, yeah. What was Runsing? 6-5? Yeah, they're okay. Could be okay, could be bad. We'll find out. Could be laggy. I guess 4 is laggy. He looked 3-4, but whatever. Damn. It's really bad, my 3 host. Oh, is that yeah. guy? Dropped. It was that guy. <laughs> it was that guy. That's the guy. That's the guy, man. This, this fucking guy over here. Speaking of this guy over here, the, the other guy you're talking, the one that sounds like he's uh, from a farm, it's the Dahaki himself. So, Ozzy Dahaki on Twitch and YouTube. Pretty chill guy. Just go check him out sometime. Zen Saiyan is in here too. Yeah, Saiyan KCM on YouTube and Love Snow 7 on Twitch. The other guy you can't he's really get talking, well, but he's just like in the background doing his own thing. Check out what he's doing as well. Yeah, Ozzy's always hating, man. That's all I can say. Am I hating? Always hating, man. I don't think I ever hate. I hated Pappy. I fucking Pappy. What a guy. Uh, pretty Terran out. I don't know how you can play Terran all day. Snow. It's it gets really boring. Unlike Protoss. It's gotta That's be that kind of gamer, man. Pretty fun just running your Zolens in against every every race. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do something yeah, crazy in this game because we had a really bad start. I do usually find uh Terran the most fun. I just um I just got it so much today as well. Actually, the main reason I even want to learn Terran for ladder is because I, I actually just think they're the most fun race to play. I had my hands occupied and I didn't add a really bad start of this game. I was gonna six pull. Okay. I'm gonna go uh, 2cc mass marine. Saying like, so I wanna do this strategy. <laughs> I'm gonna six pull and pray there's a guy in the bottom left. Uh, there's a guy sharing choke with me. He stunted my strategy. Turn, 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 back, turn around, turn around. <laughs> there's no, there's no way there's a marine coming or anything. Uh, I like it though. I like the fear. Fuck. Why does he have so much gas, dude? SCVs are having a hard time. Oh my God, dude. He got a pylon building in his base. He's building cannons. 
Blue is just building in cannons. Blue? Blue is building cannons in the parent base. Blue. I haven't seen a blue yet. Where the hell is blue? Oh. He's building cannons inside white's base. Yes. Oh, white's cheating with his fucking... SCVs just find out which like... one it's targeting and then run it around. Yeah, you don't engage it, you, you just lead it around in circles. It's the way to counter it. Come on! Vessels! Fuck! Jesus Christ, man. He brought the Overlord back so it can get killed by this Marine. Who's trying to cannon push me? Boy, I did not see that. Don't lose drones, don't lose drones. Just run them, just run them. You got some links here outside your nut, your natural. Where does this come from? Oh, come on! One Ling got 11 kills, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Snow I had 12 how? Marines at my base, dude. And Snow. they just weren't attacking the one Ling. How? How, Snow? Explain it, you motherfuckers. Still, though. <laughs> Snow, but like, how? Watch your overlord at 11 cannons building there. Oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't do it for you. How many cannons are there? Where in? I mean... In my base, it's just the one. I killed the probe. Oh, you want me to kill it or not? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. How you doing, fiend? Starting an academy? I did kill a bunch of blizz probes earlier too. Just okay. so you guys know. Zelo. Cannon. She killed Gates. Almost don't want to do it because you told me to do it. <laughs> you beat like that. I am a child. You will not speak to me that way. <laughs> Uh, Chiseled says your stream has found John. Hmm? Wait, stream unavailable? Yeah, it just went down. What the fuck? Just streaming. Should 
achievement available. Ozzy, are you kidding me? What's that? Stream suspended for policy violations. What have I done now? What? Are you always getting banned, man? People are like out to get me, dude. I don't understand what. <laughs> what have I done? What? what happened? I got my stream suspended again. We what? did it. I don't know what the fuck I could have done this time saying someone's really out to get me or some shit, man. It's just the YouTube way. <laughs> well, no, there's, there's nothing he's done for YouTube that should get him in trouble. What the fuck have I done? TOS? What? You know what it was? You're, you're it was probably Poppy. streaming a copyrighted game, so... It was Poppy. Huh? Poppy. Sit right there. Poppy's... mad. Got you. <clears throat> Got you banned. The only thing... If there were like an actual... I don't... It's, it's hard to even imagine. But the only thing is that... Poppy was saying those homophobic slurs on the stream, but... Unless someone like actively reported that happening, which I guess is possible for you. And yet, and yet, you'll never ever see all the Mario erotica that Artosis gets on a daily basis. No, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. I don't think he would get banned for that. That wasn't what, him what, saying it. What the fuck it, have I but done? But it doesn't wrong? matter. What the fuck? One thing. What is going on? I, I, this is like getting to a point of like seriously being unfair. Like, what the fuck mm -hmm. have I done? I really don't know. I'm even playing, like, lo-fi, like, copyright-free music and shit. Like, what the fuck more do I have to do? Like, copyright. But now the stream's like, what the oh. fuck? Now, what the fuck? It just came back up. They heard your complaint, dude. They're just like, you know what? You're right. We're not going to ban you for it. The fuck? That's so weird. So it's possible, this is the only thing I can think of, off the top of my head, is that somebody, probably that same guy that you had an issue with before, like, reported your stream, and then typically, like, if you think about how, like, a lot of the automated stuff goes, when hmm. stuff gets mass-reported, it'll get taken down regardless of there actually being a problem or not, and then maybe it got looked at or something real quick or something. It's the only thing I can think of, otherwise, I have no clue. It's the only thing that kind of makes sense to me. Mm. And, and no, Ace, the stream didn't crash. We got temporarily suspended because people were uh, reporting the stream or something. I don't know what. It's the only thing I can think anyway. Yeah, maybe. Probably for Ozzy saying that guy was never going to be his friend. He got mad. <laughs> I think he would report my stream for could that. You, could you imagine how mad I would be if like that was just that was just it? Like I would just get suspended and like I couldn't stream on YouTube either for no it's reason. Like, well, now you go to now you go to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, Snow actually said something funny. That's crazy. Go to Rumble, man. Rumble. Love Snow, man. You've got all these Zergs around you, ready to help you prepare for your match against Herbmon, and you're playing ladder. Oh, what's what up, I do, though, man? I got no practice partners. You go to ladder, and here we all are playing BGH. <laughs> I'll practice That's why I can't ladder with you guys, man. I can't play with you guys. I gotta go to the ladder because you're too busy playing BGH. <laughs> <laughs> Snow, do you want to practice? Ooh. I don't. You've already mentioned to me very clearly many times when I've asked you for help that I do not want to play against Love Snow. Right. <laughs> do you want to play? Well, I'll play you, man. If you're really serious, I'll no, play. No, that was it. You had one shot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Love, so I'll, I'll I'll get you some action if you when you finish the ladder. I I'll wait for you. <laughs> what I need to practice for first is doodle. I got doodle this week. Ermon oh, is mind. not until probably uh, next week. You need you need Ozzy. You need uh, Semi. Semi's in the channel right now. I I need Semi. Semi's good practice. Why would you, why would you get you bail? Yeah. I'll get you bail on. Bail's good too. Now this is what Bale told me after that one match, that everything you did was completely and absolutely prepared on the map and only versus you. And he doesn't think you can beat anybody else your, your level ever again like that. But yeah. uh, what I was Wait, thinking about I, the... I was so drunk during that game, I was, I was really upset with myself. I, I didn't think I would lose to Bale. 
I don't even know how I got that drunk, dude. I took like one shot. I think I was just because like it was right after a workout and I was just like dehydrated and then I drank. <laughs> it's like it, was, it didn't make any sense. I was like, dude, there's no way I should be drunk right now. I'm so confused. Not sure if I'm feeling up to it on the computer right now. Okay, well, no, no, no Ace, we don't have to do it so right now. Fighting anyway, like you're drunk again. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, if you're not feeling up to it, man. So what I was saying about the um, scout and stuff earlier, that that actually is um, it doesn't that. matter if it's like you or not. You just that chill. That's on your stream. It's like you as the streamer still have to take responsibility for it. That's usually how they do that kind of stuff. Recent at that. I'm so looking at my uh, just, stream. Just like it it really is. All you gotta it, do it, is kick all the Chinese players off of your server. You say Tiananmen Square, and they're gone. It's like magic. <laughs> It feels like it can be pretty unfair. Like there was uh somebody got banned for a really long time because like he was taking like video requests or something, and then someone sent him some like gif of some nudity or something, and he got banned for a long time. It's just like random the, stuff like in that. In the heyday of Twitch, before all, a lot of the regulations happened, Urban was fucking streaming, and he would let anybody request any video or any music, and it didn't matter what was going on in it. You know, right before the whole musical copyright strike thing. Those were mm -hmm. the days. Those were the days. The good old Nightbot and choosing music. Although, funny yeah. enough, Love Snow is just fucking playing music videos in the top right corner <laughs> of the stream the entire time. Everyone loves Who Love is... Snow, man. Who's Naka? Naka Brewboard? Who is this? What do you mean? That's a nomer, dude. He's this caster for NSL. Yeah, I'm asking. Is that his name? Is Naka? Is. Yeah. It's Nam Naka. Were you looking for someone to raid? Yeah. <laughs> little little oh, baby raid. Right? Okay. Apparently, this is a teammate. I'm gonna raid this guy. Get him. Nice. Um, yeah, Naka's, Naka's been picking up his stream lately, he's been trying. And then, oh, for you guys on yeah. YouTube, and even here on Twitch, uh, I'm also gonna link this. <laughs> this is, uh, Jean's stream. He can only stream on YouTube. I'm gonna show him some love. He's one of the guys I've been playing with all day. He's been pursuing you know, awesome. relentlessly. <laughs> show him some love, yeah. What would you say, sir? <laughs> Undo some of the hate. That he's been persecuted relentlessly. Yeah. But um, here on Twitch, I'm going to throw it over to, I guess, a fellow Nomer. Looks like he's playing against Fonger. Fonger. Probably don't need this eBay. Get fonged. Uh, we're not gonna do the eBay. We don't need it. We saw his whole base. Actually, we didn't look over here, but I don't think there's anything there. <laughs> Wait, Fonger streams too? Wait, Thonga's streams, like, stream streams. Wait, maybe he did mention something like that, but I can't remember if he said if he streamed. I've never, never seen Thonga stream if he streams. Please no DT proxies or some shit. Supply Blocku again! Quit it. Stop it. Quit the Supply Blocks. You'll never you'll never make it in the Pro League if you can continue to be Supply Blocked. That's what's holding me back. By the way, I'm playing, playing Exit all. I'll see if I can't try to whoop his butt. Get him. Oh. This is John. It happened again, though. So, oh man, Ozzy, what the fuck? I don't know, man.
Uh. Like, I'm not gonna bitch about it, but I got feelings about it. No, I hear you. I understand. I'd have feelings too. I'm very frustrated for you. Yeah, I don't want to bring the mood down for your guys' stream, so I'm just not going to talk about it, but you know how I probably feel about it. My stream's gone. Nothing Good. to bring down. Your stream's gone. No, I mean, I, I've already oh, run it over. Still got the goddamn drone. So, how does the YouTube thing work? Like, how do I even find out why, what the reason is, like... Yeah, I'm actually reading about that right now. Already ahead of you. Oh, thank you, Ozzy. I appreciate you having my back. Oh, dude, I'm gonna do the dirty build. He wants to do... He wants to do this stuff. I got him. I know. I know exactly what to do. Get him. I hope you got an SCV out on the map. Let's do this real quick. Fucking late reaver, man. I was not expecting a reaver. We can still hang on. So. I've got super super hydra and super super phoenix. Probably not, but. Should have scammed me right now. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, well. All right, one more, and you want to do KCM after? Uh, I might need to take a breather. I might get something to eat, and then yeah, like chill <laughs> for a, a sh at least a short moment before I start. So I think it. you should get an email about it, explaining like giving you a reason why. Okay. It's so weird that it went down, then it came back up and went down again. Yeah. So this actually happened to um, Ludwig too, I think. Can you can you log into your channel? Do you Does do a have copyright any, like... match? What? Copyrighted. copyrighted. What's copyrighted? I'm listening to like a lo-fi mix. Like, why is it? Why am I getting copyrighted? God, this guy just does not know how to take care of his probes. Wow, not everything wanted to attack, that's cool. So, I said you, you got an email saying it was because of copyright? Yeah. But it said, like, as soon as it detects that it's not copyrighted your stream should be on yeah which is what happened that's why i like came back and then but then it went off again for some reason but right now i'm not even playing any music and it's not back on I was like two hours into uh, a three hour lo fi mix and I hadn't had any issues but... with it, so I didn't think anything would be a problem. No, I mean, if it's specifically copyright free, right? Um, if it doesn't come back up, I guess in a little bit, you should be able to appeal. I don't think it'll take very long. Come on, drop off the minerals. Oh, there it goes. You're live again. I guess I just have to be really uh, careful with the playlists and... Yeah, I, I guess it's being really no. sensitive about it, even though it's fine. I'll, I'll, what I'll have to do is, like, find ones which never caused any issues, and then, like, save that to, a, a, like, a curated playlist so I know which ones are good kind of thing. Like, I'm yeah. gonna flag it. I'm glad it's like not actually something serious. Yeah, me too, right? <laughs> it's scary because of what you've gone through, right? It, it makes it. <laughs> See, what was scary is that, like, for me, that, like, I, I, I assume that, like, this is the kind of shit that would happen. You know what I mean? Like, this is my life, but, like, it wouldn't surprise me that this was going to become the reality. Right. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. It's kind of sad. I'd already like accepted yeah, you it. Have to worry about that. I'd already like accepted it and like started to internalize it. You know what I mean? Like it's just just how it is going to be. Oh uh, well, I actually feel really for you. I'm, I'm glad it's no big deal. Me too, man. I appreciate you having my back as well. <laughs> I would say no problem, but it was a big issue for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go eat and do my work and all that good stuff. Alright, man. Alright, GG's. Too. Catch you guys later. Catch you later. Later. Holy shit, this is the run, boys. Here we back again.
Huh. Exit's such a fucking dick. Fine. Way to, way to eight racks me, man. He always eight racks us. It's like shame on you if you fall for that shit. I haven't played him in like three months. <laughs> Just ask me. Just ask me. Like, how do I beat Exit? I'll tell you. How, how do I beat Exit? Alright. That's what you do. It's very simple, okay? You, you know how to do Touch Mule, yeah? Oh, of course. Alright, so you do Touch Mule all the same. But you get Link Speed after Lair. Then you get Borrow after Link Speed. Then you deny, kill the SUV scout with the first four links, one chasing, three catching. And then flood links. Um, if he makes no bunker, you flood his natural and kill him. If he doesn't make bunker, you hide links and borrow them outside his natural. And when he moves out, just kill him. And then borrow and kill him. Do I delay the meters for that? Or, um, yeah, of course. Yeah, you need to go one right. gas as well. Don't take your second gas right away. Just, just you know, one gas. Just one gas meters. Mm hmm. So I was just gonna. Use the poor guy. There you go. Just make sure you borrow your links in the path that his marines will move out in. All right, all right. I'll see. I'll see if I can make that work. If my overlord would like to go. But in the if right he doesn't direction. make a bunker, you could just like flood his natural with the links and kill him that way too. Holy shit, boys, this is the fucking run. Got my super hard drive. I'm a hundred kills ahead of you right now, Jen. I oh, know you're doing amazing. <laughs> I had a bad start. <laughs> I got so lucky. Oh, I'm 200 kills ahead of you now. <laughs> no, wait, not quite. You're in a god run right now. Come on, drop off the minerals, run away. Come on, come on. What is this on your head? Oh my god, they put me, you put on all the hats. Fuck. Team Captain! What's up, Fuzzy Branch? Fucking ads, I really hate advertisements on Twitch. Yes, advertisements can be painful sometimes. What's up, Chiseled? Zen is down again. Yes, he's in the process no, of getting no, that I'm situation. Back, I'm back up, I'm back up. Oh, he's back up, he's back up. So hard to move. All right, cool. It's cross map. I got one hour till I practice. Yeah, right, this is fine. Get, get the fuck out! Oh shit. You serious? You seriously gonna get that? Oh my goodness. Fuck, oh, get the wing speed. Hmm? Fuck, I should finish this beer before. What'd you say, man? This guy is a fucking dick! What happened? Wait, He's hold still on. Gonna Did, uh... get the fucking bunker down. Is Semi still in here? Yeah, you no, run. His name is Semi. Oh my god! <laughs> Keep calling him Semi. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to change his ID at this point. The Semi. Semen, dude. We're just gonna name him Semen, right? Yeah, Semen. There you go. Oh, I made some fucking drones. Oh, cool. He's gonna target fire the wrong thing. What? What? Oh, I missed my what? Mr. Queen. What? I shot this motherfucker and didn't kill. Uh, 
Oh my god, he cross spawned. He got the free overlord, man. Oh, everything went well. Oh, I joined the wrong game. Fuck. You know what? If he's gonna if he's gonna do this, he's gonna get the he's gonna get the nine drone scout. Tell me what happened in that game. I don't what happened. Oh, yes. It looks like he's doing a lot of damage. I'm assuming that's what happened. Well, he gets the free overlord because I'm coming across the map on that, and he just kind of ran into them. And then he kills the sunken, and then I make drones instead of lings. And I'm like, okay, lings are on the way. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they come. And then two drones pop out. Oh. Alright. Alright, so you're gonna do. You know, purple? Limpo? Oh, I, I can do the 11 pull. Right, do do, but do I, two HP, but do 11 pull version, alright? And then do what I told you. Come on, get off of the hatchery. Oh my goodness, I'm still scouting the wrong way. Ah, oh, oh, the Overlord. Oh well. We'll just do this. We'll find out if I see the SCV. I got the same guy twice in a row and he's left both games right in a row. Okay, so he's probably to the right. Oh. Hey, Quark, what's up, dude? Hey, Quark. Oh. Random. Fuck. Oh, he's probably faking it. Oh well. Wow! This guy leaves too. Did he get turned? Ha, yeah, he did. <laughs> no one wants to play TVT, man. You We're just like speed rushing back to A rank. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta take a piss. Might as well do that. Must be nice to play Terran. You just get a bunch of levers because no one wants to play Terran. Let's turn. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he's prepared. He's prepared. Is he up the ramp? Okay, fake them out. I think he over prepared. Uh, it's a vulture. That's okay. I should probably need a sunken though. Actually, I don't need a sunken. No, we didn't lose A. We have uh, three accounts a day. We're trying to get this account A. I just, whenever I'm not warmed up, I play on my lowest account. 
and just do start my stream from there. And right now I wasn't warmed up. I just started playing. I mean, now I'm a little more warmed up. Play two games. Come on, come on, Lynx. You can do it. You can do it. Chase down the vulture. Not enough minerals. Nuclear launch detected. All right, we got someone who's gonna stay in uh, a TBT game. Playing only the lowest power eventually get you S. What's gonna get me to S is fixing my TVZ. I feel like my TVP can hang. My TVT is pretty good if I can do okay in the early game. I feel like I make decent decisions in mid game. Depends if you want to throw or not. We've gotten a lot better at not throwing. Yeah. Don't need that. We've changed our mentality from uh, kill him to what's my win condition. That's helped a lot. Good. Happy to hear it. A little annoying you have to hear from other people, but happy to hear it. Well, army control was a big issue a lot of the time in the past. Yeah. It's still an issue sometimes. Oh, fuck, it's from here. It's over here. Scott. Wait, what? That's on this if you know this. Why do I have that rally point there? What is with that rally point? Two marines as we're going raid. Hey Zoom, I don't think this is hmm? working. What? This isn't working out very well. What's well, not working out very well? The burrow, the burrow uh, speed. What? Well, what happened? He went vulture. Oh, when did you scout and go in vulture? Wait, he's got it, Valkyrie. It, it, is he, did he go one one one? That's did, fine. Did he Just go one one one? Did, did he go one no, one? No, no, no. He went like he went like for the eight or the fake eight racks, and then went ahead and just fucking. Uh, so he went eight racks, and then went mm. vulture, and my link sat outside of his base. Oh my god! Why am I only grabbing? Get over there all together. Get off it. Oh, I'm afraid to lift the racks. Fuck. 
It was like some type of 111, but he didn't get speed, so he expanded off of that. I think I'm just like fucked. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Get over here. Oh my god, 34 supply. This is not looking good. Uh, he's doing that build that Wolfix does soon. The one factory into the command center into Valkyrie with eBay. And so he can first burns. scout off. Hmm? How many barracks? Uh, it's so here he comes, he's probably uh, coming off of 13. One barracks into two. Uh, wait, how come you couldn't punish so him with links a little bit? He goes off the scout. I see that. He comes in, he goes ahead and puts a fake bunker down. I go ahead and make my 12. He goes for the gas. This, um, this, uh, he has a oven pull. Yeah, he didn't start 12 hatch. He started pull first. You're in eleven pool. Yeah. And then of course the crazy vulture micro. Even speedlings having a hard time tape against that. No, you should be able to catch the vulture and surround it with speed. Well, you, you'd hope so. And then I just like made a spire, but I didn't make any overlords. And then the overlord just kind of died. Mm. But five to thirty, man, that is ugly. That is so ugly. Welcome to ZBT, where 8 Rex rules all. And when you 11 pull finally, he finally hits you with that, that other build. Oh, some mind games. I actually wanted to, I actually just wanted to 12 hatch and get the, uh, the drone scout out early, go for the 9th scout. That's what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, I hate, hate those kind of games, where it's just like, plays out so differently. This, that was the unprepared. It's playing against the unprepared, man. Well, the first game I actually went for a 13 pull. Second game I was trying to do the two hatch, and then I just... Mm, just lost the overlord thinking, oh, I have plenty of time to get it across into that one spot. No, he just catches it. Oh my god, uh, I had a fucking times four hunter killer up in the corner because it glitched out. No wonder why I've had no damage. Oh my god. <laughs> that was most of my damage as well. Well, not most of it, but like 25% at least. Oh shit! No, I've come so far. Fall before we lose the game. Oh, fuck random on ladder. Come on. There we go. He's doing playing random. Why are they bad at random?
Yo, thank you, thank you, Naka, for the raid, man. Sup, Naka. Uh, Ozzy intentionally didn't give you the raid, and then Naka gave it to you anyway. That's yeah, funny. I don't know. Ozzy like doesn't. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't like me. Weird. <laughs> Could be anything. He will, uh, of course, deny that he doesn't like uh, that he doesn't like you, but you just never quite know. I think that's this game. Oh, yeah, of course I like you. Oh, Ozzy's still here. Oh fuck! Just when we thought we could talk about the black sheep. <laughs> the black sheep. <laughs> so sometimes I feel like you don't like me. <laughs> that's facts. That's honestly facts. <laughs> you play Protoss, man. Terrans just don't like Protosses. It's, it's nature. Just like Zergs don't like eight racks, man. All right, I'm gonna go make some food. Trust me, Snow. No matter how much it seems like I don't like you, I promise you, I like Pappy a lot worse. Less. <laughs> Uh, once once I get back, I'll be ready to cast. If you're ready to go, we'll go. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll need like time to eat and shit. But yeah, like yeah, say I'll within an hour or so, we can start doing some casts. Okay. Yeah, it sounded good. All right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. I'll be on and stuff. One sec, guys. Oh, sweet. It's got to be center oh, gates. Fucking damn it, man. I for... Did I never get siege mode? Get off the SCD. Got him. Don't worry, Love Snow. I beat that Protoss for you. Nice. I mean, random. Sorry, random, random. Gotta remember, he didn't know what race he was until he, he played me. Sweet, I'm in that one spot in Fighting Spirit. I can do the build again.
I'm fucking I'm trolling, man. I want us to just troll him. I'm honestly just trolling. I didn't target fire at all there. That was horrible. I should have had that bus for sure. The fact he built turrets at 11 is confirmed that Volt Drop is it is now? It's probably not a bad idea. He's so far ahead. My one chance was uh, the fact that I had a better army there, and I let all my units there. Nah, -uh, I'm getting in. Can't fool me. All right, cool. He's cross position. This makes this so much easier. He's not cross position. Shit! Oh, I got fucking raped that game, dude. Damn it, that was three Vulture before add-on, and I didn't have a bunker. Oh, maybe I should have made two Vulture before add-on? Damn it! Was that gas before barracks? Yes. And he fucking forward forward gated me. Mm. I could have sworn I had more. He went eleven eleven as well. Mm. Oh, he didn't make the Marines. That's why. Well, that shouldn't matter though. Well, I didn't go out on the map. Okay, I guess the tell here was the fact that he had three off, all three off of gas. Yeah, he had nothing on gas. All right, time to leave. Forward gate. What a championship build. Yeah, I guess here, I, I just let the SCV die. I should just pull these all back and just repair the vulture on the high ground. What did I do? Oh, I try to fight this. Damn, he, he landed all his shots, too. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have just sat on the ramp here and kept all the SCVs at home. Uh, yeah, this was just really dumb. We take so much unnecessary damage. I 
should be walling this off very quickly as well. Like Academy should just be going down here right now. He's like, imagine I didn't lose those fucking six SCVs or seven SCVs. I'd be up seven right now because I'd killed somebody with Wraith right now. Here. Yeah, this is just damn. Yeah, even now we're actually up in workers still. I needed my academy faster. Look, the second I know it's three fat gold, I need to get my academy. I waited forever. Then right here, he doesn't even have academy yet. Like I should have just, if I had my wraith, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, my rates were just here to defend this. I'd be fine. I had cloak. He didn't have academy. Like his academy was just finishing. Making this game so hard on myself for no fucking reason. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. How are we doing, guys? Not well, man. He got first scouted. That's like a pylon scout. Another bad attack. Like, no reason for me to oh, attack no. into that. Oh, no. Siege here. Oh, oh you could have had it. No Fuck way. You. Fuck you. Dude, holy shit. That was so fucking bad. It's okay. So we'll bad we'll, we'll kill it with two SCVs later. Don't worry. Yeah, you're right. We should. I got to get stuff out first. Yeah, we'll kill it later. Don't worry. Oh wait, you can't steal it. Hey, 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 he released it. You guys want Was he going back in for another steal though? He's been cheeky, man. Look at this guy. Kind of a dick. Why is my supply Glad so low? Glad to hear low? you're doing what, well, what Chiseled. What have I been doing with my life? <sighs> we just put some food in the oven. We have yet to eat a substantial meal today, so we need to do that. Ah, dude, I can get a supply depot. Have a little something to eat, and then we'll probably do some KCM casts with Saiyan SE after that. So it's going to be okay, pretty so high level games, me, pretty high level the lucky spots. casts. Go, go, um, go. What's cooking, Chef? We got some very nice, like, uh, how to explain, like... Chips? No, no, not like uh, crisps. I mean, like fries, like big chunky fries, which are like have been, you know, kind of like a thin layer of like kind of like goose fatty stuff on it, so that they crisp up really nice. And then like some chicken dippery type things. Nothing too fancy, just a, a bit of chicken and chips, so to speak. Might put a little bit of a sriracha mayonnaise on there. Next. Get out of my way. Get Hot out of my minutes. way. Get out of my way. There we go. Just to give it a little bit of zing. A little bit of kick. Alright, cool. He's building stuff. I wouldn't trust myself cooking something serious while I'm uh, streaming. Currently got a part of the turtle on the screen, playing Terran in the top left, and Flying Spirit. Up against someone in the top right as a naughty little Protoss. The Pusagi race, the OP race, as they say. But let's be honest, it's not so much that the race is OP, just that it's uh, more flexible, easier to execute. Though there are some downsides to Protoss, for example, the skill ceiling is... Uh, Harder to break through and has a lower overall skill ceiling than Terran, for example. But we're fairly amateurish players, so we don't really see that skill ceiling anyway, so it's not really relevant to us. So usually the Pusaginess comes out in the lower ranks, so to speak. But most of us are lower rank when it comes to uh, comparing yourself to like a pro gamer or something, so 
We struggle against the Pasagi race. You know, one example being they can just have their zealots running around in your base, not needing to be microed really with high HP, and the zerglings have to be microed. And you can still micro the zealot, obviously, but generally speaking, the race is a lot more forgiving when it comes to that sort of thing. There's a lot of factors like that that go into it, but it's still the game we love, StarCraft. Oh, this is hmm. bad. That's not Three good. on repair, three on repair, three on repair. Come on, come on, come on! Nope. Okay, get him, boys! Now, while you're doing this, you need to be remaking your bunker and making another marine. Because there's no way we hold this with this if you marine. You still have one base too. Marine in the bunker right away. That timing. This is fine. Repair, 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 repair. Free, free, free. Yeah. Luckily, one side shooting the right spot. Yeah. Not too close to the edge. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to make the mistake of putting the tank too close to the edge, then he runs up and snipes the tank on the cliff as well. <laughs> Ace in the chat says, get him, boys, sub uh, of total. you got to get him now. Get him. you got to get him. He's, he's fucked now, I've got... SCV on mining. Let's get these other SCVs mining. I probably need to get some turrets in like random spots. Yeah. Start off with just one main, one natural, then maybe add a third. Keep making a CV, keep mining a vital SCVs. Man, why did I make that? I'm not sure you need this much gas right now because we're like kind of mineral stuck, aren't we? Hmm. I'm gonna refresh your gates. stream. You didn't have very much pressure either. He says his best bet right now is just to go all in with five to six factories. I think you're probably right, actually. Ace, I think you should go like a four or five fact push. You might not have enough money to make five factory. Might just go four. But... Right, yeah, I would say I, I would say I would say keep adding factories and be aggressive. Ah, that sounds like a good idea. Eventually we'll cut SUVs, but for now keep making SUVs as well. You don't need a deeper right now. Man, where are my SCVs at? Stop making a deeper in a second. Make a factory and then make a deeper. Oh, make it and then make a tank. Tank then deeper. Tank then deeper. SCV tank deeper. Yeah. Right, the key is to make sure this factory is always producing tank. We need to keep our tank count going. With so much gas. Like take some drone take some off gas, like one off gas on each. Keep making factory, make one more factory. Tank them factory. We got a tank on way already, good. Tank. Hmm. Really can. Tank. He's worried about vulture drop. 
worry, worry about what we're doing right now. Make some vulture as well. Two depot now. Two depot now. Actually, start making a third depot so you don't get restuck again. Yeah, do like a two point five depot. No unit, unit, tank, 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 priority, tank priority, cancel culture. Yeah. Tank, tank, tank. Now the rest of culture. Alright, now we need to go. Maybe add another factory. I'm gonna keep macroing behind it. I only I only make a factory if you 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 got surplus resources only. Keep pumping units and go. Make sure you're making vultures and tanks. Make unit. Where's that gate of life at? Get all your army together. Start going. Start pushing. Send a couple of SCVs with this army. We're gonna repair and make turrets with this army and when you get to his base. Go, go, go. Keep making units, keep rallying. Yeah, get all the way to his bridge and siege up. Try and take as much ground as you can and no more. No mine up. Carry a make low. Caron booster. Uh, we took too long to push, so we got the carries out. If only this push was a minute or two quicker. That's why Terran is so hard, because if you're a little bit slow... You uh, it'll be fine. Time. I'll just make Goliaths and be okay. <laughs> I would run those tanks to the bottom right of the map, make his carriers chase them for longer, but that's fine too. This is still fine. I want to buy as much time as possible. Alright, so you have to get on top of his carriers in the middle of the map. See if we can catch those two. Let's go ahead. Catch it. Up. Oh, yeah, yeah. No range? No range. It's on its way. Okay. Nice. It's only at range. Get that carrier. Make sure you're making a couple of tanks beyond this as well. Just enough that we can still fight his goons. We don't need lots of tanks, just a few. Mostly Goliath. Geometry here is a little bit iffy, so be careful with the Goliath positioning.
He didn't get that one glut, the carrier. Direct carrier and interceptor. We do not want to be shooting interceptors. Trust oh, me. Yes, I do. I don't have the. Oh, here we go. Your Goliath could literally just walk up the ramp enough to see up it. In those situations, we just want to get on top of his carrier. It's a hard game for you though, either way, so it's like... Gonna be a challenge, no matter what we do. Yeah, it's hard as but This bird is hard to do. It's still possible we can catch the carriers. Problem is, your third's going to be hard to hold. Oh, yeah, it's guaranteed to be hard to hold. I almost would take 9 rather than 12 just because like, it's so easy for him to micro his carriers from his natural to 12. The good news is I have upgrades. Yeah, that helps. Beyond, 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 beyond. Alright, now it's game over. Yeah, it is. What a, what a hacker. Hacker. <laughs> what, what a hacker. I, oh, saw him, I saw him hacking. Watch him. Hang on, we've got to be alright. Who were you playing? Oh, just, um, just random ladder. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just pile on, gateway, gas steals like an asshole. Yeah, carrier, anti-carrier's tough. I, I, I don't know if it's my D-rank no. opinion, but like, I find if you're gonna go long versus it, instead of a, um, like an immediate push to kill him, like, vultures are surprisingly critical to, like, keep his economy in check. Because that's how you eventually can beat carriers, is just, like, uh, ruin his economy over time. Honestly, that that game was just bad all the way around. I let the oh, let sorry, the I just popped die, in at the tank, end. I'm I'm let talking the tank die in general. Carriers, and it's like, oh, I guess I'll just try to macro, and then th that's the that's the situation you saw me in. Oh, okay, yeah, I know, I've been there. <laughs> and then I'm just hitting the F keys, but they just keep taking me back to my main, and I'm thinking to myself, why can't I see my factories? Well, now you get to crush this person, unless it's a Korean, in, the, in which case they're like B rank. <laughs> oh, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely Korean, but you know, <laughs> can't be, can't be scared of these guys. They're, they're D rank for a reason or E rank. Yeah, yeah. It's true. They're, they're just like they're, they're 200, e for 200 plus 200 of a North American player, but. They're E for extra spicy. Actually, really thinking about it, you know, they probably get beat down in the 1500s, like, all the time. In, like, you know, their their region and area. Yeah. So when they play the, the foreigner, it's like, oh, thank God, finally a break. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Or just go, oh, fuck you. Go fuck I'm yourself. Back. Something about my mom and my dog. I forgot to put my uh, chicken things in after my chips started going, so... I've <laughs> slightly mistimed my food a little bit. Uh, oh, this guy. Come on, Zoon. <laughs> well, at least you can, like, snack on the fries. Yeah, the fries need, like, a few more minutes, but, like, the chicken's gonna be, like, at least 15. So I've, like, put them both in together, yeah, and then, like, in a few minutes, I'll take just the fries out, and then, yeah. Yeah, salvageable. It's salvageable. The important part is I've got 400 APM just by doing this one simple repetitive trick. <laughs> Selecting all the yeah. SCVs. Sounds like a news article. How, 
Let's learn how this guy got 400 APM from this one simple trick. <laughs> it's like an ad or something, dude. Yeah, the higher number, good. <laughs> All right, this time, this time it's gonna work out better. Okay, it was a better game. Yeah. Yeah, crush this E rank. Earthquake. How annoying would it be if like splash damage, if there was like screen shake and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be super annoying. Like every time a siege tank shoots, the screen shakes yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Or at least nuke. Nuke could do it. Yeah. You you get nuked your entire which one's, screen. Which screen one's funny? Is... Yeah. <laughs> For like thirty seconds. Sorry, communication. The guy are playing or the yeah. other guy. Get over you here. Can't issue commands to your units Guns anymore. Fighting. <laughs> wow. He just left. He didn't want this. He didn't want none of this. He's also close by. He saw you shaking that SCV and he was just intimidated. He shook my ass at him. He just like. <laughs> too thick for yeah. me. I got a bigger, redder ass than you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pick up some Terran tricks here. <sighs> Going from CPL to... NSL is confusing because I like don't know who's on what team anymore. Got him. <laughs> Just humor. Oh, I think yeah, he's pretty funny guys. Like hanging out with these sorts of people. Oh hell yeah! That, you know what that means? Are the boys? Oh no! Boys we're not are back boys. in town. We're gonna do the FD. Boys are back in town. Boys uh, we're doing the FD. Town. <laughs> snap, 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 snap. Nailed it. Look at these brave marines. Just chilling. Waiting to intercept. To, yeah, I need to pull the boys more often. Yeah. No, we're not pulling the boys. We're gonna we're gonna FD this. We'll make this work. Actually this is this is good. I need to learn this build it. Don't learn it this way, okay? This got okay. all fucked up. Yeah, I'm looking at the lack of SEVs. I don't know if that's intentional. For the moment it was, because I wanted the tank more than I wanted an SCV. We queued up a vulture afterwards. Like, you know. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Next time, don't queue up the vulture and you got more minerals for an SCV. We're going in, boys. Oh, he's going in hot. He's going in hot. We're going hard in the paint. Well, at least the Protoss isn't there to uh, check on you. Mm -hmm. Hey, leave but me alone. Maybe he'll have a DT I'm and just kill you. I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Well, that zealot is I'm dead. I'm walking here. That almost turned into I'm walking on sunshine, didn't it? We're walking on sunshine. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he had like the first three or four notes down. Get out of here. Get out of here. He's pulling the boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's not going to let me do this. You just kill the probes. Or, I don't know. You know what? That's good enough for me. I can still, I can still cancel as that. As he goes, as he goes back, in. <laughs> this is good enough for me. <laughs> no! What are you doing in this tank? 
<laughs> got death wish, man. Oh, by time, no, run, oh, no. no. Sacrifice the mines. vulture. Select mines. God. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Dragoons move faster than tank, Joe. They do. Yeah, I never goons noticed. are yeah. faster. Yeah. Yeah, goons are faster yeah. by a little bit. Goons are real fast, man. They why but don't get me so wrong, he has, to, he has to kind of micro it to catch the tank, but still, you don't want to risk it. You know, I used to have SCVs. Yeah, I mean, they'll chase down an SCV over time, unless, like, it can abuse terrain and vision. I guess I can get this. And right, I can get this. Sick. What is it? Alright, three factory... Goodness. You know what I think is uh, this uh, E Protoss ain't too bad. Right, why did I build that there? Oh, those are all my SCVs are going. Oh man, I'm like, where do they all go? What are you doing? That's the worst. Broken rally, man. That's okay, that's okay. The rally is TVs. Man, it's like an instant gr instant move upward. I'm thinking ahead. No problem. As you should. Oh, oh, is that free? Is this free? No. He already knew that you were aware of it. He knew that you knew that he knew. Newception. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that mine was almost beautiful. Oh, okay. I knew this nice was little happening. Hint. Yeah, nice little hint there. Okay, so it's just a greed. It's a greed protoss. Greed toss. No, that's okay. I'll just I'll just walk stuff across. Yeah. You can get pretty far as a greed toss. That to be fair. I definitely need to get better at catching it. That and carriers. Gotta scan. What he doesn't know is that I'm building turrets. <laughs> and a, another <laughs> barracks. Wait, you don't need another eBay, right? But I do need supply depots. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I think that's the... That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. He's been uh, growing his GDP. Well, I've been just growing. And you're, yeah, you've you've had anti-growth policies over here. No one can open a new factory. Don't under, worry. Under your Don't regime. Worry. Don't worry. <laughs> This is all, this is all part of the plan. I think it's time to invest in some science, yeah. You see that? That's four free deep, four pylons. I am all about pylons over here. Get, get out of here. Hell, man, I think I'll just take this base. 
What's X? He's probably thinking about counter. I really want this base now. I will do anything for it. It's gonna get harder and harder as time goes by. That's okay. At least, at least we know where we're going. I just send a couple of volts ahead just to scout the path. Yeah. I'll be funny if I can pull them back. Sorry, I'm just uh, saying the most obvious things because they're the ones that I try to repeat to myself. Where's his army, though? I didn't realize you had done Dead. that much damage to him. Oh, someone actually playing? Let's I did a lot of emotional damage. Yeah. Does uh, that count? I don't want to play t TVT. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is just raw. They made carriers. Uh -huh. oh, thank goodness uh -huh. I made so many. You know what? Like... We're going to do. I felt like something was missing. I, I, yeah. Obviously, I had no fucking clue it was carriers, but... <laughs> That's good enough for me. Let's go home. Yeah, and put put down a CC at the bottom left corner. He'll never expect me to be doing this stuff. He probably doesn't even well, know I have no, that I just think, I just think, like, versus carrier, it's actually a good move. I, I don't know if you agree, but... Stretching out the full use of the map versus carrier is helpful. Because now you are the one with the mobility advantage. So it's flipped. You know what I need? I need one of these eBay things. How did you lose your eBay? Or not eBay. Uh, academies. Oh. I think you put down... In eBay? Or maybe I'm higher and drunker. I don't know. Oh, he's already taking bottom left. Jeez. That's okay. I took the important base. And now I've got a huge force coming out this way. And I'm just yeah, and your pumping arm out the line. Alright, guys. How my food? How are, we, how are we getting on this game? We're doing good. Looking pretty solid. Nice, nice. I even have a secret base, man. This guy don't realize. <laughs> That's a secret base, I man. I don't think it's. I don't think it's secret. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, how secret oh, that dude, base is. It? Oh, looks like Autoturtle wants to get in for some broke kills, yeah. but there's a lot of defenses. Carriers are also in quick succession going to be shutting down any more further attempts at harassing that base at the three o'clock. Can Autoturtle stabilize and? Keep this base under wraps, so to speak, or will these carriers soon discover that they can find a way Baron of dealing with it? has a good standing it. army, but uh, I'm a little worried about their economic engine behind it. Hmm. What are you talking this, about? I've got a perfect base right here. into a long... Well, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> well, tell me, Fuzzy, do you think this Terran player possesses the mechanical prowess required to be able to dispatch with this uh, prowess player, or do you think he's going to be his The mechanical prowess is there. I'm sure it's it's far better than mine. I think TVP in these situations is much more about decision making mm. and reading the game as a, like a as a whole. I, like, there's nothing behind this yet. Like, I don't think he has gateways at the bottom left. Right. I, I'd be more concerned about like making sure you have a third because it's 15 minutes. If, he, if usually... he's got nothing behind this, maybe like a cloaked wraith would have been an interesting choice. Huh? 
Yeah, just something because the Protoss has been greedy the whole time, so they've been focusing on their economy. And they're not, like, starving right now. Well, having that third gas shot down is a little bit costly for us, although we have got quite a lot of bank, so even just securing a mineral only right now would be good for us. Uh, ideally, though, we're going to be wanting to take some uh, gas expansions to make sure we can still keep churning out these Goliaths and Wraiths to deal with a huge high carrier count. It's starting to get really scary here, Fuzzy. A little bit worried for our boy. Oh, I'll be just yeah. fine. It, it's on the... It's in the balance right now, I think. Hey, I need that. Get out of here. I swear to God. I swear to God if you take that base. I guess I'll just pull these guys back. Rem remember my anti-carrier advice, Vulture Harass. And mine's surprisingly good against carrier. Although you're going Wraith too, so that... Alright, that's a little different. Boy, I can't wait for him to come up and try and take me out. <laughs> just make sure you scan and kill those observers with your ship. Yeah. So your race can go to town. I wonder if there is something in my base. And you gotta go no, to home, home Depot. No, no. I meant when you engage him, make sure you snipe his observers for your race. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which reminds me, you gotta do that. You need to be that. such cloak, right? Yeah, I got your cloak. Okay, cool. Who needs cloak? <laughs> Fight him straight up with right, Whatever. Race. Well, Harry Potter needed a cloak. He'd be pretty boned about it. Well, that was a very specific, special kind of cloak, granted. Yeah. So is this. He had other things, too. This is also a cloak of invisibility. <laughs> Do you hear What's that out of the tail? You are basically Harry Potter. Yep, I heard that. And that's about right. So now I want you to be a wizard cast a spell on this guy yeah because what's your what's your game plan here you know i was thinking about getting one of these what's your win condition overly expanding my goal is to like out expand this guy all right then we're a little late are we <laughs> we'll be just fine oh well, yeah an 18 minute third base if your goal is to out expand him to <laughs> The Wait, my... side of things. Shit. You almost had me convinced. He was like, "I am, I am D rank. Maybe he's right." But... Buzzy, buzzy. Oh, we'll be just fine. Trust me. We'll be just fine. We're not fine. We need to kill <laughs> the observers. Fine. Kill the observers. I mean, if he has observers. no observers, then you might might yet win this. Chase, chase. Right click a head shoot. Yep. Right click a head shoot. Yeah. And be ready to run away from that cannon. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't ever say you're welcome. Don't worry, we're still expanding. Mm -mm -mm. That was a nice Mine. spot for him to expand. Wow. Mine's on the map. Mine's on the map. And continue to kill Observer. Synergy. I actually just need to freaking get my tanks over here and start sieging this down. A little bit, but also, like, you're in this corner. You're being a little bit like Artie, staying in the corner with zero map vision. I mean, except for the bottom left, that's good, but... But, like, you can spread out onto the map when he's carrier. You just have two... your balls are just too big, I guess. That's the problem. That's probably it right there. I think he only bit, built cannons there just so he can siege up. Yeah. 
Oh, dude, I got more rates. Awesome. And then it's there to slow you down. Cannons at every other base. To be honest, though, we should um, have been expanded more aggressively behind this. Yeah, in trouble of uh, even though like your army is. Because like, oh, think of oh, it this way: you, right now, you're not you're not actually expanding; you're just stagnating because you're replacing the bases you're, you've lost. So you're going to maintain oh, yeah. a similar economy, right? So you yeah. just replace. And you probably get like two hundred. As a Terran, we need to keep growing if we can. Yeah. Look at nine. Wow, man, if I only had listened to you and put mines on the map. Mm hmm. Mines are good, man. Well, at least he's just hanging out there. Yeah, a lot of time. <laughs> He's got a great server. Kill the observer. Alright, GG. <laughs> GG. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> no, no, you were fine. You had that. That was good. Yeah, that was a nice confidence booster because I lose to E Protosses all the time. Don't worry, guys. I'm here Remember for I your told entertainment. I'm sorry, Pen and Sophie. You can hold Nickel, give it up while you're just going to screw it. out of range. Mmm. Yeah, Ace says something that I was thinking something similar as well, like cannons are OP and they can hold mech all game long while he goes carriers because even though you're outranging the cannons with the tanks, you're still like having to siege on siege and mess around. It's really APM intensive, so yeah, it's, it's really good slow. at slowing you down. Yeah. You know what? I just, I just blame him for going 12 next. That's it. And then I don't know what happened to my FD. My FD turned into whoops. I I need more. I need more uh, supply. He was playing some some refugee style of of Protoss. Well, I think well, it was almost more like he shut down your FD. Well, like how many oh, probes, kills well, did you actually you, get? You but understand when he's going carriers, he doesn't care. Like he can expand like a madman. He can take yeah. Island, he can take bases all over the map, like uh, ninja bases. In fact, it's like up to you to to deny them. Yeah. Okay, okay, this when is the uh, gas deal map. And and just, just so you understand the like general idea of strategy, when you're against carriers, you want to be aggressively <laughs> knocking out his expansions of split pushes, whereas when you when he's not, when he's like playing more gateway man, you only obviously want to focus on one rally yeah. point at a time and then killing the expansions. Oh, you have one or to two keep your each. army a lot more compact versus the traditional, or mm -hmm. else you'll die, but versus carrier, you can spread out and abuse... That the carriers yeah. need to can only be in one place at a time. So imagine yeah, you send gotta, like four they gotta tanks. Stay together. So imagine yeah. you send like a few tanks to each of his bases, Hello. and those carriers are like struggling to clear them up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I um, so I just uh, remember when you wanted to push out with your FD push, like with the rings and the one tank. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, so that that was actually okay to do. But then, like, you didn't have to make more rings. You could actually sit with those rings and kind of, like, contain them outside of his net and, like, just go siege mode and, like, put pressure on him that way with a bunker. Like, outside the range of his cannon, you know? Would I would I have enough time to do that um, with, uh... I'm, oh, wait, you, I'm sorry. You had mines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah, I meant yeah, to say was... Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got mixed up. What I meant to say was you had mines... But, like, you don't have to make extra marines. You could just sit with, like, four or five marines in one tank with the mines outside his net. And then, yeah, like, get then, back to work. then you could scout the map with that vulture and, like, scout his expansion. And then you could triple expand off that. Because it'll take him a while to get observers, especially if he delayed his tech because he went forge. Mm -hmm. So, like, your build from that point would have been, like, four, ta uh, four marines, one tank into, like, one or two vultures into a command center and then second, second command center. And then since you got that supply at like the 26, 26, whatever, you, you wouldn't get supply block because your second command center will be up by that time, you know, you need a supply depot. So then you use that money for like a second factory or like an academy, whatever, you know, it's mm -hmm. all to you from that point. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. I, 
I couldn't really say anything because I was just watching from Zoom stream, but yeah, that's actually a one way to follow up from where you was at that point in the game. All right, I'm gonna go back watching. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for dropping by us. Appreciate appreciate the feedback. All right. <laughs> I'll play one after this if you, uh, unless you want to keep laddering. Oh yeah, I can do that. As long as it's not uh, TVT. <laughs> I just need to smoke another bowl here. I need to do that. Okay, so he's going for the, he's doing the the man lot build. One gate, two Come get gate. some. Come get some. Careful, don't have a step. I started just building a bunker and then my main, if it's two gate, and just be like, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I can, I can do the micro. Ouch. <laughs> he says as he loses the brain. <laughs> Isn't this fine? <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. I love just, just thinking of that Marine. comic every time. Yeah. I can imagine your house being on fire. You just being like, "Yeah, it's okay. We got this. Everything's this is fine. okay. Okay, okay." <laughs> you see, you see, he's just expanding and he's just doing some double zealot shit. Right away, right away, right away, right away. Fuck. <laughs> Back to safety. See, this is the perfect spot. He can't attack me here. He can still reach that first marine. You know what? I didn't need that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was stupid. Bad marine. You're a good guy. I appreciate you. Get out of here! I told you, perfect micro. I'm gonna refresh his stream. Oh, you even got a tank too. Hell yeah. Hey, um, ah, oh, I think you should stream in uh, 30 FPS instead of 60. Uh, I have it set it to 60. Well, that's what I mean. I think you should stream it in 30 because I think you have some bandwidth issues. Am I losing? Okay, hold on. Uh... It's just a bit like, uh, yeah, pixelated and low resolution sometimes. Yeah, that's better. We'll still have some issues, but this seems a lot better already. I heard something go bink. I think you shot your own marine or something. I don't know what happened there. Like, I, I had something shoot as well. Like, I, I heard the sound of death. <laughs> well, you never name your marines because you grow too attached to them. But you guys don't name your units. Yeah. Oh wow, way to, way to find the one SCB that's hurt. Can I hockey my command center? There we go. Let's go find that third base. That pesky Man, I guess third I should base. make a bunker. And re rally that. Hey, hey, what's this guy right. doing? You and me need to talk about your tank placement. Like, so you, you have a general idea of it, but sometimes I see your tanks like way too close to the front. He just hasn't learned the 
so this... pain of being Terran. Yeah, so this tank is slightly too far back. This other tank yeah. you just set up is about perfect. It's it's, it's actually like one yeah, of the better spots. Yeah, and this is great for us here. Yeah, especially because of yeah. Get tickled. So this other tank you placed, the one next to the egg, that one's almost perfectly placed compared to the other tank. The other tank's a little bit too far back, but that's, that's too far good, forward. Yeah. Uh, that's okay, but it's a little bit too far forward. Because you don't want him to be able to just like walk up to the wall and double volley the tank down. Is the point. Yeah. It's not bad though, because it looks pretty even with uh, the first tank. So. It, yes, it is flush. With... Okay, but well, that's definitely not where you want to put your tank. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I do this. <laughs> no, I don't think you're. On... <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst though. In in this. Yeah, 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 no, it's not like it's not like it's the end of the world. I just wanted him to understand like the the concept of it in general. It's a good habit to get into. Yeah. He's... Oh, he did take a third. There it is. That's good. Good for him. What's what's so important? Okay, I was like, well, what's this SCP doing? Doing what it needs to do. <laughs> it's commanding a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> That's fine. Uh... <laughs> so you did, you, to be fair, you did walk that SCP directly past his face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We'll make it work. <laughs> Those are the worst games where they slip a worker like right by your base and you don't like you either forget about it or don't notice it and then it does something like that to you. That's that's the yeah, that, that's the worst it's like, feeling. Oh I had the opportunity to, Yeah, uh... That's the worst feeling. Yeah, I mean I try to keep an eye on the minimap all the time, but yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to do it all the time. He, I mean, I should do it more as well. Like, I, I want to train myself to like flick my eyes to the mini map, like as like a part of my routine. But every few seconds, my eyes glance to the mini map. It's like a routine check. Yeah, I do that with, or I try to do it with the map and the resources. I know I don't shouldn't have to as much with the resources, but I'm like constantly checking my uh, my dials. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm turn rate eight. <laughs> oh, that's right. Can sometimes help turn. I feel like that's the only reason. Like I'm still somewhat decent with low APM. Is it's... what's that? Like I'm not clicking as much, but I'm paying attention. Yeah. At least when I'm not really fucking drunk. <laughs> well, I mean, look at someone like Quark. He's like living proof that as long as yeah. you're being precise with your clicks and your everything you're doing has a purpose, and you know you can think your decision tree through quite clearly, it's, it doesn't really matter if you have low APM, right? It's about the precision and decision making. Yeah, like you can get a lot done with 150 APM. Yeah, like don't get me wrong, you're not going to win ASL. But, oh no, yeah. But you can but still get a really high I... level with just that alone, right? Like, yeah. Same with other facets of the game, like you can get to a fairly high rank with just being really good at micro. Obviously, you, you hit a yeah. wall eventually where it's like, well, you either look, be really good at these other things too, or you'll just get owned by the best. Yeah, players. but I could imagine someone getting S rank, like just circling rushing or look at that or just, or at just that mute a micro or something yeah oh yeah 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 Yeah, the same concept like yeah for sure like i reckon That's i could i could grind out games happening. and achieve my way to a rank slash s rank eventually you know what i mean yeah it would make me an s rank player, and it's not so bad i mean it's not like you can't then expand your game from there but like uh, most people don't i get you know do you know what's interesting is that there's a kind of like 
different way of thinking between the sort of like Western and Asian culture, especially as it relates to StarCraft with Koreans, yeah. because they tend to want to focus on their strengths and not work on their weaknesses. Whereas in the Western world, we tend to want to work on our weaknesses, right? Yeah, it's it's interesting that two sides of the same coin. So like, yeah, so like say take someone like me who's like good at micro. If, if I was in Korea, they would be like, oh, you should just learn 50 different cheese builds and be a really yeah. good cheese player. You know what I mean? And like, Do what be... you're good at. Whereas over here, it'd be like, no, 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 you got to work on your macro and you got to like do all the other things. Like, Yeah, and they're both right and they're both wrong. You know? Yeah. It also comes down to individuals like people learn differently people play differently people, mm -hmm. yeah so the one size fit, fit all, all right now that i've advice. sacrificed all my vultures it's time to go back yeah that's that the... being said some uh <laughs> some one size fits all advice would be don't throw your vultures away for for nothing but yeah and just so you know um just so you you, you understand your position like it's actually not good for us. If you kill like 12 probes and then lose those vultures, it's actually not good for us because we'd, we'd be vulnerable to a counterattack. We fled some units and he, he doesn't mind us losing a few probes right yeah. now. Yeah, it's different if it's like two vultures or something. We have to be careful about how many vultures we're bleeding because... Yeah, yeah. you hit a point where you lose too many vultures and suddenly now you're vulnerable. Because tanks on their own are pretty weak. Mm -hmm. Or fragile, I should say. So. And if you are going to lose vultures, especially make sure you use up their mines out on the map first. So that when you do lose them, they've got no mines going to waste. Yeah, mines are fucking awesome. Favorite unit. <laughs> the 14 minute 4 tank push with a proxy factory in the top left corner of the map oh, he's build. making it work <laughs> let's it go work. dude <laughs> I didn't need that didn't need Just that anyway straight here. <laughs> yeah. right you are you going to try and reinforce this position or counter attack the other side yeah no hit, hit yeah. two fronts at once with your tiny army <laughs> <laughs> go tiny army Oh. Oh. The other shoe is dropping here. Here comes oh. the shells of doom. It's okay, build 10 meters. Oh. Gen uh, uh, Goliath. That's it, you pulled so, an army oh, over to the yeah. left. It's yeah, all part well, of the plan. Hey, so I just finished um, like General Patton. eating, and I gotta do KCM. <laughs> you don't, you don't KCM understand, man. Soon, but... fucked. After the so KCM right costs, uh, oh, sweet. I Free vultures. could probably do <laughs> yeah, a couple right. of practice games. Oh. We just finished eating, letting our food go down. And then we'll be doing some casting. Oh, if it wasn't I'm not sure how many games shuttles, we will do. Actually have cleared this. I imagine we'll do at least a couple. Uh, never mind. Probably between. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, I guess at least one or two hours of casting. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how we feel. And then we'll do the rest now tomorrow for the casting. <laughs> yeah. To finish up the. Now KCM you scared series. him away. You and could, yeah. That was it right there. That was all I needed. Should have enough time to play quite a few. He still has to kill me. <laughs> no, nah, he's too oh, afraid of you. Vultures. Awesome. God damn it! Just let me have this. Build some probes <laughs> at the third. No, what? A, yeah, the games versus minerals are pretty good. What about my games versus Blizz today, Ace? That you saw. All right, you might have to build battle cruisers. Oh, you, I didn't show you the replay for that, did I, Ace? You didn't see the game with the ultras and play. Yeah, I think you're dead. Ace, do you want me to show you the replay? That'd be fine. This guy don't know how to use work against mines. He's over here. He's over here trying to kill a factory. You really think he's after my third? Although I really should uh do that. I mean, you'd be fine if your supply was a little higher. 
Uh, I thought you said you didn't see like the ultras and the plague and stuff. But I feel like we're dangerously close to a hundred. This guy don't know how to mark it versus uh, mines. Yeah. Oh, what rank is that? I didn't even know. It might be like. It's like fourteen hundred. Okay, all right. So he's not a total. Uh, well, let me show you the replay quick. Where am I gonna get Weezy ass? He's even going Reaver Tech. Does this feel like a first scan? <laughs> Yours is too good, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just show you real quick. You know what? I'll just mine up this spot. Yeah. Every time I come back, I'll make another one. Because I haven't got two more. Uh, wait, where is it? It'd be. Ah, oh, dude, that's a base for my SCVs to transfer to. Oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Shuttle man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to get on brutal, my this guy. This is not like the time or place for Shuttle Man, but he's he's doing it. <laughs> I was going to stream it for you. Oh, that wasn't good. You're still okay, I think. So if I say if I forget to send my drone out to make the early fourth, for some reason I'm just going to take a the fourth as a macro economy, but... and then take the fourth with my fifth battery instead. To kind like, of compensate, so I don't have to wait for well the drone now. to go all the way there. Otherwise, I think it's too bad if I'm doing it unoptimized until I can figure out the exact timing I should send the drone. Don't worry, I kept making tanks. So we hide the drone, make the hatchery. Oh, we so know. Uh, the BM. <laughs> so get get out of here. This guy thought he was escaping. This is fine. So yeah, I think I put it like that, and then we put the fifth patch up there. This is turn rate eight. Maybe this is helpful for him that. too. I think so. Maybe I'll put the hatchery. I there think it's mostly just hell for him. I think <laughs> <laughs> mostly for him. That's right. <laughs> I think we still take an early fourth though. Yeah, definitely a double expand moment here. Let's do it. And send the apples. I mean, the problem is, uh, one. you're stalling. Can we just turn out. Discord down a little bit? And he's remaxing. Yeah, you got your hear them a little bit quieter now. Yeah, you can. Oh, you're gonna VC. Okay. Come on. Like this is what happens when. I lose games where I don't expand before the like 18 minutes. It seems like it's going all right, and then you just die at at 25, 26 minutes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Uh, you want to go to the other channel real quick, or yeah, this sure. Fine. Right. We'll move channels so we don't disturb them for a sec. He hasn't expanded there yet. He's still only on. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'll stream it on Discord as well, so it's no delay. All right. <clears throat> Let me pause this thing. All right, so you have to pause right now? All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like, ideally, in, like, the perfect scenario, you see how your third is fully saturated right now? Yeah, and main I think, I'm sending, I think I'm sending him yeah. to do now. So, like, let's say if that fourth half ch just spawned right now at the fourth base, mm -hmm. that's when you can start, like, semi-saturating that one while you're saturating your net with the main hatchery and your net hatchery. And then you can use, like, links for your third to, like, defend, you know, cell account. You, you see what I mean? Like, using the larvas, like, efficiently, kind of. In this scenario. 
Wait, when you say third hatchery, make links, which what do you mean? Oh, your third. Like, so let's say in this scenario, see how your third is like fully saturated. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, so your fourth hatchery is at your net, right? Yeah. So it just came up basically right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if that fourth hatchery was that twelve, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then you could use your natural and your main larva to saturate your natural right now since it's like you know kind of not saturated and your main is like basically saturated right because we just took the gas but other than that yeah, so then you can use the larva yeah. at the third hatchery at the mineral only for like links to that way you're using your light like your larvas like perfectly if that makes any sense because, like, let's say if your natural needs drones, you're not going to make units in the natural hatch. Yeah, no, I, then... I completely understand what you're saying. I agree yeah, with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, you want to make drones at the natural and then units at the third, since now it's, like, saturated. It's the same as, like, early game. You want to make the Overlord maybe with one of these lava, because you want to make these lava into drones to saturate exactly. this. Exactly. Because this is yeah, already yeah, saturated. Yeah. Same concept. So, like, well, um, let's say if the natural... I mean... Uh, I do feel like the the gas, like the double gas, is not like kind of ex excessive. I think you yeah, delay I'm the I'm, second gas a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to map it out and figure it out. Because look, when the den pops with, yeah, double, you, with you, uh, little double gas, I barely mm -hmm. have enough to make hydro range. Uh, sorry, hydro and speed and some hydro. So it's like quite tight with even two gas to make sure I can get the hydro out to deal with the Corsair. Yeah, but I, I guess I could delay the um, hydro speed a little bit, but I don't know. All right. So like, um, so that's the well, one of the reasons why I wanted, like, I would liked my fourth hatchery at the nether base. That way, you could get your like larvas, you know, like your drone saturation perfectly. There's no like gaps in between. There's no oversaturation with the hatcheries, basically. So yeah. like as soon as drone pops at one of those four hatcheries, it's going to like the most optimized mineral possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I mean that's kind of one pointer when it comes to the hatchery stuff. Oi! Hello, hey, who's man. this? <clears throat> uh, saying hey, what's up? We're just watching the replay of this. Yeah, I just got done eating. Guess our boxes says and then caught them down here. I know he's got a DT out. Like once you kill those Sarahs, yeah, and immediately move Overlord to route 12. <laughs> I kind of like getting the fast lair because having the OV speed kind of allows me to be more active and not worry about DTs and shit. Yeah, like for me, <clears throat> I try to like cut as much corners to get the four bases, like so I can't afford it. Sometimes it feels like for me when I play it, you know. Mm. But I don't like double gas as early, so it that's I, I like uh. I put down the hatchery sooner and get the gases later, basically. Great, more fucking problems. What the hell? What's the matter? Corrupt. The internet problem? I don't know. Some bullshit. Did you get a bite to eat? Yeah, that's some food. Good, good. I'm ready to cast whenever you are. Okay, we can start soon. Okay. This kind of looks like that game first Ozzy, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Not Ozzy, I'm sorry. Uh, Wolfix. Remember you had that lurker contain and he broke mm. out two bases. Yeah, this game I decided not to reinforce the contain too much and just power up a bit more. Get tech and just 
try and like make him pay a price to break out and then transition. So like the only difference for me, like if let's say if I was playing with the macro hatcheries at twelve, I would have just placed them at you know the bases. That's just personally, because uh, I don't like having too many macro hatches at too many different spots, because it's hard for me to macro. So like instead of two hatcheries at 12, I'll put like one hatchery at the uh, top left fixed base, and I'll put like one hatchery at like my natural, on top of like my natural hatchery or something. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, for me personally, because that just makes it easier to macro. And, I, and then I get one, one base ahead. Which I would probably use just for like drones. Okay. That way, uh, even like you could still go into the late game just by having that base, you know? Yeah. Because like having the extra macro hatcher at 12, it's like, okay, you got more, you know, make more units, but it doesn't do anything as far as like late game goes. You know, it's not like helping you secure like a better position in your game, it's just making units for you. You know? Mm -hmm. So I probably I would say like just be more aggressive with the expansions. Especially at like this point in the game. It's like when he, when you feel like he, he's just turtling. <laughs> so mm. This is actually like one of the weaknesses I feel with the build when I do it. When they start turtling like this and get like a big ball of units. And like you're like kind of really invested like for me, I feel like I was really invested in just like tier one. And if you do have lurkers, it's just like a few, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like storms kind of, you know, rip shit up. So I guess to counter that, it's just to have more. <laughs> Can't beat that, right? Just just have more, you know? <laughs> I do just have more. Yeah, it's like, I do fuck have it. I here on him. I don't yeah, quite this was really good at, but it's still a good attack. I don't quite clear it up cleanly, but it was a, it was a good attempt. I mean, if you could get a flank on more than one side, I feel like that's already really good. Because it's pretty hard to do that against a like, big ball of, of Protoss. Usually just like one front, like a one massive front, you know? Mm. Yeah. What the hell killed your top left? A DT or something? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. I just realized it died. I'm like, what the hell? So I guess... What was your plan of... Train of thought at this point in the game? Um, just hold Chosen... Expand, defend. get Ultras... Yeah, hold the position. Like, don't let him expand. I was just make like, Ling patrolling down here, for example. Like, just never let him expand again. And every, when, he, when he does a fight, then she try to expand, like force fights and stuff. I was like happy to let him sit on full base while I went like crazy macro and... It's crazy how he still has like a huge supply lead over here. It's funny, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I killed some High Templars there with some Lings, it was nice. He just had Zealots, that's it. <laughs> He literally has like 40 zealots. He really does have like 40 zealots. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is the right. I mean, what else are you gonna throw versus Dragoons? Oh, there's a lot of units so like here it could, could have been scary like let's say if you just killed your army and like killed your top left bases you know it could have been like gg right mm. if he did i'm saying like i'm uh, you know your army could kill him because you have ultras with upgrades and plague so but worst case scenario let's say so maybe uh try to maybe be more aggressive and expanding like all over have like some bases in the bottom left, just the main, so like divert some of his army there maybe. And if it does come up, you could like Nidus, Hydra, I mean not Hydra, Lurker, Defiler, 
since you already have all the tech. And if you take that base, it's GG because you can't split the map from that point on. So you just win in the, you know, with people. Yeah. I think that's probably the best play, like late game wise. Yeah, so uh, expand bottom left. Maybe 9 o'clock. Mineral only, top left. The build was good though, like the opener, because there was no point, like, you know, he could have really killed you or anything. Yeah. That's why I like, I, I, like, I like the build. It's just weak against some builds, maybe if they execute perfectly, but at our level, it's kind of hard, you know? <laughs> mm. not like, it's not like they're multitasking every single thing, you know? I could leave... If I do mass expand, I might have to like leave like a, a few Hydra at each base to deal with like annoying DTs and shit. Yeah. What the hell? What was that? that? What the fuck was that? No, that was a doorbell. Ah. Probably like upstairs people. <laughs> I thought someone jumped in here to troll. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm back. What's up? So, yeah, so just, I guess, expand. Bottom left, like, prioritize that. But obviously, you hold the top left quadrant. Try to get the nine o'clock because if he takes on nine o'clock it's like you know it's going to be really like the game's going to be really hard because he already took three o'clock you know so like when the map is split like for horizontally three and nine are like mm. the most important positions well, since I, I, are, I like, forced, I forced the cancel on three so i slowed it down but yeah eventually he's gonna get that and if i let him get nine as well then it's annoying oh I mean, you did have uh, Defiler, so I guess whatever I'm saying is irrelevant, probably. But Defiler is just, it's hard to use sometimes, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. you can have them and still not be using them, like, the way you should be, because it's just, it's taxing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like, yeah, like, you had Defiler, like, literally, like, 10 seconds away from the base, but, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just hard to use them sometimes. You just forget about them because you're like busy macroing everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm most happy I at least got a few plagues off that game. <laughs> Whenever I try to plague, like, I yeah. I rarely get like anything. If I do, I get like two dragoons and a zealot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck. Like, and that's, and that's, I, I basically researched the whole tech tree to defilers. I almost that feel, consume, do you know what I feel? I, I think that what Zerg should do is maybe even get like drop tech and then just have a defiler and an overlord flying around and you like scout for his army and just drop the defiler out next to the death ball and get like a big massive play. I feel like it would work if the Paras has like low APM. <laughs> yeah. But if he's like constantly moving his army around, like not sitting it, <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's hard to get good plagues. Especially as, like, Dragoons in it. Like, it'll just, you know, shoot down the Overlord real quick. Mm-hmm. The Overlords die so quickly. Like, imagine just, like, four Dragoons. Go- 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 oh, another thing dragoons. you can do is, um, at least put the Overlord on patrol move so that as soon as it takes the first shot, it starts running away for you. So maybe you have enough time to get the Defiler out before it pops. Do you have like, a lot of good games with Defilers with first Protoss? I rarely ever do. Not really. Do. Yeah. <laughs> I rarely ever do. If I had a choice, I'd just get them out right and just go straight into Ultras because these are so hard to use. Like, ZVT is, like, different, you know? It's like one Dark Swarm and, like, you know, 
everything is freaking basically safe. Mm. But then there's protoss, like sellouts, just like, you know, it doesn't even matter sometimes, it feels like. Because you can't group up lurkers anyway, because they'll, they'll storm it. And it's like, how many dark swarms are you going to need to cover up all your spread lurkers, right? So, this is hard for me. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think the fighters are pretty hard to use in general. Which is what makes them balanced as well, though, I guess. They're really, sh yeah. really high potential value, but hard to use. So, yeah, I mean, we just I just need you to work on the build more. So you can go own some Protosses with it. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Um, that sort of way of playing. Need to figure out a few things. Yeah. You're seeked for your NSL, NSL match, right? Mm -hmm. For the NSL match. What about the NSL match? No, oh, you're versing the Protoss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Black Swan, yeah. Yeah, I mean, on certain maps, I feel like it's hard for them to really abuse like the the mass based style. Because mm. like when I first started experimenting with it, like I died a lot, so I tried like doing like that. You know how they used to take the nap back in the day and then take the main. Do you remember that style? Yeah, I mean, I still sometimes do that style myself. When I, when I, especially if I'm playing um, Crazy Zerg. It's a sunken style. But I like that style in general. Because, yeah, if you want to play more like Turtle Zerg style, it's good in TP and ZB too. Yeah, I, I tried that, but it didn't go so well. So I was just like, I'm going to just take closer bases. And just use... It's like, a more technical way of playing, I guess. It's trickier to deal with sometimes. If you make a small mistake, it can be hard to recover because like it's so long to move your units over there and stuff. So if your scouting is bad or something, it can really hurt you. I'm playing the random map. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm gonna beat this at some point. We need to. Yeah, you don't really feel satisfied until you do. No, we're definitely gonna beat it at some point. Like, you have to, like, it just, it, it irked me <laughs> when I couldn't beat it for so long. I think I st stayed up all night trying to beat it. But I think I got lucky with the, the, the lobby I was at. I had the host, the maker of the map, and I had uh, doubles, uh, which is, he's pretty like, good at this map, so. We got so far today. Yeah, we did. That was insane. I was annoyed that my Hydra got bugged out. Like, I had a whole Super Hydra that was, like, bugged out and not, like, in chewing or anything for a while. Yeah, but... that one guy on our team was fucking crushing it as well. Got way ahead of me, and he was just going only marine, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, like, the player that was doing really well went only Hydras. Just, like, literally just only one unit. I think that's the best and... way to go if you can. Oh, Saiyan, um, do you know about the build, uh, the build that I'm talking about with Zoom? Where you... 
build the their base. Yeah, no, no, it's like a basically like a five hatch hydro build, like a five hatch before gas. But then instead of placing your fourth hatch at some macro hatch, you place it at a fourth base. Uh, I've seen Shin do that a lot, but I've never tried it. Uh, I feel like it's a really good. It's not good. I'm not gonna say good because that's just like very opinionated. But it's a strong way to play for like Potentially certain strong, players. So, yeah. yeah. I think one of the values of it is that like the, the Protoss kind of needs to know how to deal with it as well like some Protoss might not be good at dealing with it like, I feel like it's really hard for the Protoss to punish it unless they're playing like perfectly Cause you're gonna have to like be harassing everywhere, like taxing the Zerg, like his uh, like you know harassing him everywhere, breaking up his multitasking, so that way he can't macro properly. Yeah. Yeah. I also feel like that build would make me a better player because it forces you to have to do a lot of multitasking to be good at the start. Like, you have to do lots of macro while messing around. Yeah, it's like, uh... Instead of three bases, you got a fourth base now. <laughs> and now you gotta defend from Zalots too. And, and the Corsairs, it's just like... You know. You go straight up units, you don't even get upgrades early on. You need to listen to me more. Hmm? I talked about it before. Yeah, then you get the 8 units to get the... Yeah, so now I have 8, hyd eight Hydra and I wait 40 Mineral. Or I could sell these Marines or Goons. Hold position, those ones that are like moving everywhere. <laughs> Minerals. 
No. That storm was freaking perfect. Thanks, Paul. Huh? Thank you. I'm getting so fucking unlucky, dude. No, this is insane. I'm going Dragoon Hydra, and I've gotten Marine Glide like five times. Uh, slipped from the damage charge. Uh, okay, are we casting, or are we playing one more? Play one more. I'm still like a bit lethargic from eating.
So should we do like a couple games, few games tonight, and then do the rest tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. We can start earlier tomorrow, so we can be fresh for it. Ooh, my computer is hot. Computer's hot. I'm trying to prop it up, cool it down. I turned it off while I was eating dinner, so it'd cool down. Oh, fuck these bad rolls. Every game. Bang. Hey. Try this. Hey, Ozzy's here. What's up, Liza? Hey, Ozzy. <laughs> so what? Yeah, what? Look who it is. Nothing. Well, well, Just well. Acknowledging your presence. He's gonna play that arms with you. Oh, you wanna... You wanna remake for him? It's too late. To remake for him? Oh, we'll remake. To remake. No, 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 it's, it's okay. No, no, it's we, okay. we literally left the game already. Oh my uh, god. Uh, That's uh, awful. Uh, I actually... 50 times, so it's okay. We don't mind. <laughs> no, 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 so the issue was uh, I actually got on and then you guys started and then Emily asked me to play, so I said yes. Uh, oh, man. Can you tell Emily to wait? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have much time because I actually need to go milk, but I wanted to play a little bit before I left. Okay. Got to milk at night? Twice a day. Part of my life, man. Damn. Production. That's okay, I got a better roll this time. Let's go. Oh, I got a way worse roll. Disappointing. <laughs> Thanks, Arzy. <laughs> Thanks, Arzy. <laughs> We got the unity that he really doesn't like, which is the Goliath. <laughs> ah, it's so bad. I'm not yeah, gonna upgrade it. Nah, I can't play. I can't play it, Jim. Oh man, I can't blame it. Goliath AI is freaking retarded. Even if you like shift click like to like line up new targets, they don't even shoot the target. Like, yeah, and they shoot their own targets. AI, like that's why carriers are so OP because. I'm <laughs> so fucking shit. They have like no good way to freaking counter uh, carriers.
No. No. Not today, not today, not today. Come on. Damn it, man. Took me so long. I'm trying to micro. No, I messed up. Don't do it, don't do it. No! It took me so long to get the fucking hero, dude. Bro. Can we wow. go again? Okay. Are you watching, Ace? Nathan Diaz. lag as well. Holy shit. So what did you say? I took my head so. I said lag. Oh. Yeah, did you say something about watching? I was wondering if you were still there watching. Yeah, I was. I mean, I went to the wash some dishes real quick. Uh -huh. so, what were you doing? What, target firing? What? what are you... <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious if you were still there or not. <laughs> on YouTube for a bit. Nice. Aren't you gonna cast uh, KCM? Yeah, we're gonna do some KCM in this bit, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do it like the game before this. <laughs> Alright, but <laughs> we want, well, want to go one more, okay? <laughs> you never know, this the next game could always be the game that you complete it, you never know. This could be the run. This could be <laughs> the run.
a decent amount of hydro. Fucking sucking. Oh, red. Blows ass. Hey, it's doing really bad. Forty three kills. Oof. I need to morph, but I can't, so I'm gonna die if I don't keep killing. Yeah, me too. Just keep getting upgrades. Nah. Ah, so stressful. I had the Super Hydra, man. I just couldn't morph it. This fucking red was sucking too much. <laughs> sucking oh. so bad. So bad. He wasn't even like sucking like more than usual. It was uh, as much as usual. It was like way worse than we see some people play. <laughs> We're almost at two hundred. Is at forty? Yeah. Oh shit. Is it is it time or are we doing another one? Do one more. <laughs> They're not that long. They're not that long. To be fair. True. True. All right, let me get, let me hop on. Let me join this one. Let me not join this one. There we go. And then you guys could go cast uh, KCM. We got some assistance. Wait, 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 let me get on. I'm on. There he is. All right. Are you going to stream that uh, casting? Um, uh, it'll be on Shin stream and then yeah, I'll upload it. Post it on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, After I edit it and everything. Um, what do you guys want to do for my content? <laughs> <laughs> if you had anything worth making into a video, Ozzy, I'd be all over it. That was like the best, like subtle diss I've ever heard in my life.
Not enough minerals. Launch detected.
Fuck! Just got the super hydra. Fuck, man. <sighs> Going nuts. Should have sold those gloves sooner. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, let's go cast. <laughs> we'll come back to this later. Oh. I just got a DM from someone saying, enjoying your KCM cast with Saiyan. Appreciate him casting that tawny that he's long needed. And wait, what? Appreciate him casting that tawny. Okay. He apparently, you long needed an expert co caster, even though he's become more knowledgeable. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, a compliment, but also a swipe at the same time. It's a classic YouTube comment. <laughs> but he's he's acknowledged that you've become more knowledgeable, though. So I'm been rubbing off on you. you. You're getting a little bit more super saiyan. <laughs> he's... He's acknowledged my knowledge. Yeah. You know, he's put his scouter on, he's pushed the button, he's checked your power level, he's like, okay, okay. I'm gonna smoke up before we get going. Okay, while you're talking there, I'm just checking the recording and I think it's good. Let me just check one more thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good. I checked our audio. It's all good. Nice, nice. Our lineup is ready. Got paralyzed again, you said, right? Yes. Wait, did he play more than one week or did he only play one week? I thought he only played one. <laughs> you might be right. So the game where he was bottom right and light was top left, or am I thinking this was he? Yeah, yeah, right on um, Dark Origin was it? Hmm. I can't remember. He's played in Caster Muse, Narok, Star League a bit. 
Back in 2010, he played in the OSL. Mm. I wonder if it's going to be another flatline for pros. <laughs> been going that way but it can't stay like that forever you think so right saber the page has been deleted what page uh his wikipedia page that's interesting Well, to be fair, the research I did on him was not through, like, Wikipedia or anything like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the info I got on Sabre before was from talking to people, like minerals and shit. I totally forget. Are you, are you trying to remember details about um, Saber? Is that what you're trying to do? Mm. Okay, no, no, no. so Saber from this is what I this is the information I did digging on. So he won the Courage tournament back in 2006. Uh, he has a very aggressive standard style. Like he's an aggressive player, but he doesn't like do all in aggression like someone like Shine would. Um, He's kind of up and coming in a sense, but he has been on the scene for a very long time, like winning games. Uh, probably, I think he was on Huasin Oz. Yeah. So Huasin Oz won Courage in 2006. Got some notes on him. Name's Li Chang Wu. Uh, I mean, he was first game of the day, paralyzed versus Soul Key. Oh, wait, we should um, go into a private call, by the way. Yes. All right, while you're getting set up, I'm going to grab a drink. Make sure you got some water or tea or some shit, too. All right, this sounds good. Do, 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 do. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither. And you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved.
Oh, right. I'm back, man. Oh. <clears throat> we'll do a couple and see how we feel, and then do the rest tomorrow. <clears throat> Alrighty. Throw up your stream whenever. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Saying NC here, back with Shun for another week of the KCM. We got Paralyze here versus Soul Key for game number one on Vermeer. Let's get it started. All right, I will bring up our lineup for this week because it is pretty interesting. We've got Paralyze here and Saber as well. You're just telling me a bit about Saber. Can you tell it to the audience as well, please, Shun? Yeah, so Saber actually won the Courage Tournament back in 2006, which was basically the tournament you had to win to get a pro gaming license. So he's actually way back from, or, or way, way back in the day. However, he's never really quite been at like the, the higher echelon level, level, so he's been a bit of a B-teamer for Huas in Oz, and uh, he's uh, managed to take games off quite a few pro gamers back in the day, like he's been being taking games off of Killer and uh, Best and all kinds of people from like 2014 and throughout the years, so definitely a very strong player, his Saber. But um, yeah, I'm not sure he's quite on the level of some of these others, but uh, definitely a strong contender. Same, I think, goes for Paralyze. He was in 2010-2011 OSL. Didn't place really high in that, but, you know, a, a strong contender there. Uh, coming back now and getting thrown into the lineup here for KCM. So he's got to be showing something uh, to these other pros that is uh, making them take notice. And getting himself an invite here means that he's been doing well. We'll see if he's able to bring some good games here today against Soul Key, who spawned in the top right. Soul Key was uh, my favorite Zerg player for a really long time. Mm, he's a very uh, strong macro Zerg. Um, I used to love watching his games back in the day. Uh, I, I used to like wince in pain every time I saw him losing like uh, drones to vultures, like fantasies vultures in particular. Um, yeah, I used to really like watching Soul Key play as well. So definitely on the same boat with that one, Sam. Yeah, he was a StarCraft 2 player for quite a while as well, but did make the, the transition back to StarCraft 1, which is what I hope a lot of pro players are going to end up doing in the future. And we'll get uh, some more of those StarCraft 2 pros winning big tournaments and, and doing well and you know, gaining fans here in the Brood War community. Yeah, I'd love to see it. It looks like we're going to see a gateway expand build coming out of Paralyze against the uh, very safe and tried and true Overpool from Sulky. Going to try and delay that Zealot just a little bit, but didn't want to stick around for too long to uh, take any unnecessary damage. Going to be confirming that there's no uh, Forge or Nexus being thrown down just yet, so he knows it's probably going to be a Nexus follow-up behind this gateway. Needs to make sure he doesn't lose... Uh... Oh, my bad, sorry. He did um, uh, Leaven Hatch, not uh, Overpool. So uh, he is actually going to have to be careful and not lose uh, any of these drones early on against this Zealot, because losing just a single drone will put him at an economic disadvantage. Would have been better off going for Overpool or something if he does lose a drone, so he wants to be careful not to lose out on too much mining time or drone HP. He shouldn't end up losing a drone here with the six links popping out right as the Zealot arrives. Just going to make sure that he can get some links behind this uh, these mineral patches here, just to make sure that uh, we don't get optimal Ooh. surface area for Paralyze. Actually, pretty darn good hold so far. And Paralyze doing his best to try and jump on top 
of those links with the probe try to interrupt their attacks but Sulky just powers right through that zealot and now he's on the aggressive here and you can actually deal some significant damage on the side of paralyzed if he's not careful he's waiting for that third zealot to pop out two are in the wall they have to stay there and that will allow Sulky to deal a little damage to this gateway maybe pick that off uh, if his control is good enough maybe run by into the main otherwise yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see if Sulky wants to commit Lings to this. Um, he is starting to mine his gas already. Um, I don't think he necessarily will commit to this. I think he's just going to put a little bit of pressure on at the front, maybe uh, just harass, paralyze a little bit, and will meanwhile be teching, it seems. Yes, going to be throwing down that lair straight away. I think this is a good choice from Sulky. Definitely suits his play style more as well, rather than trying to commit to something he doesn't necessarily want to have to do. Sure, and he's going to prioritize tracking down this probe and getting rid of it as quickly as possible he wants to hide his tech path here make sure that you know keeping paralyzed in the dark a little bit making sure that he's not a hundred percent certain as to where he is and what he needs to defend a few zealots heading out on the map now sulky needs to produce another round of lings here in a moment to uh, pick these off but it looks like paralyzed just going to park here out of range of those overlords and then send everything back home as soon as he feels that Sol Key has built those links. Yeah, this is a very good technique. You see uh, Terran players do the exact same thing, kind of just like park their marines halfway and then turn back around and just to kind of try and force an overreaction out of the Zerg, like waste a few lava, waste a few minerals on something you don't quite want and try and cripple the economy at least a little bit. And a Zealot on the third base location might get some damage done, at least going to be forcing those drones off the line and minimizing the mineral efficiency of Sulky and then hiding the Zealot behind. There's a great little spot to hide the Zealot behind now. Only one link can attack the Zealot at a time. Really, really cost inefficient to kill that Zealot. Yeah, a cost inefficient to kill that, but in a way, you, you kind of do have to get rid of that or perhaps set up a little wall uh, with the with the links to make sure that the Zealot can't get any damage because he will hop out and start to hit any of these drones as soon as action happens on the map. That's the perfect time to go to work on this drone line. It's like Sulky just leaving about four lings in that third base. Hopefully that's enough to deny any further kills here. It's already got two kills on this. That's two of those lings, but he'd love to get a drone right now. That would be premium. Oh, he gets a oh. drone! This is a huge pick off to get a drone at this stage in the game. Any any damage is good damage, and the fact that Sulky still needs to keep these links here and still be on top of checking this uh, intermittently is uh, really annoying for him. Uh, a pro gamer of his level will be able to keep up with the, the mechanics required to do that, but it is really annoying to have to do that while you're trying to macro and making sure everything is on time. So really annoying. And is not going to come out yet again and take another swipe at the drone before pulling back in? Sulky does ideally need to just put these links on a hold position tight concave wall between the mineral and gas to prevent the Zelda from being able to come out and get the hits on this drone like that. But he's also going to pick off the Overlord, so... Oh! And another drone! Okay, this is uh, starting to be a bit of an issue for Sulky. He's already taken a little bit of damage here and has uh, also been losing oh! Overlords. And gets another one! This is crazy play from Paralyze. Really starting to show his caliber in this game thus far. Also, Zelda's starting to be out on the map while he's also denying these Overlords from the, the vision. Oh, Periscourge are going to come in and get no, uh, a Corsair, though, so that's actually... A little bit of a devast devastating blow. Another Periscudge moving into Intercept. Needs to be careful not to lose this Corsair as well. Yeah, that was a really cute little location for the Zealot. You can see that he, you know, he moved out with those early Zealots and then decided, you know, I'm going to send just the one over towards that third base into that Gas Geyser location to get as much damage as I can. Now coming forward with a big group of Zealots here, but... Pretty good Sim City so far, and the Mutas are out. I think targeting down drones probably going to be the play here. He's starting to hit this sunken colony, and it's getting a little bit low, but these cells are starting to dry up. There's only three of them left. Actually, four, excuse me, but they will die very quickly now. Uh, and the one pickoff there on that drone, not really going to even out what's been lost here for Paralyzed. About eight zealots going down... Pretty much for free. Denying some mining time, killing one sunken, killing a few links. But other than that, I think Solky comes out on top on that trade. Yeah, he had basically the bare minimal that he needed to like not take too much damage. And he did a little bit of drone drilling. And as soon as uh, the drones became targeted, he then just evacuated the drones. So did take minimal damage there. And 
being able to get away with just getting one Sunken as well is it really cost efficient for him to do that. So right now Sulky's looking really good going into six hatch Hydra production soon and has a, a nice little fleet of Scourge to uh, counteract the uh, Corsair fleet once they try to engage. Looks like one more drone going to go down here, but the Zealots will all be picked off. We have quite a few Corsairs out here, so it is a threat right now. Do we have plus one armor? Not yet for Sulky, but that is uh, a possible play from him getting that plus one armor really helps scourge to connect uh, when they're in those large groups still producing corsair here so paralyze taking the air mm -hmm. threat very very seriously oh, might yeah. want to combo and attack here with some dt's zealots and the corsair try to get damage on that third oh definitely and there's always that chance of the ogres are coming out from sulky at a moment's notice so it does need to respect that and get up to a fairly respectable corsair count with upgrades because it looks like uh, sulky now wants to pull the trigger as well and start zoning out these corsairs with the scourge while the muters dive into the main base and maybe even snipe up a high templar or two he is died at get his high templar and does get it for his trouble just enough to, um meters to snipe that high templar needing nine to get the one shot uh, scourge zoning out the corsair in the natural or the muters go to town in the main base, swiping up some cannon kills and some probes for their efforts. And now Sulky looking like he's ready to pounce on these Corsairs if they try to rescue this main base. And so far, continuously losing more and more probes is uh, paralyzed. And Sulky starting to run away with this game just a little bit, taking a nice little advantage here. And maybe even just going to retreat and not really lose anything for his trouble. No opportunity for a counterattack here from Paralyze. He's going to bring up a High Templar to the main. So... If those mutas want to try and dive in again before the cannons are remade, he sh could get a really decent uh, storm on this. He's actually got two Templar here, so he's got to get a good storm. Where is it? Not yet. Going to hold off on that for now. There we go. Gets a great storm there. About five Scourge go down on that and quite a bit of damage on the mutas as well. And it looks like Soul Key just going to back away for now, taking the damage he's already got. He's going to transition this into a Hydralis game from here. Yeah, that was a potentially a devastating storm. Did a lot of uh, damage to those mutas and cleaned up quite a few of the Scourge as well. So Sulky going to want to respect that. Tries to uh, get uh, or engage on these Corsairs, but most of them gunning down all of those Scourge. So only a few Corsairs went down there and still a healthy count of eight out on the map. Sulky now in a little bit of trouble. There's a lot of air control here for Paralyzed now. So going to have to be building up his Overlord fleet in the safety net of his hydras and kind of be a bit more passive for now while these viewers will also be a little bit more timid out on the map because if they do get caught by the corsairs he's going to lose all of those muter investment and the carapace upgrade uh, all at once and kind of be in a, a nightmare for situation where his hydras not only have to fight the infantry of the protoss but also have to defend the overlords from the air now there is an opportunity here if paralyzed decides to go across the map with his army uh, that the mutas could dive in and try to kill off this third base. It's just got two cannons here. Starting to be built up, but actually Soul Key going to come right over to this side. He wants to pick off a Templar or two and then use the Hydras to deny the third base. He doesn't have Overlord speed, though, and the single DT is doing a great job. Nice snipes here on the Templar, though. Killing off the majority of them. Looks like one storm goes down, but this is way too many Hydras to break. Uh... Actually, he's just going to back away. What? I thought he was going to kill that Nexus for sure. Uh, yeah, I guess he doesn't want to overstay as welcome. If he if he stays to kill the Nexus, he can get boxed in by the Zealots, and it might not be the, 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 the best situation for him, and he needs to maintain his uh, army count right now. He doesn't want to risk bleeding any units. Uh, maybe he feels that even if the third base is alive right now, it doesn't actually matter. He's actually in a pretty good position. He's a very high supply count. Uh, just trailing behind Paralyze right now. There is a big count of Zealots outside the natural third of Sulky. Sulky is going to retreat to his Sim City while the Corsairs are gunning down all of the Overlords. So if he kills just a few more, it's going to start supply blocking Sulky while he gets on top of this army. Meanwhile, Sulky on the nine o'clock position going to be pushing in a few Hydras to kill that Nexus while the rest go to the natural to try and break the Protoss there and also uh, turtling up against these uh, Zealots, forcing them back to retreat to defend. But or did lose quite a few overlords in the meantime. So it's currently supply block. Sulky trying to hammer on the gates and push through here. Uh, there are a few uh, high templars, but desperately waiting for some storm. But it's going to be another eight to ten seconds before the storm comes online. But these hydras will get cleaned up by the zealots flooding in from the east. So Sulky, for his trouble, managed to take out the nine o'clock base, but did lose quite a few of his overlords in the process. So wasn't really producing much units during that time. Yeah, absolutely. Getting 
hella supply block there. Barely able to produce anything. He's just going to be popping a ton of overlords out of some of these eggs here. Hydras are now starting to hit the field once again. Paralyzed. His third base has been killed, but he's not out of this game. He's still got uh, some ways in here, but he needs more gates. He needs more probes, and eventually he's going to need that third to come down. Lurkers on the way here. Paralyzed. He sees it. Backing away immediately. He knows it's time for a Dragoon tra transition, but he's got to get something done with this number of Zealots. This is so many Zealots. Oh, God, this attack is not looking the best here. Not with the greatest surface area here. Paralyzed spreading things out, starting to get that surface area, picking off a lot of overlords here. But as the Lurkers burrow and reinforcement Hydras come up, these Zealots are going to start to disappear. And there it is. All those Zealots get pushed back. And Lurkers mm -hmm. are going to come forward. Now it is the prime position here for Soul Key to take a big old contain on Paralyze and uh, set himself up uh, to prevent that third base indefinitely. It's going to be really rough on Paralyze from here. I kind of understand the game plan he had going in there. He wanted to kind of go say a Zealot and try and like uh, use the Zealots while he could before the Lurkers came into effect so the, Lur the Zealots didn't just dry up to the Lurkers in the continuous fights uh, leading on from that. But um, now he's like down in supply and there's a huge lurker contain outside his base. One thing going for Paralyzed right now is that there's this um, Corsair fleet, which is desperately trying to gun down more and more of these overlords. But they oh. are getting all picked off by the Hydras. All but three of those Corsairs are now remaining. And Sulky starting to feel very eager now, pushing forward further and further with these lurker contain um, to try and batter down the wall. Although he's kind of helping out Paralyzed because Paralyzed needs to kill this wall himself anyway just to get out. So a little bit of a cra crazy aggression from Sulky, but mainly just wants to bait out Storms to minimize the potential energy when he does finally try to come out. So meanwhile, now Sulky taking this uh, 3 o'clock bay is going to be setting up for a fairly confident win, I think it's in. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, never a position you want to be in as a Protoss player. The Hydras are going to be running forward here, gunning down Dragoons. He just wants to reduce that count a little bit, just so that he can prevent that critical mass of Dragoons, which will be necessary for taking out these Lurkers. And yeah, Lurkers are gunning down a ton of these Dragoons as they kind of run forward here. It looks like a single gateway was actually on a bad rally there, just running out in the front. Now the Hydra is going to push right on through. GG, GG convincing win there although paralyzed did do a good job with his corsairs he deflected the uh, all in into the main base or the the ogres or gamer play there with a ton of scourge and mutus but you know eventually the transition comes and the hydros play just too strong for paralyzed to handle Wow, really good game one, although I do feel like Paralyzed got really outclassed there. The early game was really strong from Paralyzed, the multitasking, kind of stretching Sulky Thin a little bit, picking off a few of those drones with the Zella at the third. I really like some of those plays from Paralyzed, really showed some really top tier caliber play, but Sulky kind of like, just like beat him with experience. Like once we got to the mid game phase and kind of Sulky threatened that Ogre style uh, and like took the main by, uh, by storm and zoned out the Corsairs, it took a lot of economic damage. Um, forced, um, kind of forced Paralyzed to like really commit to that Ser Zealot style and then countered it very hard with a Lurker switch in the end to really like put the nail in the coffin. So, really well played from Sulky, very textbook stuff. Okay, right on into the next one. Oh, no, no, no. check, check, check recording. Okay, I'll check. Yeah, Sulky definitely outclassed him that game. I mean, Paralyzed was looking strong, but as soon as Sulky got a grip on the game, it was over. Okay, sounds perfect. Go.
still there, buddy? No, I'm still there. All right. It was just two week this message. It's not here, kind of. Toki mm-hmm. didn't even do like any lurker egg micro, like making the Hydra into okay. lurker egg I'm in the Zelot face uh, to bug them out. So. And we're ready. Paralyze has been eliminated. Can't say that I'm surprised. My favorite Zerg player, Soul Key, taking him to task there. I think he was pissed after losing that many drones to a single zealot at his third. That was uh, frustrating for sure, to say the least. I mean, it's it's impressive to watch Paralyze do that against a pro Zerg player, but we've all been in that situation Losing drones to a zealot hidden behind the the mineral patches, and it's never a fun time. Oh, definitely not. Saying one thing that's just really struck me in this game is that Royal's making a depot at his wall, so uh, at his ramp. So I'm curious if he's wanting to go mech or two port wraith, or I'm wondering what he's going to be throwing out here because you don't usually see it this 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 often these days. Yeah, that's uh, that's curious here. We do have um, that wall in coming up. And, you know, Royal, he's very well known for his, his standard Marine Medic play, but he's definitely capable of doing something like a two-port Wraith. It's just mm. not something I would expect out of him, and maybe that's uh, what's going to make it strong here. However, you know, Solo Key is already on the right path to scout this. He's got his... Ooh. Overlord headed in the right direction, command center That's why. on the high ground. I really like this from Royal. It's a really good way of hedging his bets. Um, you can also do this against Protoss as well if you, you want to take a really greedy CC, but you, you don't want to quite just be dead to certain builds. Like This is one way of hedging your bets and going to make it a little bit harder for Sulky to identify exactly what's going on right away because this Overlord will want to park here for at least a little bit, maybe indefinitely once Sulky realizes that this is the position he's in. But he's going to be looking for this command center to be placed down in the natural around about 2.30 to 3 minutes, sometimes as late as 3.40 if it's a factory build. So, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how Royal's going to um, play it out from here and how quickly Sulky can sniff this out. Now, is this a ling tight wall? Because uh, I'm not clear on that. Uh, the command center below the... Supply Depot and the barracks to the left of the to the command center. I, I'm not sure if that is. I feel like there should be a gap between the barracks and the command center there, but uh, I haven't really seen many players try this out, but this is a very fast command center, guys. Just for perspective, we're going to have this command center landing just at three minutes here and uh, start to pump the SCVs really, really fast. And Solki, who's gone for a middle of the road just kind of standard build here standard two hatch is going to mm -hmm. find himself in a hard position with this super super fast economy coming out for royal going to start a bunker right away it's got us play it safe here because his marine count is extremely low yeah and, and Soki even made like the like six serglings so he, he oh he's going to eight okay i think we're going to see a bit of a pressure build uh, at the very least from Soki. either a full-on two hatch all in ling or just a little eight speedling run by into the main to try and uh, do some um, economic damage and frustrate the build order of royal a little bit just to kind of like even things out but he is still making more and more zergling so it might just be a full-on uh ling stab in the natural and try and kill him he does need a good 12 to 14 zerglings to make sure he can get on top of this bunker and kill it if he does want to go for that move and the zerglings are going to start streaming in now but it's a beautiful scv block from royal completely destroying the surface area of the zerglings they're going to get just a couple of scvs for their trouble oh this is amazing play from royal he's so far ahead in this game right now sulky needs to make something happen soon or he's going to be in a little bit of trouble here soon I'm surprised he wanted to run forward with the links uh, so early and before these reinforcements arrived, but it's actually going to work out in his favor here because Royal sent everything back to mining. He didn't have any blocks going. Uh, these links are actually going to make it up here into the main and cause some uh, serious harassment. Here comes more links, actually. He's going to continue with this play. 
trying to uh, kind of end the game here early on. This is not, of course, all in from Sulky, but mm -hmm. uh, he can get a Spire up and start to pump Mutas. He just really needs to get damage done right now. He has to kill SCVs. He's got to delay turrets, and he's got to kill as many Marines as possible. Two Firebats here. Going to be the, the Kryptonite, though. More Lings flooding in. Oh, my God. This is so many Lings in the main. Yeah, uh, Royal really misstepped it. He thought the Ling aggression was over. He was going back to transition into a normal game, but Sulky had other plans, and now going to be clearing up most of these SCVs. I think this might be game. He stopped the engineering bay from being built as well. There will be muters on the way soon. Sulky's doing a great job. He's going to get on top of these other Marines there. There are medics, but they're completely away from the Marines now, so he's going to get some good sur surface area on those Marines to take most of them out. One Marine does manage to survive. There are two medics, so those those medics can start to heal up the SCVs and stabilize this position just a little bit. But there's so many SCVs that have gone down. Sulky's actually ahead in supply right now. He can keep flooding in Lings and causing more and more of a headache for Royal to have to deal with, and, and eventually there'll also be muters following this up. And he, Sulky does try and get on top of the Marines, but it doesn't quite get the surface area. He needs to finish one off before the medic can fully heal it. But also, we were able to pull back the additional Marines as they come out from the barracks. So, so, so far, oh. we're doing a good job of stabilizing the position as best he can. But there are muters on the way, I believe. So, if he doesn't start building turrets soon, Sulky's going to run away with this game. Oh, he's so dead. He clicked, or he tried to click an SCV on the eBay and he missed. Oh, no. SCP just standing there beside the eBay, not producing, and he finally noticed it, but the eBay is so, so late. The turrets are just started here, and the uh, Mutalists are already here, and they're going to start killing off SCVs. They're going to be harassing the Marines here. Wow. Uh, Royal is in so, so much trouble. He can't even mine from the natural right now. He is just about to die right now. He's got to stabilize. Yeah, yeah. So I love I love Sulky's uh, um, Mutus Micro even like taking a swipe at the depot to like um, bounce the shot onto the Marine to finish it off. Uh, beautiful stuff from Sulky getting on top of these Marines, reducing their count already down to about five or six Marines. Uh, Royal only producing two Marines at a time. Things are also going to be able to come in and try and help support the the Mutus Mutus in the main base. Maybe get on top of the turrets while the Marines are distracted. Also denying mining in the natural this entire time. So it is one base Terran against two base Zerg, although there is only two drones mining in the natural. There's not a second guess for Sulky, so he has to do something now. He has to deny every single SCV building a turret that he can. Every single SCV needs to go down right now. He needs to make sure he finishes the game in the next few moments, because if Terran can stabilize and turn this game around, so Sulky really needs to take this uh, seriously and not give any room to breathe to Royal here, because as soon as Royal starts getting more and more turrets down and starts getting his healthier and healthier bio account, Royal can actually turn the game around on Sulky, so Sulky gonna have to do really stellar mutant micro here and make sure he doesn't miss a beat. Yeah, he's waiting for more and more mutas to join this pack as they get up closer and closer to 11. This is gonna become super, super scary. He's already gonna pick off this one supply depot, uh, potentially supply blocking Royal. It's actually close, not quite. Uh, Royal just gonna lift off his command center and float into the main. Probably use that for, for more SCV production because his SCVs have been taken so low. I think if Royal is smart here, just continuous production of turrets and marines is probably gonna be your best bet at this point. He's only got one turret here over the barracks, and that's the most dangerous location. If the Mutas take over that area, it lights out for this Terran player, so he's really gotta be careful not to lose that uh lightly here one marine in the bunker will be picked off coming into the side here gonna try and force the lift he even gets that uh barracks to lift as well so this is a great position for sulky he's denying mining he's denying uh the production here a factory on the way so Royal needs knows he needs something a little bit more than Marine Medic to kind of push this back and actually solidify his position. And now Sulky's actually added on a lot more drones. He's going into a macro game now that that uh, CC has been retreated. Yeah, Sulky did take the opportunity to start transitioning a little bit here, kicking up his production into the next gear. Does have that additional gas and a few more drones to boot. So we'll be able to produce more and more muters as time goes on. Eventually, Royal needs to put these muters on a clock with some tech and eventually go into vessels or Valkyries or something to support this bio. Uh, as it stands now, he probably will not be able to get out on the map for quite some time. Now, just throwing down his starport, we'll be uh, trying to get that online as soon as he can. Tolki just doing whatever he is able to with these 11 muters. Going to be doing some beautiful swipes on these Marines, reducing their count while harassing the CC and chipping away at it, forcing him to lift it off, reposition and causing uh, as much of a headache as he can into Royal's position on the map because uh, Royal hasn't really got the most tenable position. He lost so many SEVs 
and quite currently is under constant harass and we'll, we'll be waiting some time until we eventually do get some kind of uh, air support out from the vessels or Valkyries. So right now Royal needs to make sure he doesn't make a single mistake because as soon as he does make a misstep, um, Selkie's just going to pounce on top of the bio ball and then get on top of the turn production and the game's going to be over. I feel like from here, well, it's going to be tempting to go into a Valkyrie and yeah, there's the armory. So Valkyries will be coming out here shortly. He really wants to get out on the map and put some pressure back onto the Zerg player. And Valkyries are probably the quickest way to get there. Uh, waiting for the uh, Irradiate and Vessels to pop out is probably not going to be possible in this position. Delaying that tech as much as possible here. Sulky throws down his Hydra's Den as well. So his transition is coming. That Lurker upgrade will be on the way already. So... I, I feel like the moment that these Valkyries get out and start to head across the map, we're going to see Lurkers uh, morphing and holding in time here for Soul Key. This is a brilliantly played game after that first initial mess up, that flub in the natural. He's just played it out so, so well. And Royal is uh, having a really hard time keeping up with him here. Chasing these Immutalists around the main base, still getting damage is Soul Key. Yeah, and he's doing a great job of like cycling out the weak muters, replacing them with full HP muters to kind of maximize the value um, and really stress the, the medic energy. And now going to be getting on top of the, the, the turret um, that's on the production as Royal wants to move out. Does also get a swipe off on this Valkyrie and a second swipe. One more swipe and that Valkyrie is dead. So already putting a lot of pressure on the air support from Royal. Going to be repairing that up as Royal as now Sulky sitting on top oh, of the barracks. No, 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 takes out the Valkyrie saying that's huge absolutely massive but look at that lurkers are already being made of royal I don't know how he could possibly come back from this position soul key makes it look so easy the way that he transitions from these uh kind of wild and one-off situations is super super impressive he knows exactly what to do, it seems. And there it is. The lurkers are hatched. And the Valkyrie tech here from Royal is basically mute, moot now at this point. Mm. This is a beautiful game from Sulky because he's trying to guarantee the win as much as possible. He understands that if he pushes too much for the aggression and tries to finish off the Terran now, that actually gives the Terran the best chance of uh, coming back in the game by uh, bleeding off too many units and giving the, the Terran a chance to come out on the map and have some map control and put on some counter pressure of his own. But now, as it stands, he's put on so much pressure with this harassment that now he can just walk up to the natural with Lurkers and start containing the Terran, who has Valkyries, which do not help at all against Lurkers. The scan does go down and the spread from Royal to try and get a surface error on these Lurkers to finish them off, but it doesn't matter because there's too many Lurkers and the Mutas are supporting as well. Gets on top of this Valkyrie, does do enough damage to finish it off. Another Valkyrie coming in, and there are some Scourge to also help finish that off. So it looks like um, Sulky going to be running away with this game as the Lurkers and Muirs start to stream into the natural expansion here. Five medics and no marines. These Lurkers run straight up to the natural and burrow. The, now the ramp is being controlled here. There's almost no way uh, to break this position. And with Lurkers running up into the main now as well, everything that pops out is going to die. We're waiting for the GG now from Royal as this masterfully played uh, ZVT by Soul Key ends with a line of SCVs crushed here in the main base. Another pick off there on another Valkyrie, and GG is GG. finally called. Royal taps out, and Soul Key on a spree here. Two kills. We'll be going on to game number three. Okay, wow, Royal out already, man. That's wild. It's fucking crazy, dude. It, it, what what really blows my mind is that Royal got that complacent and just didn't. All he had to do was like literally keep like one or two SCVs helping body block a little bit, and like it would have been fine. But he just like he assumed the he assumed the phase was over, assumed the transition was coming, and but that was the only way he could lose the game from that position was if. He let a follow-up bling run by happen. So I don't understand why he didn't block with the SUVs. 
Yeah, that was shocking to me, even uh, from Sulky, like running in with the first group of lings and not yeah. waiting for the reinforcement. It was almost. Um, do you know what's weird about it? It was, it was almost like I'm not saying he did it intentionally, but it was almost like it mind gamed Royal because it was like it was such a failed ling aggression that Royal was like, okay, there's no way he's going to try and follow that up with more lings. You know what I mean? Right. It almost right. like mind gamed him a bit, even though it was unintentional. It was really bizarre from both sides, right? In that regard. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Um, this must be shuttle. Yeah, shuttle is next. Ready to keep going? Uh, can let me take a smoke break. But yes. Okay. What do you think about the cast so far? Great. Yeah. Fun. Feel like uh, I'm in the zone right now. <laughs> Good. Now you're doing well, man. Yeah, I feel I feel good. That comment uh, from earlier threw me off, but you know which comment? Put them together. <laughs> that uh, uh, that I needed a an expert caster. <laughs> My game knowledge is off. Uh, I they didn't say your game knowledge was off, but they did say. I guess they implied that with what they said, but. <laughs> But they also said that your knowledge has improved a lot. So mm. there you go. I've noticed a big improvement from you from when we first started talking to now. I've been practicing a lot more as well. Yeah. So to be expected, but yeah, I've got the voice. I just need the knowledge, the game knowledge. Mm. And I can definitely string a sentence together now. I mean, that definitely when I first started, it was a struggle. But yeah, I'm confident with my uh, yeah, you're right. My it's... voice. I just need to maybe know more, learn more, do more, see more, <laughs> experience. More. Yeah. My dad used to say, "Everything begins and ends with experience." Oh, by the way, uh, Ace said uh, reminds him of something Artosa said about playing versus a professional Zerg player. You just feel so helpless talking about the game. Mm. Yeah, because once they've got control of the game, they have the unit control to keep control of the game. So it just not, they can just constantly abuse you with micro over and over again. Right. Versus sex, right? A royal versus sex, right? You mean? He was reviewing. Oh. All right. He's ready, ladies and gentlemen. We lay. Guilty. Lost because Arty didn't qualify for it. Oh, Arty has a sex tree. It's way less confusing now. I understand what you mean. 
Yeah, of course. I'm not surprised. I bet he felt devastated because he probably felt like literally nothing he could do. He well, Royal got a little greedy in that last game. He's been eliminated. A big surprise to both of us that Royal was taken out so soon. But that's what happens when you don't respect the Ling all in. Uh, those first few links were held so beautifully with the uh, SCV blocking, but he just kind of abandoned the entrance to his main base, let his SCVs all get back to work, and the follow-up play from Soul Key gets right in there, does so much damage, and Soul Key able to close it up from there. Now it's on to Shuttle, who spawned here in the top left-hand corner. Vertical spawns versus Soul Key here in the bottom left. Getting out a 11 hatch here. Going to go for that follow-up uh, pool. And we're going to have Zealots trailing across the map. So pretty much a mirror game to game number one versus Paralyze. Yeah, it seems like Soul Key really does want to double down on his macro style and go for these 11 hatches. And I can't say I blame him. I mean, if you're confident in your control and early scouting and how to react to certain things, you definitely want to try and get away with the 11 hatch unless you, you really are forced to go for the overpool and say a two-player map or something. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, he's proven it. He is incredibly good at the control, of course. That game versus Paralyzed, there was some... Uh, glitches there so he's shown uh, a little bit of uh, of blood you know he can definitely bleed paralyzed able to get about two three drones with just a single zealot but i think that's an anomaly the first kill behind the mineral patches in the main was fantastic and i think we might see a replay here nope shuttle not going to enter the main he sends his zealot back towards his natural just uh, content in the fact that he's forced out a good number of lings here from Soul Key. And we'll just continue to scout here with the probe. Oh, nicely done. Catches that probe. A good pickoff here in the early game for Soul Key. Going to be denying that scouting. Yeah, also going to be throwing down that gas at three minutes to stay on curve with his tech timing as well. Soul Key definitely likes to go for really fast lair. And uh, against uh, these fast uh, gateway builds... It's really strong because the, the Protoss can sometimes be a little bit slowed down, especially when you're throwing on a little bit of Ling pressure at the front and causing a little bit of hassle. So we're going to be hitting the gateway with the two, two or three Zerglings while the rest of the Zerglings wait at the wing to threaten a run by to kind of put a bit of pressure on. And we do have quite a few more Zerglings coming up to reinforce oh, this. So This might... is bad. This is bad. One Zealot has actually been completely missed by Soul Kit. It's going to be heading into the natural right now. All the Links are on the other side of the map. This is a real pain in the butt for soul key is going to be micring here at the front and in the main base at the same time a lot of links are here he could get this gateway but he's got to be careful not to lose too much in the main at the same time we're not getting a shot of it but he is focusing on moving his drones here trying to keep those alive i think a couple of drones have gone down no one drone has been picked and this gateway is about to fall yeah, this situation actually suits Soul Key because there's one Zealot less to defend and he can defend well at home with the Rallied Lings. So actually really favoring Soul Key's position, going to be getting on top of the probes and really kill killing the economy here of Shuttle. Not needing necessarily to finish the game, has already crippled some of the economy of Shuttle, now currently even on supply, both of these players. So from here on, Soul Key could transition into a normal game, but right now he has made a few additional Lings, so we'll be containing... Uh, shuttle with the rest of these links he went transitioning into drones now had taken um drones off of gas just getting enough drones to take the link speed to, to do this aggression and now we'll be going back into minor again could uh either opt to going into some kind of uh fast hydro play but i think it's more likely we'll see a, a more macro reaction out of sulky here wanting to just take those few probe kills and uh go home with a smile on his face uh, a bit of good news here for sulky is that he managed to kill the gateway before a Cyber Nice Core is thrown down. So the Cyber Core is going to come down quite a bit later than it usually would. And that's going to give him a bit of time here to get that later layer and uh, spire up before the Corsairs can come across the map. Um, I didn't really like the fact that he was building more Lings uh, during that Ling aggression. I would have loved to see him transition to drones a little bit faster. There's quite a few Lings out here in the front that are just kind of mm. unnecessary. But uh, in the heat of the moment, of course, picking off the, the gateway and dealing with the 
the zealot back at home. I guess he pressed the Z button a few too many times, and now he's got <laughs> about 10 lings, 12 lings out in the front. It is what it is. We did a good job. I'm certainly um, guilty of that, saying I'm sure a lot of many a Zerg player watching this is now feeling very cathartic, thinking, ah, it's not just me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I definitely feel that way. Um, it can happen during that kind of pressure moment. Zealots running into your main is uh, it's a scary thing for a Zerg player. It's It's never fun to deal with. Yeah, and only just now being throwing down this Stargate, so really a lot of breathing room for Sulky. Uh, and he's his his tech timing is fine. Like he did he did stop mining guests for a little bit, but relative to what Shuttle's doing, he's right on time, I would say. So I think Sulky's in an okay position. I think everything's lining up for him reasonably well. I don't think the Corsair gets any more than one maybe two overlords if he's really lucky, but I don't think he's gonna get much more than one overlord for his trouble. And Sulky's going to be powering really hard into six hatch hydro following this up. I think so. Maybe even going for another ogre zerg style as well, like we saw in the other game. Yeah, that's the power of picking off the early gateway um, before the cyber core is down. Now, if that cyber core had started just before the gateway died, uh, this corsair could have gotten like three, maybe four overlords because the lateness of that. Uh, spire but as it stands i think he's just gonna have to be content with the scout here just flying through there's the spire he sees it it finishes he's not gonna get an overlord he's just gonna have to abandon ship here yeah and it looks like there's gonna be a bit of a zealot pressure on at six just to force some maybe some units out of sulky uh it's up to sulky whether or not he wants to kind of call that bluff a little bit and see if he can just defend with what he's got and try and get this sunken down and pretty much only morph muters right now and instead, and not really kind of fall for having, because a lot of Zerg players would maybe, especially uh, weaker Zerg players, would maybe like overreact to make too many Zerglings now. But Soki is just maybe going to hatch like just a few extra pairs of Zerglings while flooding uh, regular muters and stuff behind this. So he's trying to walk the tightrope as much as possible and make just barely the right amount of units to defend, which is kind of how you need to play StarCraft and especially Zerg in general. Oh, looks like Solki not able to get his drones to uh, go around properly there. Uh, the, he was trying to get a, a drill so that he could defend his sunken, but the drones really wanted to go on the right side of the hatchery instead of the left side. It made it really hard for him to hold on there. He lost some extra drones as a result of that. And his, uh, his uh, sunken went down as well. A lot of links fell. That was a pretty good trade there for Shuttle, who's actually going to continue this pressure, but... I think there's enough links on the field now. He should be able to just surround and kill these and continue on droning up now. Hydras are hitting the field. We haven't seen any mutas just yet, and I don't think we're going to see any. Uh, those Scourge did get out on the map, but uh, I don't know where they are now. Did he actually send them in to die? Uh, actually, yeah, I don't actually know. I think uh, maybe the the Sairs gunned them down if, if they did go in uh, and... Right now, there's actually quite a lot of air control for Shuttle as a result. So he's going to be probably staying on this Sairs a lot composition for quite some time, eventually getting his High Templars out, and then eventually Goons once the Lurker transition does finally come. But we may be seeing some kind of muter switch at some point from Sulky. I can kind of smell it in the water. I feel like we're going to be seeing... It. The only issue for him is, is that he, he can't really go for that until he's like found a time to catch some of these Corsairs later on in the game. So his window is kind of closing a little bit for that. And right now losing quite a few drones at the six o'clock. There's a nice little SimCity here, making it hard for those elves to do much else but come in and kill a few drones once in a while. But that is really annoying for Zerg to have to worry about once these zealots uh, are out on the map and you know they're there. It's kind of like having vultures out on the map. You don't really want to just like abandon your base and leave it undefended. They could always come in and harass you. So it does make you a little bit uncomfortable and uneasy knowing that there's DTs and zealots like strolling and patrolling around. Yeah, now the Overlord speed is done. So he can start to be mobile with these Hydras, try to track down the zealots and the DTs on the map and... You know, so, uh, Shuttle here has done some damage, but he's also lost a lot of his army supplies. So his army not looking that big. Just this tiny little Zealot DT army running around. It's not going to be enough to uh, to challenge a big group of Hydralis and Sulky initiate a Mutalis switch in the future. 
Yeah, I think that's how Sulky will want to play these situations. He won't want to do a full committal into like a big fleet of Scourge all at once. He'll be looking to just chip away at the Corsair count over time. And if he sees the opportunity for it, we will see a little newer switch to try and snipe up some of these high tempers. In the meantime, though, just going to be flooding uh, Hydra and a few Scourge to catch these Corsairs as he goes. Uh, shuttle being active with the Corsairs taking out a few overlords. There is a, a small uh, counter attack, I think, at 12 o'clock. Is that is that? attack at 12 o'clock or is it just an overlord I thought I saw a blue dot at uh, 12 o'clock it looks like he was trying to kill the pro building an expansion there or something anyway you see a force moving into the uh, 6 o'clock position a beautiful storm on the hydra and there are zealots to also try and uh, body block the ramp but luckily eggs are being morphed and looks like uh, shuttle's just trying to soak up the shots of the hydras with the zealots as much as possible while the sairs go to work and kill all of these overlords if there was a DT nearby, that'd be absolutely beautiful because a DT could just walk in right now and start taking swipes at all of these drones. Unfortunately, the high temple didn't have any energy, unable to storm that big, powerful drone line. So unfortunately, not able to do any damage to the economy of Sulky, just trading units for his time. And that's actually favoring Sulky right now. Um, Shuttle will keep throwing his units away like this. It's going to make it all the uh, more harder for him to fight the battle zerg of... Um, uh, Sulky that's going to be coming up in this mid-game phase but one thing about Retro on this map saying is that it's really hard to take these bases uh, away from Protoss once they secure them so this 12 o'clock position uh, um, Sulky's third is going to be really a tough nut for uh, Sulky to crack as well yeah, absolutely. Let's talk a little bit more about this map actually because it is a newer map in our pool uh, taking bottom right is uh, it's pretty simple to hold a big portion of the map here uh, as the Zerg player. If you're able to take that space between the natural and the third and, you know, get that full of lurkers and then you go ahead and take the natural in the bottom right, you're able to get up to five base really, really uh, efficiently there with a minimum n number of lurkers. And look at these Corsairs getting so many kills, actually. Wow. Uh, Hydra's trying to dip between these... Uh, uh, hatcheries here but not quite able to get there in time and now the dt is here going to work he's fighting with the drones because he just doesn't have anything here he's committed a lot over to the natural of the protons to try and sort of contain him right now but this is this is a lot of damage i mean sulky is losing a ton of drones uh he does finally clean it up but he lost way more than i think he was expecting to he really could have used a lurker or two at that base yeah, he did take more damage than he wanted to there, although I would say in the grand scheme of things, the trade will still favor him in the long term, just because of how many drones he's got right now and how much he can power up. He has a lot of gas in the bank um, if he does want to flood uh, lurkers soon as well. Uh, I don't think he will have enough to contain um, Shuttle's uh, natural, but the, the one position he could contain is this big bridge area leading to his natural. That'd be a great area to lurker up and kind of contain and control that portion of the map here and eventually try and squeeze Shuttle out from being able to take a fourth base. Uh, interestingly enough, it looks like Sulky's wanting to turtle up himself and play very passive. I, I don't actually can't say I blame him. It does suit his playstyle more. It looks like he's going to be wanting to transition into Hive. He realizes that Battlezerg is just not a good functionality on this map, and I definitely agree with him there. I don't think he should be staying on Lair Tech for much longer. So he is going to be making some spores, making some sunkens, turtling up these positions, putting lurkers on ramps, scouting around the map with lings, keeping an eye on where the Protoss army is skirmishing at the front, baiting out storms, seeing if he can get uh, pick off any High Templars, and slowing down the Protoss movement as much as possible while he powers up. He is currently almost even on supply with Shoal, so this position currently does suit uh, um, him in this, I would say, but I still feel like uh, Shuttle can get uh, really easy expansions on this map, so... Um, he, there needs to be really exceptional scouting from Sulky to not let Shoal sneak out a fourth here because it could be a nightmare situation if Shoal does end up getting a fourth base. Well, let's go big picture here because Sh Shuttle is starting to push into this area, but everything is turtled right now, and you're not going to get through that. I don't, I don't believe it, Shuttle. You're not going to push through this area. This is just so tightly defended. Uh, it's going to be incredibly hard, and you know. This is this is very interesting from Sulky. The the place that he's decided to take his fourth base is that center left. Instead of trying to take those two bases in the bottom right, try mm. to take that other quadrant of the map, he's taking the center left. And what that opens up in my mind is the possibility of drops. Because now there's like a clear path 
from the main base and, and fourth base here from Soul Key right up into the main of uh, Shuttle, who's now going to be actually uh, taking the bases in the top right. So he's extending himself way out to the right-hand side of the map. He's going to have to keep his army, you know, more in a central area to kind of defend that as well as his natural. And the main base is going to be incredibly exposed here for a huge drop. I think that would be an amazing play from Soul Key. If he doesn't try to take this bottom right uh, immediately, I think that's probably what he'll end up going for. Yeah, that's definitely one play he can make, and his positions do suit that. It also, um, it's just in general a really good base for him to take because it it, it can it, it, it denies that air line of attack from the shuttle, so he can't just attack on the left-hand side. So there's not that many avenues of attack for him to go out, what kind of forces him out into the middle of the map more. Uh, also denies that uh, shuttle from taking that base himself. And uh, there's, there's so many good reasons here for him to take that base. I really do like this uh, way of thinking. Uh, from Sulky, and like you say, does open up the main base for a, a direct line of dropping cracklings and such into the main base later on. We do currently have Defiler Tech online, as well as cracklings, I imagine. So looks like Sulky looking to be also expanding in the bottom right quadrant. So going to be going up to a very strong economy and production, currently even on supply with shuttles. That does favor the Zerg in many regards. So looks like uh, Sulky is going to be willing to just try and maintain the game state as much as possible. While well, he gets fully online and maxed out and gets his grades. Right now, we see a 2 2 for Shuttle and 2 1 just kicked in for Sulky. He has two uh, attack on his Hydra and plus one Carapace. We'll be needing to get melee attack upgrades and more Carapace upgrades as he progresses, as well as getting Defilers out so we can start plaguing this Protoss army and maybe start launching sieges on these expansions with Dark Swarm. But we do have Reaver tech coming out from Shuttle, so going to be really turtling and doubling down on these bases, I think. No, we're not. Oh, God. Here we go. Ooh. All right. All right. We're going for the draw. Here we go. He, he did clear out the vision here from Shuttle, and Shuttle's army is way out of position right now. He's going to see the Overlords, though. That's, uh, that's a big scout right there, but he doesn't have much over here. Some Bringing an tempers. Archon, some more Templar. That advanced notice is really going to help him out here. Throws down a preemptive storm. Two preemptive storms, actually. And looks like Sulky just going to back away now. I don't know if there was much in there. Did he even have any units in there? It, Maybe it, just a fake. It could definitely be a fake drop. 100% could be a fake drop. It, There's it, a it, lot of stuff on the map for Sulky right now. He's got a huge amount of lurkers. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if he's actually got a ton in there. It, it's definitely a great play for him to fake it uh, at this stage in the game. Um, but he... Uh, he he doesn't really want... To, I don't think he wants to commit to a drop while he's not doing something somewhere else on the map. So he'll want to do two things at once. He will wait for him to be attacked and then drop, or, or attack somewhere else and then drop as well. So if he does want to drop, now would be the good time to drop because currently Shuttle's distracted attacking the bottom right. He is sending in the Overlords. It could be a fake. It could be real. Oh, it is real. Okay, so Storm's going down on those units, though. It really messing up the, the efficiency of the drop cleaning up a uh, majority of those lurkers and hydroling as they do pop out but will be enough units coming out to do some damage to start picking off some of the cannons and high templars and other units coming out from the gateways to kind of cause a bit of a headache for shell to have to deal with in this game but uh, meanwhile looks like shell's gonna be turtling up in the northeast quadrant starting to produce robos and reavers at all of these expansions and really turtling out this game but i think sulky's kind of prepared for him to want to play like that and wants to just launch um drop after drop in the top left and kind of skirmish him down and keep pulling his infantry all over the map. There's no way the Pro's infantry can keep coming from the bottom right side of the map all the way to the top left quadrant of his main base to defend. So really, Sulky stretching him thin here and taxing his mobility. Absolutely. Big targets there in the main base. It's going to be the Templar Archives, uh, the Citadel of a Dune, and of course the uh, robotic support bay if any of those get picked off actually it looks like the templar archives did go down so he's not going to be able to produce templar for a while that is a big problem here for shuttle because that's really his bread and butter right now he needs more of those units he can't break through any locations here uh, because of the uh, dark swarm oh big oh, storm oh, drop oh, 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 crap so that's many a lot of damage so many drones just went down. And there's a Doom Drop in the main base currently active. 
doing a, there's not actually a lot of cracklings here so there won't be too much dps for shuttle to worry about cracklings even in small number though can do a lot of damage and he is starting to get on top of these forges if he can deny like an upgrade or something that could be really huge i think he is going to deny that upgrade on the forge there's also some scourge chasing down the shuttle looks like both players being taxed to absolute their limits uh, both both players already maxed out and wanting to start to, to skirmish yeah. as much as possible Skirm storming the scourge so it can't catch the show nice little play there from shuttle and a beautiful plague in the main base as well so everything's on fire and both players are probably having the game of their lives right now absolutely just like i mentioned earlier both those buildings but are all three of those buildings have gone down the robotic support Ooh. bay temple archives and citadel of a dune so the tech tree really being reset at this moment. Another great storm here at the bottom right. And he's going to go in for more. These are so hard to deal with. Storms. Uh, and the speed shuttle is incredibly wow. strong. He's going to lose that. Of course, with a thousand minerals in the bank, Solki could definitely re-macro this out. And he's not in the danger of actually... Oh my god, oh my more gosh. kills. It was saying, saying what just happened was so crazy. Like, like... Uh, Sulky thought that he had enough damage to kill the shuttle, but there was just barely enough shield regen that the shuttle survived with like 5 HP, so he actually anticipated that he would kill that shuttle and the High Templars would not get out and kill all the drones, so it's crazy that he slightly miscalculated that the shield HP would be high enough that the Scourge would not kill it when it connected, so it's really unfortunate for Sulky that the shuttle did survive and then killed all those drones. He's probably kicked himself a little bit, but, but he's in a great position right now, trying to drop into the top left to distract shuttle yet again although this could be a fake you never know for sure there's a huge huge force of lurkers and links with defiler support going to be moving into the 12 o'clock base there's only one high templar and four cannons so this is definitely going to die sulky going to take out this base it has been mining for a long time now so it's not the most optimal base for him to attack right now but it's, it's one of his best options and i can't say i blame him it's definitely a good choice for him right now gonna have to shuttle gonna have to evacuate all of these probes doesn't actually lose a lot so Minimal damage to Shuttle, got out with most of those probes as well, so not too bad for him. He's going to be losing this base and still a healthy number of probes though, so still very painful for Shuttle losing one of these bases of production. Going to be reduced to two bases worth of economy if he, unless he can clean up this attack. Ooh, the Zealots are actually getting really good surface area on those Lurkers and the Reavers come in to help, so don't think he's going to be able to clear up this position. So it's like Shuttle going to be holding on to this base and only losing a few probes for his effort. Yeah, I'd love to see the uh, drone versus probe count at this point. I think that Sulky has built a lot more of those. High Templar here are exposed. He's going to go after him. Big storms there. Really, really nice play by Shuttle. Handling that kind of precarious situation with a lot of poise. Man manages to get most of the storms off and trades decently well, despite being kind of surprised there at the natural. Dropping the Reaver gets plagued, but does manage to hold on to that area. And Solki, he's going to have to find another area to attack. He still hasn't actually cleaned up the, the 12 o'clock, which I thought he would have done by now. Archon's actually holding down the fort over there, and Solki just rallying up huge amounts of links now. He's going to go for the main. Uh, the natural is the usually the least defended position of the Protoss at this stage in the game uh, during the late game phase. So definitely the position you usually want to hit. And there isn't many cannons here. Beautiful storms from Shuttle though, completely wiping out those Zerglings. While the main main battle force in the middle, the Protoss infantry, starting to move over to the west and intercept more Ling floods. Two Archons in this main army able to soak up most of this and a beautiful coordinated storm going to be dealing with that extremely cost efficiently he is having to deal with a lot of plagues right now but archons don't really care about plagues so the archons are a really good response to the the plague option although swarm does help out and force them to only do splash damage only so it's still counter play from the defiler against those archons looks like sulky going to be getting in behind this army he wants to swallow it up if he can uh, going to be trying to probably pincer from both sides, but looks like uh, Shuttle going to no. be jumping on top of the army before it's too late. All oh, the lurkers are stacked. If he has Storm, this is... No, oh, there's so much Zerg players avert your gaze. That's a painful moment. And Reavers in the bottom right going to be causing some absolute devastation, sniping off a few drones and maybe even the hatchery. There's some Zerglings to try and mitigate that and getting on top of the, the, the Reaver. Oh, nice little shuffle with the Reaver. Beautiful. I don't wonder they call him Shuttle. He knows what he's doing when it comes to shuttles and reavers, but does lose the shuttle eventually. Hopefully, um, he doesn't um, uh, reenact that in this game and get taken out. 
But um, so far, he's doing a good job of maintaining his composure and poise, like you say, saying, and don't think he's going to be getting this hatchery in the bottom right. The lurkers do come down to take that out, but he's doing a lot of damage all over the map currently and trying to limit the production capability of um, Sulky here. Another force moving down to the, the bottom right, but he is needs to be careful with this army. If he loses this army just once, it could be over for him. So he needs to make sure every fight he takes is as cost efficient as possible. There's a few High Templars and Storms available to him, and there's a nice little tight choke across the bridge for uh, Sulky to have to attack into. A beautiful plague, though, swamping those Dragoons with some nice hot chili sauce, making them taste even more delicious in the fight to come. Yeah, and Sulky has actually pulled away a lot of his defenses from the bottom right. That area doesn't have a real lurker field anymore, so... I'm afraid that uh, Shuttle might be able to break through that area. However, with the plague going down on all those units, uh, plus most of the Templars being uh, are not having energy anymore, this is becoming less and less of a possibility. Now going for this one more Templar, he's going to get that with the Crackling. Picks off these two Archons as well, and he's denying that critical mass of Archons that's so powerful in the late game for Protoss. Just mm. keeping that number down... Super, super important. Keep the plagues going on the, the Reavers as well. It is really, really good. Getting here under the Dark Storm. He's going to try to get the Nexus. It's getting very low. Is he going to get it? 100 HP, 94. Does manage to survive. Shuttle going to be able to mine out that base. Yeah, unfortunately not. Just barely getting it. Um, he wisely just threw down the Swarm and targeted with the Hydras. Hydras still do full damage to buildings under Dark Swarm. Oh, beautiful Archon block going to be denying the units from getting too deep in there. But nice little plague on the Reavers as well. Both players kind of showing some stellar gameplay, I would say. Nice little ZVP in. Also showcasing why this map is a bit awkward as well. It kind of forces these precarious sort of like turtle heavy um, island almost style expansion pathing and ways of engaging each other because there's, there's no real clear lines of attack on this map once you start controlling some of the ramps and forcing both players to have to try and go out into the open to engage one another. But as a Protoss player, trying to move out into the middle can be a bit of a death sentence if the Zerg's able to get a full surround. So really forcing both players to think more tactically. And another shuttle loading up with some High Templar going to be going to the southeast. But there are lots of Scourge waiting in the wing to deny that. The shuttle with 2 HP still fighting for its life in this game. He's trying to make it all the way out to the next one. Maybe even surviving as long, as long enough to see the release of StarCraft 3. So who knows? All right, we've got another attack here into the center right. Dark Swarm going to go down, and the Lings are starting to pour forward, but Three Reavers is a fearsome force here. They are all plagued, though, so as soon as they get a little bit of damage on them, they are going to fall. Uh, another force going to come around behind this and flank it. I think these uh, Lurkers are pretty much dead at this point. He's not going to be able to run away from this position. Just throwing down Dark Storms and Plagues. This is a massive force from Shuttle. He's really uh, outdone himself here with a, pretty much a maxed out Archon Dragoon. Zealot Templar Army going to push down towards the south. Does Sulky have what it takes to hold this off now? Uh, that, he's running a little dry. That, uh, that was a really beautiful catch from Sulky there. Not only did he bait out a Storm and dodge with the Lings, but he managed to catch three Archons with like less than a control group of Lings and killed all three Archons with them. That was a really great pickoff from Sulky there, reducing the Archon count yet again, kind of like reducing the Siege tank count, kind of taking the Sting out of the Scorpion style. Beautiful Plague as well. Sulky doing what he can with what little he's got. He is currently like down about 50 or so supply, but that doesn't really matter as long as he can keep trading well. He just needs to keep the Protoss back and keep plaguing, keep throwing cost-efficient units at him. A few Lurkers here, a few Lings there, and kind of forcing the Protoss to use a lot more gas-heavy units in this composition to deal with him. Currently, Zealot's not able to be cost-efficient anymore against the Lurkers, so really getting full value out of these Cracklings is sulky. He needs to be careful, though. He is um, catching off a lot of these units from Shuttle. I, I actually feel like Shuttle's overextending a lot. He needs to be a lot more careful in this game, does Shuttle. If he could overstep his welcome, if he keeps forcing the issue too much on that eastern flank. But then again, so, uh, Shuttle does have that ridiculous amount of gas geysers that uh, will net him an insane number of Archons. Uh, really pumping up that Archon count is all that matters at this moment, uh, as eventually he's going to get to that critical mass where you can't even engage at all 
Uh, and the Reavers can shoot down all the Lurkers. The Lings just cannot fight. Now you have to kind of switch into Hydra, but none of that really works well against what uh, Shuttle has put forward here. Three uh, Reavers over there at the center right just annihilating everything that walks up this ramp. Uh, that is costing Shuttle a bit of money, but he's still pretty rich right now. He's got some money to spare. He's maxed out. He's going to start to uh, kind of funnel these uh, or shuttle these Reavers forward to hit as many of the Lurkers present as possible before he takes the full engagement here with the Archons. Shuttle, got to keep that alive. Ooh. He's going to be able to pick off all the Scourge, but a couple of the Reavers do go down. And some more Defilers do show up to plague everything. This is a great back and forth between these two. I don't know where this ends, but I could go all the way to the to the mine out here. I think it possibly will. Now, don't forget, there is this like base in the middle. It's not gas, but maybe that's going to become relevant at some point where like both players are mined out and the only thing left is this little middle base. It's re really hard to, to, to crack these tough shells of Protoss players when they just kind of sit there. And yeah, it's Tolkien just going to tap out. I can't say I'll play him. Like, it's really hard to play against this style. And if he can't kill one of these bases, he is eventually going to lose the game while, while on even gasters with Shuttle. GG, wow. GG. Shuttle t uh, manages to take that win. Shuts down Solki after his two victories there. It's the clapper from KCM as well. High praise for Shuttle in the late game of PVZ. He's definitely well adept, adapted uh, to that style of Soul Key. And th this is kind of the, uh, you know, there was a, a time where I thought that Shuttle was going to be an ASL champion. It was quite a, while, uh, a long time ago, but it was during the time when Zergs were... Uh, favoring like going super super late game and getting into hive and just grinding down the Protoss player in the late game and shuttle showed the control necessary and the transition into reavers necessary uh to take that down and he proved it here once again i doubt that soul key will want to take a long drawn out game against shuttle in the future he showed amazing amazing play there and we're going to see more games from him coming up here. Game number four. That was scary from Shuttle. He's, he's, he's so fucking strong. good, man. He's... He dies. He dies so often in the early game, but when he gets to the late game, man, holy shit. He abused that map really well. Yeah, he did a great job man i thought i i thought that he was gonna end up losing his main way faster his defense yeah, yeah but he, he yeah he had just the perfect amount of like anti-doom drop defense like just a peppering of like high templars and a few zealots to tank like just just barely enough to like buy time for the uh, main army to get back to defend like he did a really good job man yeah he totally predicted it yeah yeah saw it coming a mile away and like, gets right underneath the overlords, starts hitting them, starts storming them before they even unload. It's so hard to play against the style that Shuttle's doing as well. Like, it's really frustrating as a Zerg to play against that. So tough, yeah. It's so tough. All right, you want a smoke break, or...? Uh, yeah. A says, only siege mode can be Reavers, but regular siege tanks get clapped so hard. <laughs> Reavers are crazy, man. How are you enjoying the cast, Ace? see the behind the scenes of the English KCM cast. Oh, Sayan, are you still there? Yeah. Uh how I, I guess it doesn't matter because it probably all sound the same, but did you did you check the previous recordings as well? Uh yeah, I checked the game one, game two. Oh, we, should, this one we should be good then either way. Oh. Get a little tired. 
a little bit. I had a little drink as well, so. Mm. Well, if you want, we can do just one more, then do the rest tomorrow, so we're both fresher. It's quite late. I wouldn't mind getting some games in tonight before I sleep as well. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna use the washroom right back. Disappointed by Sulky that last match. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's kind of cathartic as well, though, seeing such a good Zerg have similar struggle against that kind of style and then not have much of an answer to it. Kind of makes you feel not as bad when you have a similar issue. But at the same time, it would be nice to see some innovative, innovative ways of dealing with it and giving confidence to his Zerg companions in how to deal with that sort of style and you know would have been nice kind of like how Terrans used to like like watching Flash come up with these solutions of dealing with things and then trying to imitate it and stuff you know leading by example Oh, Sam. Yeah. Do you know what we could do? What? For next KCM. Mm -hmm. Could do like a little hype uh, video where we like use um, like clips from previous KCM to make like a, like a, a hype highlight reel for the next KCM kind of thing. Mm. With like little ad libs of like exciting moments in the cast kind of thing. Oh yeah. Like to play at the beginning? Yeah, to build hype. As like an intro to the KCM on your channel as well. Hmm. Yeah, I've never tried that. I've always done um like my little uh what's it called? Patreon thank you at the beginning and then just straight into the games. You could do that. You could just have the the hype thing as like uh, an intro hype video you release before the KCM starts as like a you know get ready kind of thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like as a different like a whole yeah, like its own little thing, like its own like one minute hype reel to like say yeah, like you know, get ready to watch KCM next week or whenever you know. Or for the finals or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just to hype up one of the events. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Ace said he was disappointed by Sulky that last match. He had to secure the bottom right faster, not nine. Nine is his side of natural, so he can take it much easier later in the game. So if he took three to deny that from show and then flip. If he took three to deny that from show and then later took nine, it's probably his wing con. Maybe, but he could have a similar issue where shuttle denies him taking nine and he's worried about harassment on that side of the map as well. And then he also wouldn't be able to drop, right? He wouldn't be able to drop the main. Yeah, we'd lose direct access into the main of shuttle as well. Although he could drop top right, but it's not as clean because he hasn't got direct access to the main because it aligns with the natural, not the main, and top right. So, yeah. I think that was his game plan was to drop the main and like cause so much damage that he was able to get uh, nine or three o'clock. Like, there's the shuttle, you know, keep him off balance, get more of the map. Mm. Surprised we didn't see a drop up into the top right as well. He could have done that. Would have been really strong. Uh, it would have been strong. It's just harder for him to get away with it going unnoticed. 
Yeah, I like he like he took that position outside the upper right natural with a ton of lurkers, but then he just sent everything into the twelve o'clock when he could have like loaded up more drops and then dropped up into the top right and then then all of the army coming to reinforce top right would have had to run through those lurkers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he could have I don't know. He could have done the same thing for the main, right? Like run a ton of lurkers over to the natural and then drop the main and then all of the the army on the map coming back to reinforce the main would have had to run through lurkers. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if that's like... I also just think it's really hard for Zerg to play on that map against Protoss in general. Like, I'm not surprised Soki struggled even though he was in a decent spot. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tough map. Against a, as long as the Protoss player is playing well, like Shuttle, I think it's really tough for the Zerg because the pro you need the Protoss player to make a mistake to kind of outplay them. If, if the Protoss player defends well and doesn't let you get any like drop damage and other shit, like it's other than that, you cracked it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Reaver on high ground. This is rough. So hard. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Uh, yeah, let's get into it. An amazing Protoss versus Zerg in that last one. Shuttle really showing his quality, bringing us a fantastic late game there. Now going to be going up against Sharp, one of our most aggressive Terran players, especially in this matchup. Terran versus Protoss. We are on Neo Sylphid with Shuttle spawning here in the bottom le left and Sharp in the bottom right. I doubt we'll see quite as epic of a game on this three-player map, but should be an exciting one nonetheless. Yeah, I'm curious um, with it being a flat map if we'll see anything cheesy out of shot, like a two-factory kind of play. Um, possible we'll just see a very standard game out of him as well, but if he did want to go for something like a two-factory play against uh, Shell, this would be a great map for it with the uh, flat expansion and... Uh, Quick, fairly quick uh, rush distance. Uh, these these third bases uh, of, are actually not real high ground. You can see, as you can see, the SCB can see up them without having to get up the ramp, and so there's no mischance up here. Uh, so quite easy for the tanks to attack up in. It's not like Polypoid where the tanks might have to fight for the high ground position at the middle only area. They can get up there fairly easy, but equally can't defend it as easily from the Protoss once secured. But with the two factory push, you're just concerned about making making space, so that's fine for the Terran player. So this would be a really good map for an aggressive build of that. But instead, we're going to be seeing probably just a very standard bunker expand from Sharp, trying to get a little bit of a greedy economic edge by skipping the gas initially. Going to be defending with the bunker and then repairing it while the dragoons shoot at it, kind of evening out a little bit, but slight economic edge for Sharp with a tech advantage for shuttle. Yeah, absolutely, and looks like Sharp, he's going to get that little supply depot wall with the barracks as well. Wants to make sure that this first zealot can't do any damage to him. He doesn't have that bunker done just yet. He'll only have about two to three marines here uh, on the field when this zealot arrives, so some micro will definitely be necessary, but nothing that he's not capable of pulling off. Uh, this zealot actually could just run by here. You need to be ready with the SCV to block. And yeah. he is ready with that and just pulling back and away. Sharp going to be fine here. Yeah, uh, Sharp looking Sharp. <laughs> he had uh, his SCVs waiting uh, at the choke point to block. You definitely do need to block that. There's definitely not enough DPS to shave off the shields fast enough. So really on top of his stuff. I think uh, Flash kind of back in the day showed people how this, this build was done by how you can get away with being super greedy and using your SEVs to full advantage in the early game to mitigate any potential damage from setup pressure and the like. So uh, it's going to be throwing down his factory right this second. 
while checking into the expansion area and seeing no Nexus just yet. So alarm bells are going to be ringy dingy dingy in the mind of Sharp as he slinks into the main base and wonders what's going on. Does see the third pylon, does see the range on the way. So hmm, he's thinking, surely you're going to be taking your Nexus now. So maybe there is nothing cheesy coming out of you. But for a second there, he wanted to get in there and really confirm what was going on. Because if he didn't see a third pylon, or if he didn't see the core spinning, he'd be really panicking and wondering if there's a proxy DT on the way or if there was a proxy robo or something else. Yeah, he gets this scout out here on the map as well. He's just seeing the entire map. Uh, he saw up in that uh, center right base, he saw the high ground just outside of his main here. Everything's been revealed, so he's not afraid any more of a proxy he's even gonna get down here and scout this uh, bottom left and now he knows for certain that there's a nexus at the natural it's pretty late nexus it's gonna allow shuttle to put on quite a bit of pressure here with the three goons now about to be four there's more are rallying for there's a robo in the main i think that uh shuttle mage skip uh skip over uh, getting an early uh, observer here in favor of the the quicker reaver but scout is going to come through once again sharp seeing everything he doesn't manage to get in the main base though a good block with the probes and that dragoon yeah great uh scout denial there from shadow catching that probe with the probes and the goons pop he did leave one of his dragoons behind as well to make sure he could catch that SUV really wanting to deny that scout it's so important to keep the terror in the dark so the terror knows what you're up to and he can do the perfect response to counter that. Oh, Sharp's going to be a little bit careful here. There are four Dragoons, and four Dragoons can two-shot a tank, so needs to be careful. Shuttle could just dive on top of this tank and snipe it off. He wants to do the Zealot goes in, the tank damage, while Shuttle starts raining down side of the shots on these SUVs, picking off the uh, economy a little bit of um, Sharp, but <laughs> does manage to get out without losing a Dragoon as the Siege tank finally does siege up. So really nice little timing there from Shuttle, understanding the exact moment that the Siege tank will get his siege mode, so I wanted to get a few SEV kills for his trouble, and uh, so far looking pretty good, but Sharp has done a really good job of lining himself up nicely with this build, and being able to cut all these corners the way he has been, and squeezing out this kind of slightly greedy build, I think like eventually he's going to be in a really good position, unless Shuttle can kind of kick it up into high gear with a really fast 4 base, or maybe even go for a Bulldog here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think that that uh, attack had kind of a double purpose there. Able to get in and actually see that two factory units had already popped. There's a vulture and a tank mm -hmm. already in the natural. That means that there had to be two factories produced after the command center. That's going to kind of rule out the possibility of a starport. But look at this. It's going to run right on in. Going to get two tanks oh, right dude. off the bat. Oh, that's so painful here for Sharp. As I was just saying, there, there's no chance here for Sharp to have a uh, a, a starport here. So there's not going to be any drop play coming from Sharp, which means that uh, Shuttle can stay very, very aggressive with his Dragoons. As we just saw there, able to dive forward and get some kills uh, instead of staying back at home and being you know wary of a drop, he just gets... Uh, more and more value here out of these early dragoons. Ooh, this vulture also saying I'm intercepting some of these probes. Even just getting two or three of these is going to be a nice little juicy pickup for Sharp. That's uh, really healthy. Maybe and get another another probe for his trouble. Does lose the vultures. So that's a little bit of a shame. But getting three probes for his time is definitely worth it. As long, uh, I would say that in this position, I'm still favoring Sharp a little bit, even though he lost those tanks. But uh, in answer to your question about the the factory timing and him checking. Uh, purposefully or not um y there is one situation where sharp may be staying on one factory and going mines to take a really fast third on this map but i don't think it'd be that likely for him to do that so i don't think that was the purpose in uh, necessarily with that check but it definitely does confirm exactly what's going on usually with a bunker expand you're throwing down the, the two factories very quickly in short order afterwards it's very rare that you'll only stay on one factory after a bunker expand so definitely not too suspicious that he saw those two factory count, and I'm not sure if that would be a good line of reasoning for him to commit just for that purpose, but it, it was definitely good for him to do that and confirm. Yeah, absolutely, and there's hardly any damage coming down. Oh, he gets oh, through! He gets it! Oh, he gets it perfectly, but a beautiful 
follow up block from shuttle these players are both on fire right now beautiful execution on the 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 leapfrog over the pylon wall with the mine i've never seen someone do it quite as effortlessly as that before sharp making it look easy and mining up and bolling his way through to the natural base huge potential damage here there is a reaver to start cleaning up these vultures and a good pro drill from shuttle catching the vulture on the left and the reaver taking out the two on the right both players playing seriously good right now so far i'm favoring shuttle though that's brilliant execution for him. Right now, he's kind of really behind in supply, but he is outplaying Sharp. He's kind of been countered in the build order, but at the moment, he's still outplaying Sharp overall, I would say. He's doing great responses to these great executions of offensive harassment from Sharp. So I'm really liking Shuttle in this game so far. Yeah, you can see Shuttle has definitely dealt with this type of aggression from Sharp before. The moment that that Vulture made its way into the third base, he immediately moved to cover the natural. He knows that Sharp will be looking for openings in that way, and he holds that off brilliantly. I think he lost just a few uh, probes there, but... Uh, show, using that reaver and holding that area was so, so important. A lot of players would lose their entire probe line to that play. Yeah, we do see Sharp landing his third command center at the third base now, starting the siege up there. Now, it is a false high ground, as I was saying earlier, so it is a much easier position to attack into as the Protoss. The main issue is the geometry around the edge of the base this big long cliff line is really awkward to attack around and get into so really awkward for the pros to maneuver against so probably won't want to attack into that for quite some time instead going to be having two speed shells be moving to the three o'clock position maybe to go into the main base and do a lot of damage here there is some turrets in the main base but i don't think that vulture will see it until just barely in time for him to maybe react to it but there's probably going to be a lot of damage he might even just unload and start killing a lot of the turrets and tech of the uh, Terran player while the Reavers go into the main base and try and get the armory down. There is currently no upgrade being researched, so it's a little bit unfortunate for him that currently the, the tech timing isn't uh, a factor in this position. So he's going to instead just try and trade off some of the army of Sharp as it comes in to defend. But we'll be also clearing out some of those turrets in the back. Unfortunately, the Zealots weren't able to get the other turret, so the, the shuttles are a little bit boxed in here. He did want to get both of those turrets with the Zealots so that he wouldn't have to worry about getting out again. About taking damage uh it does get a nice little tank pick off the show and they're going to be uh, swinging on down into the bottom right corner to stay safe and a wraith is on the way though so if he doesn't move that soon he is going to lose the shuttle i don't think he's aware of the the wraith being made so he is going to probably lose that show eventually yeah the wraith whoa whoa wait a what just okay whoa. get back over there whoa. get back over there all right get he is gonna back find it over there finishes it off nowhere to go Nowhere to drop there. Loses those two Reavers. But they did a reasonable amount of damage. And they pulled Sharp a little bit away here. Most of his Vultures are actually heading over towards this position right here, right now. As Shuttle drives his army into this tight little corridor. Dropping on top of these tanks. Going to pick off a few of them. But can he actually make his way through here? I don't think he's got the, the position right now. He's actually hold positioning just outside of the range of these tanks. He's trying to pick off whatever he can, but I don't think he can go any further than this. He will have to back off as those tanks push forward and set up. Yeah, it looks like also Shuttle going to be uh, taking his uh, fourth base right now. It is a little bit late. Uh, he was probably hoping to do more damage than he's done thus far. Um, the timings for him have been a little bit off. Like when he did the drop in the main, like the, the armories weren't even upgrading at that time. So denying them wasn't quite as fruitful. Was still annoying and did a lot of damage to to sharp but isn't getting the critical damage that he needs in this game so uh, currently so sharp looking pretty strong and unfazed at the moment has reduced the count of the tanks a little bit uh, over the course of this game but so has the infantry of the pro has been dried up a little bit only currently a standing army of uh, the 14 to 20 dragoons maximum against quite a few siege tanks so currently favoring sharp just a little bit in his posturing with the very late fourth from the protoss player so currently would be really nice to see uh, the protoss player able to clear up more of these mines and control more of the map as uh, as the game progresses and it's really great that shuttles uh, moving forward and clearing out the mines and also getting a siege tank for his trouble he needs to be really active with these dragoons out on the map constantly clearing out these minefields we see a little vulture raid coming out uh, to the natural but there's plenty of units there beautiful scan from sharp scanning ahead to make sure he doesn't bleed off those 
coaches unnecessarily. And I love this position from Sharp where he's at right now. As he moves forward here on uh, Neo Sylphid, you can start to mine the central area of the map. Uh, yes, I guess you could say like the, the upper six o'clock where there's a kind of a straight line that can be set up with a ton of tanks, a ton of mines. You can throw down turrets in that area and it immediately nets you both those two bases to the south of that location. Of course, there are options for the Protoss to come through from the main base, try to land in that area, but uh, it's still very hard to do. And it, it's basically two free bases there as long as you can uh, deny drops into those locations. Now, I'm not sure if that's where Sharp wants to go. Uh, he may end up trying to take this base on the center right here or try to push up towards the 12 o'clock because Shuttle is continuing to grow, continuing to build up, although his supply has just barely surpassed where Sharp is at at the moment. Mm, the 2-1 just came online for Sharp saying, so this Terran army is going to get stronger and stronger. So he is going to outscale the Protoss. Really nice plays from Shuttle doing what little he can with these Reavers on the flank taking out some units of Sharp but overall this position is really favoring Sharp I mean he's currently surpassing uh, Shuttle just slightly on supply right now there's so many factories in production Shuttle desperately getting five gateway five base uh, production online himself and starting to make gateways at the 12 o'clock position um, trying to kick it up into high gear is Shuttle does need to create a new rally point to use against the Terran player can't be relying on that singular uh, production point. Otherwise, if it gets contained, you're kind of locked out of the game and unable to flank from there. Oh, did we lose Sam? Saying is offline. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah, saying just got went offline. Hello. Hello. Something happened there. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, it looked like you went offline. It's internet related, I guess. Something, something went down. I'm not sure. But uh, I paused the video. All right, we'll, we'll just pick it up. Up where we left off. Let me just figure out where that was. And throw up your stream again when you get a chance. <clears throat> Sorry, what did you say? I said throw up the stream again when you get a chance. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, a bit of technical difficulties there, but we are back. Is that right, Shun? Yeah, we are back. Okay, fantastic. We've got the fifth base coming up here from Shuttle, but... Getting cut off. Oh, goodness. So oh, many vultures wow. here. He's going to lose a lot of probes. The army makes its way up here. It's going to be able to block, but this is just classic sharp right now. Oh, and the mines. 
Really good pull away there, but that could have been catastrophic. Yeah, great damage mitigation from Shell, not to lose too much there. And I'm really liking how on top of things Sharp is now using that. Really what the play there was, was just to open up the position, keeping track of the Protoss army and allowing him to push across the map for free here. And there's no way Shell can slow down this push. Look at this beautiful uh screen that we see on the mini map like all these little spot of mines out in the middle of the map to kind of see exactly where the protoss is so that all our flanks are covered and we can siege up and respond at a moment's notice now swinging over to the western flank wanting to fight the protoss army head-on is always a good strategy for the terran if you can get away with it you always want to engage head-on if you've got this big powerful army with upgrades storms in the shuttle going to be trying to skirmish with this army as sharp starts to spread out and set up in the middle, wanting to control the entire center of the board here, kind of treating this like a bit of a chess game, deciding that the middle is where he wants to control, so he can kind of launch a further assault to the north from here. Yeah, completely maxed out now. Sharp has, I believe, 3-2 now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but only one upgrade so far on the side of Shuttle. That's uh, definitely going to be favoring... Uh, sharp quite heavily and he will be relying a lot on these uh, storms and so far he just hasn't found any damage with them gonna go back and pick up a couple more templar but he really needs a miracle here miracle storms are what's going to be necessary to break this push because it's so spread out it's a very long tank line here these tanks at the back are going to be leapfrog forward and this is going to come to a head very very quickly running forward with the vultures going to grab one of these Templar getting rid of some of those key elements, those very, very important Templar that are necessary to win this battle. Yeah, Sharp giving a Shuttle a haircut there and like a little bit off the top. A few of those high Templars going down, starting to push into this position at the fourth base. Tanks already uh, going to be setting up shortly. A huge minefield in front of the tanks. If there was more uh, Zealots, those mines would be a bit of a detriment because they could be uh, dragged into. There's a huge swell of units trying to flood in from the west, but it's just a beautiful spread of tanks getting stormed and mine drags in the southern threshold as well. Beautiful pickup of the High Templar from the Vultures as well. So Sharp doing a great job of staying on top of mitigating uh, any potential further threats from those support units while keeping the pressure on this uh, base at the fourth location. Going to be transferring SEVs to the three as well, keeping himself growing is really important as Terran to keep growing in this matchup. So doing a great job of that. And just as you said about the grades, uh, Shuttles 2-1 did finish. And I believe that 3-2 is all, uh, just uh, either just finished or is about to finish uh, for Sharp. Sharp, he's just barely in range of this fourth base. And that's all you need here as a Terran player. You just need to be hitting that a little bit. Put the pressure on the Protoss player. Make him move to you. Make him come out and fight here. Because uh, otherwise Shuttle is just going to sit back and wait for more storms. He's going to wait for more units and eventually try to break out. But uh, as it stands, if he waits any longer, he's going to lose this base. Uh, these two bases, actually. The one here in the top left. And the one on the high ground just above the screen we're watching now. He's dropping Zealots on top of these. Ooh. Oh my <laughs> god, what a wow. mind drag there. Really nice play out of Shuttle, but I don't think it's going to be enough, man. He's losing both of these. Command Center, or Nexus, excuse me. Yeah, it, it's really, really tough for Shuttle from this position. It, it, I would say his win percentage is in the single digits at this stage, just because of how strong this push is from Sharp and how powerful these Terran units are currently 3-2 weapons upgrades against 2-1 of the Protoss still launching an assault on this third base middle location now very well fortified and the geography of this map does make it very awkward to attack into this little lake with the bridge kind of cutting off a lot of the mobility of the, the Protoss player forcing him to use shuttles and instantly the High Templar gets sniped as it comes out wanted to land the the Zealot first rather than the High Templar would wouldn't have been sniped so instantly Sharp able to kind of prevent the damage before it's even done does also get the other high tempo as it tries to come out and get a sneaky storm off and going to be killing off these cannons now to mitigate all the econom economy completely destroying and ravaging all of the hope that shuttle might have of winning this game the winning percentage currently plummeting by the second i would say yeah absolutely and those probes are all gonna end up dying the ones on that high ground base also got picked off completely so 
Shuttle really lacking in the uh, economy now to continue this game. And GG, GG is called. Sharp takes that one away. And Shuttle goes down with a boom. Okay. There we go. I guess you might have to tidy that up a little bit. Or how does that work post? with the split recording issue. Yeah, I, I'll just have to um, put it together. And yeah, I'll either cut out us talking about... Because after you left, I was like, should? Should? Hello? Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll either put that in with us coming back, or I'll just cut out that part and us coming back, depending on what the time is. Okay. Makes sense. Well, we've made it about halfway. Do you want to call it here? No, yeah, we should call it here. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm flagging, so I, I'm not like giving my high energy, and also I wanted to play a little bit before I went to bed. So, okay, we'll call it. Definitely, would rather wait till no tomorrow worries. when we're fresher. No worries. Just mark this. How are you feeling, Sam? I'm good. Just chilling. Did you want to do one or two more rounds of that random map? Yeah, I made a game. I don't know. I <laughs> try. Did you actually make a game? Yeah. You already made the game, bro. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was dabbed out. <laughs> absolute, absolute addict. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> We're gonna get this map, don't worry. Yeah, AC really does want to be. Ace, do you want to slip in this, or you just want to chill and watch? Get the ace of base in here. The ace. Come on, ace. Sl oh, wait, we need to go to the other Discord because we're in the private call. Uh, I thought he was watching on stream. Uh, Yeah, but if he wants to join, he would have to. I, I guess I could invite him manually, but. That would okay. Mean... Uh, I don't know where. I don't see the call with him in there. Hmm? Where is it? Oh, I mean, it's in the practice group, obviously. Okay, let's go to the practice group. Yeah. Fine. Oh, he's not even in there. Handor and Vermin, there's a... 